Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And over on my clips channel, my girlfriend put together every single video that I've made from 2021. And I thought it would be a fun idea if I reacted to every single one. I've made 70 videos and 20 hours of watchable things this year. <sighs> so without further ado guys, uh, Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> I'll leave this right here so you guys can see the time at all times. Well, let's begin. What's up guys? Editing Robbie here. Um, I already watched all 20 hours of video and I was originally just gonna post a 20 hour long reaction video of me reacting to every video, but uh, New Year's is basically in four hours and it would take almost an entire day to render that out. So instead, I'm just gonna edit it down to all my favorite parts of every video for the entire year. Also, I will be uploading an uncut version on the clips channel so if you guys want to see that uh, make sure to subscribe to the clips channel anyway let's yeah let's get to it guys ah oh, I have four electric skateboards and three one wheels so I ended up buying a oh, second jet I have cord. so many but the second one came inside first round of snacks great so now my new goal is to make this thing into my new workbench jungle room jungle room jungle room jungle room jungle room it really now. adds to the atmosphere, if you ask me. It does. Okay! I bet after Tori sees this, she's gonna want to be buried in it. <laughs> That's a little bit morbid. My mom and Tori's mom both asked me to make their coffins. Mm -hmm. I'm getting really... Oh, can you answer really that? Really here. Speaking of my phone, I really need my phone right now. Hello? Oh, yeah, Mr. President? No way! Dude, why does our sink look yeah, like it looks like it's weird? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What did you? Do? Oh, I think it's makeup. Oh wow! Dang, Tori's had her hair gray the entire year. <laughs> Dude, I see if somebody did this at my house, I, I don't know if I would be friends with them. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna outdo myself this year. Like, <gasps> oh my god. She ate nothing but these little yeah. chocolate balls for like a month. Do you like your giant pineapple? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry right now. I'm gonna cry out of pure happiness. What's in it? I was like, Tori, you need to eat food. And she was be like, no, I had balls. Is this the best Valentine's ever in my life? Oh, um, 23 years of it. It better I, be the best I Valentine's of your life. I don't even know any other words, but just to stare in awe of it. Wow. <laughs> it's like bigger than you are. <laughs> oh, fun fact guys. I have that piece, that pizza, not this one, the one before that, I have that pizza tattooed on my butt. Fun little fact for whoever's like two and a half hours into the video. If you made it this far, you deserve to know that fun little tidbit. I have that exact pizza tattooed on my butt. Wow. So now that we did the cheese, uh, we're gonna fill in the crust. This turned out pretty okay, cute I actually, I kinda like this. Pepperonis. I wonder if I kept this. Good job. Pizza. Uh, well, guys, I just I love pizza, guys. Favorite really toothbrush. toothbrush. Fun fact, I haven't gotten a new toothbrush in <laughs> six years. It's true. That's I still use that toothbrush every single day. <laughs> Safe to first, kids. <laughs> My roommates loved me. I was their favorite. I saw this banging and clanging and hooting and hollering. I'm literally just being a blacksmith in my freaking like house. Whoa! This was a crazy trip. I I wanna re I'm actually gonna release a full vlog of this trip um, pretty soon. I know it's like a year old at this point. Like it's an entire year old. But uh, actually, I'll post it. Th that'll be the first returning video of the year. That's what the vlog's gonna be an entire year later after this. <laughs> So keep an eye out for this on the vlog channel. Yeah, we got stuck in the snow. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. And like we almost uh, died like after eternity so later. Just randomly pulled up. He's gonna try and pull us out. Oh, 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 come on. Come on. Okay. Woo! <laughs> John, thanks for hooking it up. You did it, John. Thank you so much, John got John. us out. You're almost there. Keep going. <laughs> I love to prank her. Ready for your new back tattoo? <laughs> wow, you drew Goku! Wow, that's our wow. Good job! Woo. So here's mine. And then here's Tori Bransky's. Alright. What do you think? 
He did it better. I want to say, in all honesty, Robbie did it better. Oh, yeah! oh, I did yeah! it! There is no. It's not. You lose! There's literally, there's literally a tennis ball with a speech bubble in his in random you get, lines. You got, uh, I definitely think I won no. here. <laughs> Is this a real cake or not? What else could it be? This is a cake. It's a real cake. Is it not a cake? It's not gonna be a cake. It's a it lot of cake! I was wrong the whole time! I didn't fall for that again! I'm sleeping with my eyes open. I can't believe it was a laptop. Egg. I'm sleeping with my eyes open. It's a fake cake. It's a fake. And I still do. Oh my god, my car was still black. I ended up painting that car blue. Word, word, you're ready. word on the street is you guys sell cakes. Uh, not at this location. I don't know about other locations, but we don't. Can I get a camera shake? We don't have any right now. Any right now. Do you guys still have the McRib? Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> I just asked for three things that just it aren't on the menu. Three. I wonder if the guy thought I was trolling him. It's day. So make sure I give this video a big ol' thumbs up and down the comments down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, guys. Okay. If you haven't got it this far to the video, you should do it. <laughs> Guys, so the intern's been here for about two weeks, and uh, I actually memorized his bathroom pattern. So he goes to the bathroom every single day at exactly 5:52 p.m. and it's currently 5:52. I pay attention, so, guys. You seem like you've been really homesick lately, and uh, I feel like your phone has been nothing but a distraction because you've been, you know, talking to your friends and your family. Yeah, you know, wow. friends. And really family. talk about humanizing him. <laughs> I think <laughs> after this, I just start getting it's really mean it's to him. Okay, guys, that was our first part wow. of the video where we made the thumbnail! Woo! So they don't actually explain how to do this one, but I'm guessing you just get yourself some strips and some eyelash glue, and you just cut little pieces so it looks like you sewed your lips together. That's what I'm gonna attempt to do right now. And unfortunately, I won't really be able to talk after this, so I, I, I don't want to hear you talking anymore anyway. This looks like something out of a horror movie. I should have added blood. Why isn't there blood? <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? My name oh, is Robbie. Wow, and in case you guys couldn't tell, I moved my crap! I so much it. less room! But I actually feel like I have more room now because I don't have like a little desk. I have this big, giant desk. This looks anyway, clean. The reason like, that that's I so moved. clean right there. <gasps> oh my god! That's the poster that I used in the earlier video. You guys remember that? <gasps> oh, so cold! It's a blizzard! Oh my god. <sighs> oh man, I better warm up. Oh! oh Whoa! The desert. Now, in the desert. <gasps> Now it's a little too hot, I gotta close this. Alright guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. I can't believe it works. Yeah, I love this experiment. How cool. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I should do a compilation of just Robbie eating feces. <laughs> Cue the dramatic music. Oh. <laughs> dramatic lighting. What have I done? I messed up. <laughs> I shouldn't have done what I did. Robbie, I really think you went a little too far. <laughs> Maybe I sent it a little too <laughs> far, bud. <laughs> I thought I was doing it for the crafts. <laughs> Goodbye. But I should have done it for my friends. I'm just going... Slowly insane. Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna prank Tori hard. It's really a good surprise. You ready, Tori? There it is. I'm pranking her so hard. Hey guys, it's Tori, and we're gonna be showing you how to do this wonderful tutorial on how to make it look like you screwed up your face. <laughs> <laughs> screwed up your face. Emergency, Chris. No, no, no. no. I need your help. This is an emergency. No. Come on, you do it. You're holding a clog. Do it. Holy I've never clogged a toilet before. Cracked, you do that just I went ham on this toilet, okay? Oh, hello! Tori Bransky! Wow. Tori, look, we She didn't even expect. Oh, we're matching. It's funny because there's going to be two reaction boxes now. One on this side. So I'm reacting to me reacting to Minecraft at this point. Torch. Perfect. Can you put it down? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. You killed me because I said I'll think about it! Did you really just kill me? Tori! Why'd you kill me? Why'd you- I believe in you, Bagel. Be the Bagel you can be. You know what? I like how I would just say that to random things. I believe in you! Hey! Whoa! Oh, I love this intro. 
How fun. <sighs> I just want to say, look at me. Happy birthday to Cthulhu Keith's dad. Happy birthday, I hope Cthulhu you have a great Keith. Day and, uh. Whoa! How fun. And I had Tori, like, hit me in the face with a leaf blower on a green screen, and then I fell through the roof. Oh, oh. Anyway, if you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I what a good intro. I love Jet Bowler. Whoa! I like how I started the Adventure. the year like talking about jet boards, but I never showed any clips of me riding them. But this is me riding one of the jet boards. See? Look how cool I am. One, two, and oh, I don't want to do. I'm scared, guys. Uh, why are you making me do this? Okay. One, two, and oh! Ow! But yeah, that definitely pulled out. This isn't hard. I just have to sit here and watch myself for another 10 hours. And then I answered Postmates like that. Tori Boots here! Oh wait, you're recording. Wow. She didn't say a thing. I forgot she didn't I did that. Video where we we the thumbnail. thumbnail! Woo! I wanna shove that crane up my nose. I need like a fidget spinner or something. So satisfying. You know, this wasn't as satisfying as I thought it would be. Oh, it's starting to flow. Oh my gosh. Okay, ready? No! I'm gonna call Tori to Brand, see if she wants some pizza. Oh, mother, I'm being birthed into the world! <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That's so weird. Eggs, 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 eggs. Eggs, 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 Okay guys, so this is day three of me watching all my own videos. Uh, I can only watch them in like six hour chunks apparently. I have about 10 hours left. Yay! About halfway through. Oh my gosh, this probably completely ruined the paint of my car. Oh. Like there was no paint left where the egg was. I really oh, missed the boy, intern. Boy. <laughs> I should call him. Okay, I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him. Hello? I just have like Nutella on my face. Why are you calling me? <laughs> What's with the I'm Nutella? Really I'm just like, a turn. they always come crawling back. No, no. Wait, let me try this again. I'm good. No! Don't hang up! Ah! <laughs> this was a good one, too. The intern just waking up. And he just hears me. Okay, I gotta listen to this. It's gonna be so funny. Intern, I'm sorry! Wow. Why are you at my house? What's going on? I'm Why are you at my house? I'm sorry for all the pranks. I'm it's sorry not for that the I pranks, don't like pranks. It's that. Your pranks suck. I'm sorry, Michael. Just give me another chance. Redirect you over here. And. Oh, oh my god. Oh, one ah! second. Oh, I'm just getting it all over oh, him. Oh, yeah. One, okay. One second. Let me pull my pants back up. Okay. You take your blindfold off now. What the hell? No, it's okay. It's okay. Take your blindfold. It's okay. <laughs> Insert my hand. Oh, perfect. And. Oh! Oh! Oh, enter! Oh my god! Oh! Enter! What did you do? I was filming this crap video and I accidentally, oh, no, no. I accidentally hammered through my hand! Oh, okay, okay. Dude. okay breathe, breathe, breathe. Ah! Oh, I need you to get it out! Okay, I need you to get it okay, out. okay, okay, get it out! Okay. Get it out! Ah! Oh! Robbie, it's deep, dude. Oh, be more it's too deep. deep. It's too deep. It's too deep. I can't. I'm trying. You know what? Get. Here, let me get it out. I'll get it out for you. What? I can't even get it out yourself. My I didn't have any orange fur, so I used my uh, clown wig. Eyelash glued it on I think his I face, did pretty good with what really I had. Work. This is $26 bill. 
DIY versus $300 professional special effects makeup. I don't have any moss, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use some put broccoli instead. <laughs> I totally and, uh, forgot yeah, I put broccoli on his face. <laughs> Pocket taser. It's not very pretty, but uh, you know what? It freaking works. Boom, we got ourselves What a cool little thing. I still have it upstairs. I have to charge it. What kind of secrets are you hiding? Our relationship forever, but I'm willing to take that risk. Ready? I like how you can read it through Ooh, the journal. What? Robbie is a stinky guy? <gasps> I'm sure the intern won't even notice. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I use tomato jelly. Tomato jelly, but it's just ketchup. Ketchup, it's tomato jelly. I just didn't want to use my good jelly on you. That's I didn't want to use my good jelly on you. I say tomato, tomato on this one, am I right? What are you doing? Right, so <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> this is truly how you're supposed to clean up. <laughs> That's a pretty good angle. I like that. I've run out of comments. I have no comments left to say. Are you ready to see why I called you here? Yeah. He just smacked me in the face. What is that? <laughs> oh, I think this nice. is when he poops in the like box. It. There it is. He pooped in a litter box. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't record enough, so I just kept playing this over and over again. Then I go outside, and I'm just doing some gardening. It's the fastest way outside. Oh, it's locked. Always make sure to lock your windows, intern. You never know who's gonna try and break in. I'll be back. Uh, oh no. I'll see you later. Uh, have a good time. All right, bye. Always make sure to lock the windows. You wow. never know who's gonna break in. I took my advice. It's so hot out here. It's literally 105 degrees. I have to take off my shirt. Oh, I don't want to burn from the sun, so. Okay. Well, I guess I live outside now. How did I forget about that? Are you kidding that's me? How I got trying stuck to open outside. this door for hours and you didn't hear me? You didn't hear me calling? Uh, let me in! I can't believe he doesn't let me in. Is that a in. ghost? 2% of people can click the like button with their nose. And even crazier, I heard that only 0.00000000001% of people can type a comment with their nose. I know you can do it, just go ahead and pause the video. I'll, I'll wait right here. I wouldn't want to kiss there he is. his dreamy lip. I left the closet. Look how crazy this looks. Oh, no, the door. I did such a good job on this. Where the Look at that star. I? And here comes the intern, riding in on the boosted cooler. What the heck? Intern, what the heck are you doing here? I'm searching for my will to live. What are you doing here? I don't know. I was in the craft corner, and then I left, and uh, now I'm here. Well, it looks like you need a ride. Hop on. What a champ. What a pod yeah. champ. What other choice do I have? What other choice do I have? <laughs> Take me away, intern. Boosted cooler away! Yeah, look at us go! What? Not even here. Remember, this was the video where. Oh, he disappeared! He's gone! You don't have an intern, Robbie. What do you mean I don't have an intern? You, you don't have an intern. What are you talking? I don't have an intern, Tori? an intern? I thought I had an intern this entire time. I guess so. That was such yeah, off of a whim. I just threw it just because. This was really inspired by Scooby Doo. Scary blood and lots of fun. It's crap to win. Let's unmask them. Oh my gosh. Toby? I can explain. Oh god. License plates. I did the trick this time. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm digging this. Oh, no. Everything open. Whoa! <laughs> this was supposed to be like a paranormal activity kind of parody. Oh, my gosh. What is that? 
my god. Oh my god, it's Jason. But is it actually Jason? Oh, I'm screaming. Ah! Ah! Also guys, what a according to my the Rainbow Bang one and lots of fun is craft a ween. Look at it go. Look at that pumpkin. I know what you are. I know what you are. Oh yeah. Say it. You're a vampire. A vampire. Here, get on my back. Uh, yeah, like that. Wait, I have the wings. Woo! Wow. Look at me go. Hold on, little spider monkey. <laughs> That's an actual line in Twilight. Oh, what? Oh no. I'm being abducted. It looks so real. <laughs> Tractor beamed up. Ah! Where the heck am I? Oh my god, someone's coming. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Smack, 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 smack. What a fun POV shot. Oh, Ben! Look at him go! If you guys want me to make Ben a proper tire bed, uh, let me know down in the comments down below. I'll probably end up doing it if I get enough people telling me to. Well, yes, Not enough people told say, me to. I have you suck at cooking playing in the background the on how to make a pizza. Look at it. And there it's been the whole time, right underneath my foot. Look at it go. Great coffee table. 10 out of 10. Doink. Oh wow, two of them. I popped two! Let's see how many this little one will pop. You ready? Huh! I'm not suck at throwing things, honestly. My guess was three, wasn't it? Dang it, it was three, I was wrong! But I popped two, so. So drippy, I messed up. And that camera literally broke that same day. And just go ahead and raise the roof. Oh gosh. Oh. Here we go, guys. I'm on the move. Oh yeah. I'm going to the bathroom. I I'm taking a bathroom. Break. Gingerbread house BRB. for Troy Dabransky. Oh god. Is it gonna fit? No. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Looks a little bit better, I guess. This is gonna be a very big head. Okay, so now you're probably thinking, Robbie, they're gonna see this oh, giant. It's so hole heavy. Just I can't believe I filmed August. a 15 a minute video in so one hour. So the first thing about this one is. <laughs> Robbie Epic Sauce. Epic Sauce. <laughs> Spelled my name wrong. Bench, it's your birthday. Your birthday, Bench. Your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yay! And she was born on New Year's Eve. Let's prank no, Santa with a freaking bomb, bro. Okay. You ready? Oh Santa, Santa! What is it? Uh, I thought I was lighting a candle, but I actually lit a freaking bomb! What are we gonna do? Uh, I, we gotta go for cover. Uh, go inside of my gingerbread house. I'm not gonna fit in there. We did it! We saved Christmas! We did with it! The power of pranks. If you guys like we saved Christmas, and I watched every single video! Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It looks like this file right down there. It's currently um, about one in the morning. Uh, I've been watching my videos for the past three days and I am so tired of hearing my voice. <laughs> if you guys wanna watch every single video I made this year yourselves, uh, I actually made a compilation over on the Clips channel. We did do two parts. I couldn't do the entire 20 hours because my editing program wouldn't do it. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're done. Okay, happy New Year's. Bye. Ah! Hey, guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today, we're 
be trying some fun parenting life hacks by Five Minute Crafts. You guys seem to love the last one that I did with the intern where I trapped him in the closet and just tried parenting hacks on him. So I decided I'm gonna do another one, but uh, the intern's not here today. And also, I just watched every single one of my videos and I kinda liked it best when I reacted to the clips. So I'm gonna try reacting to the clips today. Uh, let me know down in the comments down below if you guys actually like this. Anyway, let's do some parenting life hacks. Okay guys, so for this one, you're gonna want a box. And then you're gonna wanna cut a hole for your face in that box. Then just put a bunch of Skittles all over it. Just crop it into your face and boom, it looks like you're covered in Skittles. This one looks like a lot of fun, so I'm gonna try it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need for this one is a box. Then we're gonna make it a little bit shorter by cutting it down. It really doesn't need to be very deep. Uh, it just needs to be able to fit the Skittles. So now I have to draw a circle to match my face. I don't really know how else I would do this, so um, I guess I'm just going to grab a Sharpie and just uh, squish my face right against it. And just outline my face like that. Ready? Okay. Oh no. I don't think my face is shaped like that. I feel like it's a little wider. I'm hoping this one actually works. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. That work? Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks about the shape of my face. Let's see. Does it work? Okay, yeah. I think uh, I think this might actually work. I'm gonna do a sideways angle so you guys can see how ridiculous this looks as I do it. I'm gonna put these right on my chest. Now I need to get my hair in there. Okay, now I have to open the Skittles. I should've gotten myself a pillow. I'm gonna use my hat. Oh, I'm dropping all my Skittles. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna zip this again. You ready? Oh, no, the bag's open. Pouring all the Skittles. I don't think I'm gonna have enough Skittles. Fill that in. Oh, they're starting to drop through. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have enough Skittles though. Spread out the Skittles. Ah. Oh, they're going through. Oh gosh. How's that look, guys? Does it look good? Oh my gosh, I just realized. I need to be the other way. That's okay. I'm just surrounded in Skittles. Oh no, the Skittles are falling. Oh! I made the hole way too big. Ah! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna. Oh, I got a Skittle in my eye. This works. This one uh, kind of works. Oh god, oh, I need more Skittles. Mm, it's delicious though. Are you tired of your lame little bubbles? <laughs> well, I have a solution for you. Add some water, a little bit of dish soap, glycerin, and just uh, mix it up with some strings attached to chopsticks. And boom, you can make yourself some giant bubbles. Wow, those are some big freaking bubbles. Whee! <laughs> this one looks like so much fun. Okay guys, so here's our little Tupperware of water. Here's our string that I already went ahead and kind of tied into a circle. Then we get our chopsticks and just tie those on too. Boop -boop -boop. Real easy. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some dish soap to this. And it also said glycerin, but I don't have any glycerin. I just don't know where it went. And then we mix it all up. You guys ready? Oh my goodness. It's like a wall of bubbles. Okay, let's see if I can get it to work standing up like this. Go ahead and... Whoa, man. I think I really need glycerin. Or more dish soap. I'm gonna go with more dish soap. Cause I have more dish soap. I don't have more glycerin. Okay, you guys ready to try this again? Here we go. Oh, popped. Nope, here we go. Ah, oh, popped again. Ah! I don't think this is gonna work without glycerin. I don't know where my glycerin went. Okay guys, I couldn't find glycerin, but I found more cellular water, which has glycerin in it. So, you know, we're gonna do with what we have, okay? Half the bottle should be fine. I feel like that's more than enough at this point. Oh my gosh, it's already sticking so much better. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, okay. I see you. Ah! More glycerin it is. There's so much more cellular water. Mix it all up. Ah! Why don't you want to work? I'm getting soapy water You're everywhere. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I'll try something else. It's gotta be here somewhere. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was on the floor. Oops. I'm gonna try this yarn instead. I feel like the yarn will be a lot more gentle and it'll work a little better. Okay, this darn dirty string anymore. Get that out of here. I'm with the old and with the new. We're on our journey to a new kind of bubble. Oh wow, okay. It's making a triangle. You ready for this triangle bubble? Ah, it didn't work. Oh, this is so complicated. It kind of worked! Oh, we almost got it! I'm getting bubble stuff everywhere, all over my floor. There we go, we blew one bubble. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I kind of got it to work. I feel like I'm gonna need some practice with this. Here we go, made the bubble thing smaller. Ah, 
this just doesn't want to work. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that with micellar over water, this does not work. Maybe if I had proper glycerin it would work, but this doesn't still do the hacking correctly, I guess. Yeah, I'm sorry. I feel like I failed you. Okay guys, so you're chilling in the pool. What are you doing? Why is she right there? She's pouring her soda on the plate of chips. What do you, what do you think was gonna happen? Like literally. Why are you surprised? Why are you surprised? I don't understand. Just the look of like shock on her. What did the fuck did you say? What did you expect to happen? Anyway, okay, okay, enough about that. So here's how to prevent this from ever happening again. You get yourself a cup, and then just cut a hole right in a plate, and just put it in there. Fill your cup up with your favorite bev. Surround it with chips, and uh, boom, all in one, and it floats. I feel like you're gonna have some really soggy chips. I don't foresee this working. That's why we're about to try it. Okay guys, here's our plate. Here's our cup that we're gonna fill with Coca-Cola. And then I just have to simply put that there. Then I'm gonna use the cup to kind of outline where I I want to cut it out. Over the boop. There we go. Cut this bad boy out. Really carefully. Can't be too careful when you're cutting. I've never been this good at cutting before. There we go. Stick our cup right in there. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should have made it a little bit bigger. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now we have our cup plate hybrid thing. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up with some refreshing ice cold Coca-Cola. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. And then we grab some Pringles, just spread that evenly throughout the plate. Boop boop. This is exactly how I like it. It doesn't seem to want to stick, but you know, we'll worry about that later. There we go. Cool. Looks good. I'm gonna put this off to the side for a moment. Now I don't really have anywhere to make this float, so I'm just gonna use this giant bucket that I have filled with water. It should work just fine. So now we're gonna grab our weird cup hybrid thing and just hope that it floats. The plate just barely fits inside of the bucket, so you know, it works. Oh, and we already have a leak. So we got some soggy chips. <laughs> Looks good. Very nice. Oh, I forgot a straw. I'll be right back. I hope this is still afloat when I get back. A few moments later. And this thing is sinking like the Titanic. There is so much water. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, you know, I'm going to drink my Coca-Cola while this lasts. <laughs> As always, some very refreshing Coca-Cola. Um, these chips are extremely soggy now. If I wanna you, drink my Coke, you know, just pick it up. Oh, the chips are now free floating. Looking good. My Coca-Cola is still standing. Everything is going great in paradise right now. And now my cup is about to tip over. Overall guys, I am not really digging this hack. Honestly, if I was the pool boy, this would really upset me. So for the sake of him, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. On to the next one. Okay guys, if you're like me, vacation time's right around the corner. So you're about to pack your clothes. It just won't all fit in your suitcase. It just won't zip shut. There's a fun hack that you guys will absolutely use in your everyday lives when traveling. Don't be like this girl. Don't get disappointed. What you want to do is you want to grab your pants and your shirt, put them just like this, fold them in, and put your socks at the top just like that. Roll up your shirt and just slip those socks right around the whole package and you have yourself a perfect little outfit pill for the weekend. You know, that's one set of clothes. So all you need is three of these, but I feel like you're saying you only brought like four outfits for this whole thing. Excuse me, but this, this looks like a lot more than four outfits, Missy. So I'm just gonna grab a giant pile of clothes that just won't fit in my suitcase, and then we're gonna pillify them and see if it actually makes less space. Let's go do this. Oh, you guys, so I don't actually own a suitcase. I just kinda use this cardboard box whenever I travel. It's a little weird going through TSA, but <laughs> you know it works. But the unfortunate thing is the cover that I have, it won't close all the way because I just have too many clothes. So if, if the capsule method works and I'm able to close this with the top on it, I'm gonna say that it works. Time to get to doing this. Same amount of clothes, guys. We'll start with my shirt, the classic Robbie Pizza Pixel shirt. These are available for sale if you guys wanna buy one, by the way. I'll link it down in the description down below. And then I got myself some funky sweatpants. Go ahead and fold in the sides, just like they did. Put out the little armholes. I don't know what that benefits exactly, but we'll put in the armholes regardless. Then we grab our socks, put them right in there, and then we simply roll all the whole thing up into a giant burrito. Oh yes. And now we capsulify it by pulling the sock over the shirt, just like this. Oh my gosh, it's almost there. Look how much smaller it is already. Okay, and there we go. My entire outfit all in one neat little capsule. It looks very compact, pretty good, very solid. Now I just have to do that with the rest of my clothes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. A few moments later. Okay, and we're gonna see if this fits conveniently. It's not looking too good from my perspective, but... Oh! 
it fits. It's a little bit lumpy. Maybe I could rearrange this. Can I? Oh, that's much better. There we go. That's perfection. And I even have enough to put my fist right here. Oh my God, you have enough room for me to come along. Uh, I mean, I guess, Toby, if you can fit, you can go. <gasps> okay. Well, it looks like I live here now. I suppose so, Toby, but I have to see if it passes the lid test. Oh, just get in there, Toby. Oh. There we go. Oh, wow. And it's looking like it pretty much, yeah, that, that fits. And now I can just bring my shoebox wherever I go. It'll have perfect little capsules. What do you think, Toby? Does this one work? I'm gonna have to say that this one works. All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, so picture this. It's a beautiful summer's day, and your hat just keeps flopping. It's just flopping everywhere. So what you're gonna wanna do is get that bad boy wet, and then put a bunch of starch all over it. And then just rub the starch all into the hat, let it dry for a little bit, and boom, your hat should stay up. It's the ultimate solution to the ultimate problem. My hats just never stay up. You know what I mean? I just have such a problem with this all the time. Okay guys, so here's one of my all-time favorite hats. But the only downside to it is it's just so darn floppy. Like, look at how much that just bends. So we're just gonna stiffen this up a little bit today. I'm gonna grab some water and then just shove it in there. Get it nice and wet. This is actually the same water bucket that I used in my last video where I got a bunch of chips super soggy. So there's already some starch in here. We're gonna flop that out and just completely cover it in cornstarch. Starch it. Oh, that's way too much. But starch it up. This is gonna be such a stiff hat. I can already feel it. Just rub that all in there. Get that starch all up in that hat. Then I'm gonna get some more water and just kind of lightly splash this cornstarch really to get it nice and saturated. I don't know if I was supposed to use this much because now it's it's so visible. Like, is this even the right kind of starch? Was I supposed to use cornstarch? I'm starting to really regret my decisions, both in life and this craft. What am I even doing? Now I'm just gonna have a white hat. I definitely think I put way too much cornstarch on here. Oh my. Just gonna wipe up some of the excess here. Just pat it dry. Maybe uh, wipe off some of the excess cornstarch as well. I don't think we need that much. You just need it to really settle in there. You know, this was one of my favorite hats. I did this for the craft and I'm starting to regret it. So much regret everywhere. <gasps> was I supposed to starch the bottom? <laughs> oh no. I'm just gonna soak up all the extra starch like this. Hopefully that'll work. Now, just to really expedite this process, I'm gonna use a blow dryer to help dry it out. Six and a half hours later. Okay guys, so the hat is dry now and it looks very, uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> covered in cornstarch and it's still extremely floppy. Well, let's uh, let's try it <laughs> I'm starting to think that I was supposed to use clothing starch. It doesn't even stay that straight I'll turn my hat on without my hat on. I don't know. It still seems very floppy to me Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that putting cornstarch on her hat does not make it more stiff. So this one doesn't work. So here's a fun little classic uh, life hack science experiment. You get some pepper and you put it on water and it just doesn't separate when you touch it. But you get some soap, put it on your finger and the pepper just goes away. It's scared of the soap. Based on my sources, I heard that this one works. But just in case, we're gonna try it. Okay guys, so here's our little guy of water. Then we're gonna insert the pepper. Whoa, this is so weird. It's all just kind of clumping together. Interesting. Okay, now I'm gonna dip my finger in it. Oh no! It's all staying in the same place. Now we're gonna grab some dish soap, put the tiniest little bit on our finger. I'm ready to see some magic, are you guys? Whoa! That was pretty cool. Does it do it again? Oh no, it won't go to any of the, like, the dish soap part. That was really cool. Does it work again if I do it? Just add more pepper. Dang, now all the pepper is falling to the bottom. Let's try it again. Nope, it didn't work. Okay, I guess it's because there was already soap in there. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. But it only works once, so uh, yeah. Have fun with that. Okay guys, so here is my phone. As you can see, it's very unprotected and I've already cracked it on the back right here. I don't know if you guys can quite see that or not. But you know, I think I need a new phone case and that's exactly why we're gonna make one right now out of air dry clay. There we go. Don't need that anymore. Oh no, that went behind my desk. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'll worry about it later. Let's grab this clay and just smack it down. Ugh, really go and put some elbow grease into it. There you go. Flip it over, put some more. Ah, 
hit my funny bone, guys. So I'm hoping that this will work. Maybe spread it a little bit thinner, like pizza dough. What other things can I compare this to? No! It's to be bigger. I just add more clay. It's okay. This is gonna be the best phone case I've ever owned, okay? Smack my phone right on there and just peel up the edges ever so gently. Put it right on your phone. Oh my gosh, this is too much clay. This is too much. I hope this doesn't mess up my phone screen. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be the best phone case ever. <laughs> I forgot where my camera is. Oh my gosh. So now we're gonna break out my X-Acto knife and then just knife everything that I don't need on there off of there. There we go. Yes, yes. I don't need all this extra clay. This is looking fantastic so far. Oh no. What the heck? I kind of messed up because I don't know where my phone camera is anymore. Maybe over here. <laughs> is it this shape? Nope. No, that's not my phone camera. Maybe over here. It's over here somewhere. I know it. I can feel it. I messed up. So I just need this much for my phone camera. There we go. And this is going to be very much a permanent solution to my phone case because I don't think it's going to be very easy to get this off my phone. Okay, now this is going to dry in near 24 hours and I can't really touch it in the meantime. So I'll just leave my phone here to dry overnight. We'll see how it turns out. It kind of sucks because now I can't use my phone. Um, okay, I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, you guys, it's been 24 hours. Uh, actually, a little bit longer than that. Uh, <laughs> shh, don't tell anyone. I took a phone cleanse. You know, I just didn't talk to any of my friends or family for two days. Let's see, uh, turned out. Um, we got some cracks that go straight to the phone. It feels extremely solid. One downside to this is I forgot to put a hole for my charging port. I guess I'm never charging my phone again. They do make wireless chargers. I don't know if this actually works with that, especially considering how thick this is. But let's do the classic drop test really quick and see if, oh no, this already fell off. And see how well this phone case survives. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Meet me over here. We're at about my chest level. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it. One, two, and... Oh! It did not work at all. Oh, this phone case is completely broken. But my phone seems to be in perfect condition still. So in that regard, I'm gonna have to say it works. But in the phone case regard, this thing is not very sturdy. I probably wouldn't recommend this if I'm being totally honest here. Okay guys, so imagine this scenario. You're drawing and your pens just don't work anymore. Your marker's out of color, no longer drawing. So what you're gonna wanna do is get a wet wipe and ear stick. Wait, do they really call it an ear stick? It's called a con swap. Oh my goodness, people. Here, I can fix this really quick. Let me cross that out. We're crossing out your stick, guys, and this is gonna be cotton swab. There you go. And I'm even drawing a little arrow right there for you, and it is, in fact, a cotton swab. So you grab your ear stick, and uh, you just roll that bad boy right up, okay? With some uh, clear tape. Looks good, then you add some ink. Just fill that bad boy with ink. Um, and now you have yourself your very own customizable markers. Look how beautifully vibrant they are. Way better than store-bought markers. This is truly the way to go. But does it actually work? Work. And that's why I'm gonna try it so you don't have to. Okay guys, so first thing, paper. Next thing, Q-tips, baby wipes, writ dye, and tape. So we take our paper, don't need that anymore. I'm gonna fold it like this. And then we get our single Q-tip and I'm gonna fold it to about the length of the Q-tip actually because I want it to be that long. Go ahead and cut it right on that line. And then get our Q-tip and just roll it up with the paper. Then we grab our tape and just wrap that around. Move it a bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then we grab some of our writ dye. No, I was supposed to use baby wipes to redo all this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our baby wipe. And then I guess we just kind of fold it so that it matches the length of our Q-tip. We go ahead and roll this bad boy up. Looks pretty good. Grab our tape, tape it up really good. I don't actually have ink, so I think that Rit dye will just have to do. And just carefully pour it onto a little cotton swab. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm getting it everywhere. Oh, this is gonna dye my hand. Maybe I'll try it in the bottom. I think this might be working. I might need to soak up a little bit to get all the way through, but you know what? I think this should do. So we're gonna break out our piece of paper and let's try and draw with this, or at least write my name. Ready? Oh, actually, uh, that's an R, not an O. <gasps> Whoa! This is actually kind of cool. It's actually working! And that's my name! Oh, BBY! That's how you spell it, guys. Remember this name. Click subscribe to that name down below. This is me, Robbie, the one, the original. Anyway, I guess we're gonna have to say that this parenting life hack actually works. Okay, guys, so here's how to make some fun waterproof shoes out of some old socks. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab some shoes, ironically, and some old socks, and put those socks right over those shoes. Then you just grab your trusty, dusty glue, guys, and just put hot glue all over the 
soul of that bad boy. I'm just talking all up and down it, all around it, all up at the sides, all the top. Just waterproof that bad boy. Just make it into a shoe shape. There you go. And now you got some beautiful waterproof shoes. The new Crocs, everybody. I can't wait to make myself a pair. Okay guys, so this one is simple, elegant, straight to the point. I really hope it works because Robbie needs a new pair of shoes. Water shoes to be precise. So uh, first I guess I'm gonna get my sock. I'm using these ones because they have really bad holes in the heel. So just slide that right over. And there we go. Now we have a perfect foot for our shoe. Then we grab our hot glue gun, and then we just start putting hot glue all over this bad boy. I'm just gonna need mountains and mountains of just hot glue. I'm actually also gonna put some parchment paper on the bottom of this shoe. I should have done that while I was in there, now that I think about it. They didn't mention to do this in the craft, but I just don't wanna damage my shoe. Give it a bit. that right on there. Reinsert our shoe. There we go. Yes, that is much, much better. Now we're just gonna go really crazy with the hot glue on the bottom. Maybe I should do some like, ooh, I'm gonna open the window. Just because there's a lot of hot glue fumes here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a pattern, that way I can create grip, you know? I'm gonna need a second hot glue gun. Well, couldn't find the other glue gun, so we're just gonna really go ham and just do as much as we can at a time. Keep making these our traction. We're making our traction, but we're also just completely covering it in hot glue. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and let this cool down. And while I'm waiting for it to cool down, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. One eternity later. Okay guys, the hot glue is all cooled down, and this is how they look so far. Let's uh, attempt to take out the shoe without damaging this. Here we go. Oh wow, it actually held its shape. That's pretty cool. Okay, next one. And I didn't get any hot glue on my shoes. These look very interesting. Let's try them on. Oh yes, I love myself a good pair of boots. Especially waterproof boots. Ugh. There we go. Wow, this is really weird so far. Oh no. Time for the other one. This is interesting. They feel very floppy. Right off the bat, I should have probably maybe used uh, Tory shoes or something, but you know, they're okay. So what I actually decided to do is I got this little thing of water and we're gonna see if it's actually waterproof. If the sock underneath my sock is wet, then it's definitely not waterproof. Here we go. Oh, that is so cold. Oh, it's definitely leaking in there. Okay. Oh, yes. Next one. Oh no! Oh, that is leaking water. Oh, I can feel it. Okay. Are you guys ready for the results? Okay, taking these off. Oh! My sock is so wet right now. Well, guys, as waterproof boots, I'm gonna have to say that these don't work. It might be kind of fun to wear them around the house, but I would definitely use shoes that are smaller than your foot size. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> Okay guys, let me paint the scene for you. You are at your grandma's house and you're just running around and you hit your leg on a corner. And they're like, oh my gosh, your poor leg. So what you're gonna do is grab your uh, trusty 3D pen and just draw all around that sharp corner. You can make a design like this heart. It doesn't really matter, I don't think it does. But I'll do the heart anyway. And there you go, a now safe corner. But does it actually work? Okay guys, so here's my corner that is just uh, so sharp. So every time I bump into this thing, I just get a huge bruise. So I think it's about time for me to cover this bad boy up with some uh, 3D pen pen stuff. So here we go. I have complete faith in you, Five Minute Crafts, and I believe that this will work swimmingly, and I will never hurt myself ever again on this darn dirty safety hazard. 3D pens really take a while to just work, and I kind of suck at using them, so I'm starting to- Ah, oh, that's so hot! Okay, interesting, so I don't actually have to hold it. Okay, never mind. Okay. Two thousand years later. I feel like this is gonna take a while. It's very, very slow. So I guess it's time for a good old fashioned time lapse. Yes, and there we have it, a perfect functional piece of art. It is elegant like a spider's web, but it's also sophisticated like something sophisticated. Anyway, does it still hurt when I bump my hand? Ah! Oh God, oh gosh, oh. Ow, that hurt. Um, no, not at all. It works great, and uh, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, this one actually works. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, guys, so you're on the toilet, but you just don't know how to put your phone. It keeps falling whenever you put it on your knee. So what are you gonna do? Just grab a hair tie, and just uh, grab more hair ties. <laughs> hair tie all the hair ties together to make one Omega Shenron hair tie. And then you put your phone through that hair tie. And then, uh, you know, there you go. You got yourself a phone holder while you're, you know, doing your business. <laughs> okay, guys, this is a simple and elegant solution to an everyday problem that I surely 
have. I'm just always sitting down and I drop my phone all the time. It's been a nuisance in my life since day one. And I'm glad that this is a life hack that is a good solution. So we just put our phone right in there. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty secure now. Let's try this on our leg. Okay guys, here's a little point of view for you. Here's my leg and I'm just, you know, here's without strapping it to it. Oh my gosh, I'm just hanging out. Oh well, I'm just, ooh, I dropped my phone. Oh, can I crack my screen? Oh, it's safe for now. But let's try this little rubber band hack. Pull that right over, smack it on there, and there we go. You know, I'm just gonna be doing my thing. Look at that. I can shake my leg all around. Oh yes, this phone is truly not going anywhere. I can bounce my knee nervously. I can whack my leg against the desk. I can even sweep it off if I want to, and this thing's not going anywhere. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. An elegant solution to an everyday problem. Now, that's what I call a good five-minute craft. Okay, guys, you're just waving around your favorite toy, just whacking it around, and then boom! Oh, no, you ripped your pants! Oh, oh no. no, it scraped your knees. So what you're gonna want to do is flip those bad boys inside out and put some felt on there. Uh, maybe cut out a pair of teeth and uh, hot glue those bad boys down, and there you go. And flip them back outside out, outside out, and you got yourself some little mouse for knees? I don't really get this one, but I'm willing to try it. Okay, guys, so here are our pants. These are actually the pants from when I did that prank on the intern where I pretended like I was chopping off my leg. Now, the unfortunate part about that is the rip isn't actually in the front on the knees. It's on the back. So, I guess I'm gonna have like a little mouth just biting down whenever I close my leg. Which I think is equally as fun as having it on your knees. If anything, I think it's kind of like an Easter egg. So, even better. So, first things first, we flip it inside out. Just one leg at a time, just like everyone else. And here's our hole. So, then we just cut ourselves a little patch the size of our hole. Oh yes, very good. Grab our glue gun and simply put hot glue all around the hole. This is a bad time, but I realized that I was actually supposed to also make teeth. So <laughs> I'm gonna panic make these teeth really quick off to the side before our hot glue cools down. Keep calm and craft, guys. Boobity boo. There we go, we got our teeth right up on there. I'm gonna cut some more hot glue because I feel like this has kind of cooled down a little bit. That's how you reactivate hot glue. You simply uh, add more hot glue. Gloobity glue. I'm gonna cut off some of the excess here. Really reinforce it on the sides. I don't want this coming off. You thought I was gonna burn myself that time, didn't you? Huh, no way, not this time. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip the pants back inside out. Or I guess outside in at this point. I don't really know. The correct way. We're gonna flip our pants the correct way. Unless you like to wear your pants the other way. And I completely messed up. The teeth are now not gonna show. I think I have to cut my pants open a little bit more. We're making the hole bigger. I didn't think about this, you know? It wasn't my best move. I'm not sure where I went wrong. I mean, they still look, they still look cool, I guess. There's a lot of hot glue on our teeth. It's okay, it's just slime. So yeah, there's his little teeth. Looks pretty good. Let's try these bad boys on. Oh gosh, I fell from the sky. But anyway, what's going on? What's up, Huggy Wuggy? I also have a monster part of my leg. I kind of put it a little bit too far, but you know what? It looks okay. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of kind of works. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. It's like a fun little Easter egg, as the kids call it. So, I guess I'm gonna have to say that it, it kind of works. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Listen to this part right down there. Also, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. If you guys like this video, you guys watch me try even more fun five-minute crafts. I actually have an entire playlist of me doing that right here. Make sure to subscribe to my clips and vlog channel. And also, I started uploading on Robbie Reacts, so uh, also subscribe to that one. Okay, guys, Thank you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ready? Okay, bye. Ah! Hey, guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today, we're going to be trying some fun life hacks. So, I'm just going to jump right into this one. Okay, guys, here's how you make yourself a little paper rocket. So, you grab yourself a straw and just uh, put it on a piece of paper. Roll up that piece of paper. Keep that bad boy down. Put on its, its nose cone. Put on some wings. And boom, blow on your straw. You got yourself a little paper rocket. I don't Let's see why this wouldn't work. First things first, guys, we grab our paper, and then we're gonna use a yellow piece, because that's what they use. And then we grab our straw and just roll it on up. I feel like it doesn't need to be this long, so I'm actually gonna cut it to about halfway, because I don't think it really needs to be that thick. Then we're gonna tape it down. Okay, it looks pretty good. And then we have to make our little rocket nose. So we're just gonna take a blue piece of paper and make it into kind of like a cone. Go ahead and tape it down. I'm putting tape all over it just to make it nice and airtight. Now we're gonna take our little cone and just snip it. 
It's never even. I do this with the Craftmas tree too. And somehow they just threw it on to this. I don't know how the heck they did it, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna tape this part shut, even though they didn't say to. Maybe if I just put the tape kind of like on the sides and then shove it in like that, then just kind of push the tape down. That might hold it. I don't know. It's gonna be going straight, so it doesn't really matter that much. Then we go ahead and make the wings. There we go. Snip that in half, tape them on. Okay guys, so this is how mine turned out, and uh, this is how theirs turned out. I think the main difference is my wings are a little bit bigger, and the nose is also a little bigger. Also, I think my wing was uneven. Oh, that's a lot closer to theirs. But the nose is still kind of big, that's fine. I think it's time to try this bad boy out. Let's do it. Oh yes, what a truly impressive piece of aeronautical engineering. Let's see how far I can blow this bad boy. One, two, Would recommend. <laughs> okay, guys, so this one is kind of complicated. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna grab a post it note and then fold it this way, and then we fold it this way, unfold it, then uh, refold it like this, fold it like that, like this, like that, like this. Oh my gosh, this is so much. <laughs> and just put it all together like that and glue it together. <sighs> this is a lot. This is a lot. And then you get, make two of them, put them together, and then boom! Wow, you got a fancy box that closes like this that closes when you twist it. I don't get how it works, but I am amazed. I would love to see if this actually works. I'm ready to be really confused. Okay guys, so like I said earlier, I'm not very good at origami, but I'm gonna try my darn best. So we're gonna start off with a single post-it note. Perfect. And apparently we just turn it to the side, fold it in half, turn it to the side again, fold it in half again, and then we unfold it. Fold this little guy twice, once to where it barely touches the middle, and then we're gonna fold it again. Do the same thing with the other side. And now we have a shape that uh, kind of resembles theirs. So now we have to fold it up to where the point just barely touches this little point right here. The two points are gonna touch. And then once we fold it like that, we fold it back like this. So now the point is going that way. Flip this bad boy upside down. Fold this guy up. We fold this guy up like that. So that the little triangle barely peeks its little head uh, out of the square right here. We take the same little one and fold it just like that. So now they should look the opposite of each other. Just like this. Looking pretty good. Now I make another one. 12 seconds later. And a boobity boop. And I made one extra. So then apparently we just grab a glue stick and just put it right on the little flaps. And we grab another one and just put them together. That doesn't seem right though. I feel like it's supposed to be like this. I could be completely incorrect. Anyway, we're gonna do it how it says to do it. These together. I don't think that makes sense. Oh, so you have to interlock them like that. Okay, and then I guess you put the glue on this side. This isn't making any sense. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Okay guys, so this maneuver was a little complicated. I couldn't tell what the heck was going on in video. So basically, you flip this bad boy over, one of them, put them together like that. This little guy is sticking through this guy. So good, good. Boopity boop, just like that. And then we take this apart, and there's a little flap. You're gonna put these together like that. They should all go together fairly evenly. There we go. And it should be the opposite color to the one that it is. This was a lot. I suck at origami. And we're gonna take our glue. <sighs> this took so long. I forgot to put the cap on the glue. And now the glue is messed up. And then we fold that over. And we fold the other one over. And we do that again with all the little flaps. And I'm gonna use this candle uh, to put some weight on it to keep it together. And then I just have to glue together all the other ones. Shout out to my cousin. He really got me through this one. I couldn't figure this one out. And we just go ahead and glue them together like that. And I'm gonna let this dry. When it's all done, I'll show you how it turned out. Six and a half hours later. Okay guys, and here is how it turned out. It looks pretty good. Let's see if it will actually open. Oh, we have a box! It's not a perfect box. It looks fine. Let's see if we can make another one. Whoa! We have another box. I should have probably uh, maybe put them askew so that I don't have similar colors on each side. Another box! Another box! Wow! Four little boxes. This turned out really cool. Does it break down? Whoa! Dang, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Down in the comments down below, let me know if you guys think I should make a giant one. Let's get this video to 10,000 
thumbs up. And if we do it, I'll actually make a giant one of these. <laughs> I can just imagine it now. Just go. That is so freaking cool. Anyway, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually works. Okay, right, guys. So with summer being only about ten months away, uh, you're gonna want to find yourself a reliable cooler. So here's how to make one out of a diaper. Uh, so get that bad boy nice and wet, freeze it, and then just shove all your bevs right in there. And now you have some ice cold, refreshing Coca Cola. You're welcome. Let's see if this actually is any better than a normal cooler. Let's do this. Okay, guys, so for this one, I just need a single diaper. Oh, yes. Perfect. A single diaper. And then I guess I'm supposed to clamp them together? Clip them together? How does this work? Is this Velcro? Diapers have Velcro? I think this diaper might be expired. Oh, I found the Velcro. Okay, I figured it out. So you just Velcro it together. It's been a very long time since I wore diapers, guys. I'm sorry. And, uh... Yeah, there you go. So once it's Velcroed together, we grab ourselves a big old bucket of water. Oh my gosh, that's so heavy. And just dunk it right in there. This thing should expand tenfold. Will it hold water? Oh, gross. Okay, now I'm gonna go shove this thing in my freezer and just hope that uh, Tori doesn't question anything. Okay, guys, it has been 24 hours and this thing is rock frickin' solid. Oh my gosh, that is a hard diaper. So let's see if we can open it up a little bit. Ugh. Uh, I should have probably put something in there to place hold the soda cans. Uh, okay, yeah, this is looking pretty decent, I gotta say. Now let's get a little bit uh, technical here. And we're gonna see how many Monster Energy drinks sit inside this guy. We got a blue one, we got a pineapple classic. So far we got two. Really just squish them in there. I'm sure that'll work. Here's a slightly slimmer one. Give us a bit of a handicap. Uh, just get in there. Uh, so, I think I should have went with maybe a toddler diaper instead of an infant diaper. Because if I would have done that, I would have probably been able to fit more. But other than that, you know, these fit great. And I'm going to have to say that this absolutely works. Just throw a bunch of diapers in your fridge. I couldn't see how this wouldn't keep your stuff cold. Because that's like an ice pack. Okay, guys, we're going to be doing one of my favorite activities, tie-dye. Okay, guys, we're going to be tie-dyeing some socks today. So the first step to this is get a white sock, scrunch it up just like this, put some rubber bands over it and then just put that dye all over it. Solve up your socks until you have tie-dye. Boom! You got yourself some tie-dye socks. This is great. I love this and I love tie-dye socks so I can't wait to try this. Okay guys so for this one I'm gonna need some gloves, some writ dye, and some fresh white socks. Make sure they're cotton. Cotton dyes really well compared to like polyester. I learned that the hard way. Now we're gonna put all this off to the side and then I'm gonna grab a Tupperware container to catch all the excess dye and then a grate of some sort to put over it. Then we're gonna grab our socks, and then I'm actually going to roll my socks. Uh, they kind of bunch there, but I thought it would be really fun if I kind of folded mine in half like this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and roll it from the outside in. Grab a rubber band and just uh, rubber band this bad boy together. And for this one, I'll do it kind of like the opposite way and just roll it straight on. Move it up, another rubber band, and there we go. We have two perfectly rolled socks. Then we're gonna put on our gloves and just uh, go ham with some Rit dye. For the sake of this, I'm gonna put some in a squeeze bottle just to really help me uh, a little bit. Because the Rit Dye doesn't really come with any sort of dispenser. So we're just putting it in a little squeeze bottle. Okay, there we go. Three squeeze bottles full of Rit Dye. I will go ahead and start off with the darkest color on this one. Like I said, this is all experimental. I've never tie-dyed socks before. I can tell this is gonna be fun though. Already this uh, blue is extremely dark. Just to make it a little easier to see the socks and everything, I'm gonna put some white paper at the bottom. I don't know how much this is gonna help, but I just want the socks to be visible. Oh, that definitely helps a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with some of the pink and then shove it right in there with the dye. All experimental here, guys. And last but not least, fill it in with some of this yellow. Looking pretty good. Now for the next one, I think I'm gonna do mostly blue. Again, this looks very much like a black. This is supposed to be like a navy blue, apparently. A little bit more pink. Let's really get that pink in there. This almost looks like a maroon red. Red dye, what are you doing? I'm pretty sure this will turn out a little different once I rinse it. Ever so slightly, the tiniest bit of yellow, and just like the little white spots, really fill it in. Okay, looks pretty good. And while I'm at it, I might as well do the rest of the socks really quick. So for these, I'm gonna try uh, some different techniques. Like for some of them, I will try the wrinkle technique that 5 Minute Crafts suggested. And then other times, I'm just gonna kinda do whatever the heck I'm feeling like doing at that exact moment. Right here, I'm kinda just twisting it, and then I'm gonna turn it into a knot. Perfect little knot. Just do a 
few of those. These ones, maybe like fold them in half and then roll it up. I'm really just making all this up as I go along, guys. But that's part of the fun. This one, I'm just kind of folding a few times. Now let's get back to the fun part and start dyeing these bad boys. And I have a pretty wide variety of dyes that I can use, so uh, I'm just gonna really mix it up with this one. We got some reds. That's blue. Last but not least, the yellow. Okay, guys, and there we have it. You can't even see all the socks now because they're so dark. Now I'm gonna let the dye sort of sit for a few hours and then I'm gonna rinse it out. A few moments later. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these out. The trick with this is you wanna use cold water. That way it doesn't run through and kind of mix all your colors together. How are we looking on this one? Oh, wow. That's turning out pretty cool. I like the purple. Yeah, we're getting some nice green in there. I didn't originally add green, but that's what happens when you add yellow and blue together. Together. I probably ended up using way more dye than I needed to, but I just wanted to be safe because socks, they just come in contact with constantly moving feet. Just your feet are constantly rubbing against these things, and you know, that just really takes dye out fast. And this is how our little sushi roll one turned out. Oh, wow. That blue looks so nice. Yeah, I definitely used uh, a little too much dye on this. I could have probably gotten away with watering it down, but I still think they turned out really good. I should actually keep these up here. That way they don't just kind of morph all together. I'm pretty good. Here's a bunched up one that 5 Minute Crafts recommended. This one might turn out better than all of them. Or maybe not. I don't like these large hatches. I definitely used a lot of purple on this. <laughs> I think it's because I used a lot of red and I used a lot of blue. And they just kind of mixed together. Which, I mean, the purple doesn't look bad. I'm not upset with the purple. Now for our mostly yellow ones. These I just kind of rolled up. Okay, so one side's gonna be a lot brighter than the other. Which is fine. Oh, and here's our knot. The knot turned out the best. I am really happy with this one. This looks like a really cool tie-dye. Lesson learned for next time, I'm definitely watering down my dyes a little bit, maybe getting the actual socks wet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish these off, throw them in the dryer, and I'll show you how they turned out. Okay guys, are you ready to see how these socks turned out? So I'm gonna start off with um, the way that uh, 5 Minute Crafts told me to do it. Uh, here you go. Oh yes, they look um, very good. A little bit darker than I wanted them to, um, you know. We got a little spots of yellow, but it all kind of just blended together. Nice. Uh, let's go on to uh, my method. So here is uh, my method. Folding it, it looks completely different than the other way, so that's how that turned out. And uh, this is the spiral method, you know, way different than the other two. As you can see, all the socks. I'm just so happy with uh, the variety in color. Every one of these turned out so unique. Ugh, I messed up. I think I used way too much dye. I don't know where I went wrong. I think I was supposed to maybe mix the dye with water, but all the socks turned out exactly the same, as you can see. Maybe tie dyeing socks is not the way to go. Can you dye socks? Yes. Could you probably do it a better way? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll say that this one works. I really need to learn how to tie dye things better. Okay guys, so what you're gonna want for this is some Coke. Just uh, drop that into your bottle. Get some syrup. I'm guessing that's corn syrup, but I'm not exactly sure. They don't really tell you. They just say syrup. What kind of syrup could it be? Maple syrup? I don't know. Go ahead and mix that together. Shake, shake, shake. Real good. And then you freeze it, and it should look something like this. Whoa! It's a Coca-Cola flavored worm. This looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. So here's our Coca-Cola, our corn syrup, and our empty Coca-Cola bottle. So we're just gonna go ahead and start putting some of this Coca-Cola back in this bottle. Oh gosh, that's getting everywhere. <laughs> I'm hoping that's about 50-50. And then we add our corn syrup. Ooh, baby. This is some thick stuff. Again, they didn't really say how much to add, so I'm just gonna do 50-50 and hope that- Oh no! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, that is overflowing. Just pop all the bubbles, and then I'm going to gently mix it up. You can see where the corn syrup is. This is so weird. I've never actually worked with corn syrup before, so this is a first for me. Gotta clean all this up really quick. Just mix that up really good. This is totally gonna explode on me, isn't it? It feels like it is. Gonna release some of the pressure. Okay, now I'm gonna toss this bad boy in the freezer for a little bit and try and get it before it completely freezes over. Okay guys, I let this guy freeze for about three hours. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's delicious, but I think it needs to freeze a little bit longer. Let's go back in the freezer. A few moments later. Okay, guys, I gave it another hour. Let's see how it turned out. Is it gonna do the wormy worm thing? I don't know. Get a little squeeze. Oh. Oh! It didn't 
wormy worm. No! Oh! Now it's kind of working. It doesn't like, it doesn't get very big, but uh, it kind of works for a second. Oh my gosh. It's pretty good. Wow. That's not bad. Great ice cream, but it doesn't get very big when you squeeze it. So, you know, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one mostly works because it's a delicious treat, but it doesn't really work for uh, the wormy worm. Woo! Yeah, I guess I'll say that this one works. For this one, you're gonna want baking soda, citric acid, and sugar. Go ahead and mix all of them up into a bowl. Add a little bit of food dye, some oil. I don't know what kind of oil they want. Vegetable oil? Uh, mix it up. Add a little bit of glitter. I might skip the glitter for this one, actually. Put it in an Easter egg. Add a little toy. Add a little bit more of this concoction. And then just shove all of it into an Easter egg. Let it dry. And boom! You got yourself a bath bomb. Oh my goodness. And at the end of the bath bomb, you get the little toy. Woo! How fun. I can't wait to try this one. Okay guys, here's everything we need. Let's get to it. So first we're gonna add some baking soda. Then we'll add a little bit of citric acid, a little bit of sugar, food dye. I'm gonna do blue. I love blue. And just a little bit of oil. Or in this case, a lot of oil. A mix, mix, mix. 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 mix. I also forgot the glitter. Nothing like being covered in glitter to really make you feel clean. Now we're gonna take our egg, which is also pretty shiny, and get our little toy. Uh, I'm using a skeleton. I'm just gonna shove some of our bath bomb in there. Bloop! There we go. Just really pack it in there. And then I try my best to really just squeeze this in here and fit it all in there. There we go. Oh my gosh, okay, you can do it. Ugh. I feel like these should be separated. I think that'll work a lot better. And can we close it? This feels awful. I don't think I was supposed to use vegetable oil. I can't imagine vegetable oil feeling nice on your skin. Or being good for your skin. This really likes to stick in there, which is kind of surprising considering how much vegetable oil there really is. Okay guys, this is about as good as we're gonna get. I'm gonna let this sit out for about a day and uh, we'll see how how it turns out. Okay guys, and here's our bath bomb. I ended up just wadding it together because it was really just falling apart in the shell like that. Oh my gosh, this is so covered in oil. This feels so gross. Uh, okay, it is still very wet. I'm gonna go ahead and see if it'll come out in one solid bath bomb chunk. Come on. Ah! It's really stuck in there. You would think with the oil, it would just slip right out. Ah! Come on. I'm gonna use a screwdriver to help me pry it open. You just tap it, loosen it up a little bit. That is a very solid bath bomb. I hope I'm not breaking the bath bomb by doing that actually. Just like a bottle cap. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry to think that the bath bomb expanded in there and really made it stuck in there. Oh, oh, oh. It is free on the top. Here we go. There we go! Oh my goodness, what a perfect little bath bomb. Now for the bottom. I'm trying really hard not to break this bad boy. I'm gonna start cracking it a little bit. Oh no. Maybe lightly put some water on it. Oh, it's already starting to fizz up. That's so cool. Let's see. That loosen it up a little bit. Nope, it just made it more slippery. I just wanna know where I went wrong with this. Maybe it was cooking oil? They didn't define what kind of oil to use. Okay, I really don't wanna break this thing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and test it out. I'm sure the shell will come off eventually, so you guys ready to see this bath bomb? One, two, and... Wow! It's actually working, guys. <gasps> There's our toy! Oh my gosh, oh my, whoa! Yeah, vegetable oil was definitely not the move. <laughs> you just see it like on top of the rest of the water. Oh my gosh, it's so oily. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely a bath bomb. Look at that, it's fizzing up. Well guys, as a bath bomb, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. And you get a fun prize inside. There we go, got the shell off. Looks good. Down in the comments down below, let me know if you guys think I should make a giant bath bomb. And I absolutely will with one of my giant Easter eggs. I think that would be a really fun experiment. So for this one, I'm gonna need some foil, a tomato, uh, scoop out the guts of the tomato, add an egg, oh, not another egg, some pepper, salt, cheese, dill, wrap it all up in the foil, put it over a coal fire, and boom, you got yourself a baked tomato. Yeah, what? sure. I got you. I understand. Okay, guys, so here's our rye tomato. Look how beautiful and big and red this is. So we're gonna cut off the top, then we scoop out the guts. There we go. Okay, now that we hollowed it out, we just go ahead and crack an egg inside of it. See if I can do this without getting it everywhere. 
Oh, ho, ho, perfect. And we add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and their recipe also called for dill weed. I don't think I've ever had this, but uh, you know, it's gonna be an experience for sure. I think that might be a little too much dill weed. And then they also said to add some cheese. They didn't say what kind of cheese, I'm adding pepper jack, because that's my favorite kind of cheese. Ooh, baby. I'm not gonna lie, this actually looks pretty good. I'm excited to actually try this. I think it's gonna be pretty delicious. Now the last step is to put it in some tin foil, wrap that bad boy up. Then we're gonna put it right inside the charcoals of my grill. Okay, now to carefully place this bad boy in the coals. I'm just gonna fully bury it in the coals just to be safe. I don't wanna eat any raw egg here. I'm starting to think I should have made more coals. It said to leave it in for 10 minutes, so I'm putting a timer on my phone. I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. Okay guys, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's take this guy out of the coals. Okay, that is properly covered in charcoal. There we go. I don't know if you can even see this. Okay, let's go inside and open this bad boy up. Oh, this is so covered. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks pretty good actually. Ooh, yummy. I just really like cheese, TBH. And we got some melted cheese on here. We got a roasted tomato. Oh my God, I'm gonna clear off this plate really quick. I'm just not a big fan of my food tasting like ash. See if I can carefully transport this. It is still very, very hot. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Ooh, with the knife, it kind of smells like pizza, like low key. Ooh, let's give it a nice little slice open. Oh, that is some very, very gooey egg yolk. You know, that's not bad. Okay, let's try this bad boy. Ooh, that is so watery. I think that's probably from the tomato. Guys, I literally can't get over how much this smells like pizza. I think it's mostly the tomato. It's actually not bad. Ooh. The egg is actually cooked fairly all the way through. It's a little bit runny, and most of that, like I said, most of this juice is actually from the tomato. So overall, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. It's a quick little tomato egg recipe you can try at home. Mmm. Impress your friends. Oh, I know why it tastes like pizza. It's because it has cheese and tomato. Two of the, like, biggest ingredients in pizza. Jizzy Chops is not like milk. They can't stand the stuff. Oh, well, here's a great solution for you right here. Grab yourself a whole watermelon. Just take out everything. Take out all, all the fruit. Put on a top. Add the milk. And boom. Just drink up. That ought to make the milk taste great for sure. Okay, guys. Are you ready for a classic treat? We're just going to want to cut our watermelon in half. Well, don't need this anymore. Then we scoop out the insides. Okay, perfect. Now that I'm thinking about it, I actually do need the other half. Here we go. Oh gosh. Now we cut a little slice of this bad boy as a top. There we go. Now we add our milk. A boobity boo. Oh, yummy. Watermelon milk. Put our top on. Then we just add our straw. Okay, guys, time to try it. There's watermelon stuck in it. I'm just gonna grab another straw. Okay, now we're actually gonna try it. watermelon and milk should mix. <laughs> Guys, this is not good. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. You can use uh, watermelon as a cup, but it does not taste good. So what you want for this one is a shirt, and then you're gonna go ahead and fold that shirt in half, cut right here, flip it inside out, and sew this bad boy. And now you have the perfect little onesie for your little dude. Wow, it's great. Hey you guys, so here's our shirt. The first thing we have to do is cut it right along this area. Looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it inside out. Okay guys, now it's time to sew this bad boy. I really hope I don't break Tori's sewing machine again this time. How do I move this up? I think it's, oh yes. Ah, I just hit my finger. And there we go. How are we looking? Flip it back inside out. Oh, okay, yeah, wow. This looks pretty good. I mean, originally, I was gonna put this on my dog's son. I don't have a person's son. I was gonna put this on my dog, Bench. But I feel like this would almost fit me at this point. Just make myself like a little onesie. We'll try it on Bench first, but if it doesn't fit him, I'm trying this bad boy on. Benjamin. Ben, ben just isn't the biggest fan of outfits. Hey, Bench, are you ready to try your new outfit on? Give us one moment to get this guy dressed. 12 seconds later. Okay, guys, and this is how it turned out on my dog's son. What do you think, Ben? Do you like it? It's kind of large on him. I think he needs a hair tie to hold this up. There we go. What do you think, buddy? Do you like it? I don't think he's the biggest fan of these clothes. You look really handsome in your outfit, Bench. Guys, Benji just turned three years old on New Year's Eve, and now he's an old guy. So he's just in his pajamas all the time. Just a little old man. So everyone down the comments.
comments down below, make sure to wish Benj a very happy birthday. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this little outfit actually kind of works. It'd probably work a little better if we got him a smaller shirt, but overall, it definitely works. So for this one, you're gonna want to steal a blanket, and then you fold it up just like this, and just cut off all of that. I feel like this is wasting a blanket. Um, then you cut a bunch of slits at the bottom, and boom, you got yourself a poncho! Wow! I would rather just have a blanket. Hey guys, you know what's even better than a brand new baby shark blanket? A brand new baby shark poncho. I'm gonna make this one a little bit different so that it fits me. Boobity boop. Yeah, I think my head should fit through that. And they cut the edges like this. I'm not the biggest fan of this, but I'll do it for the craft. Oh my gosh, these are falling apart so... Oh no! Oh my... Guys, are you seeing this? That's gonna just break off. What have I done? I'm not continuing this. This was... Oh no! They're all just falling off! Okay, well, you know, we might as well quit while we're ahead and see how our poncho turned out. Oh yes! A perfect baby shark poncho. You know, minus the little rips at the bottom. Although, it doesn't look bad, it's just, it's just it keeps falling apart. And I could see that really not holding together well. So, here we go. Ready for this baby shark poncho? There we go! And now I have the ultimate baby shark poncho. I love it. Thumbs up. I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. I love my new poncho. The only downside is baby shark is upside down on my back. But besides that, it works great. 100% would recommend, especially with baby shark blanket. Okay guys, is your scarf just way too long? Like you just keep stepping on it? What you can do is take a little rubber band and then you make it into a bow. Oh wow, double bow. And now it's a perfect length. Okay guys, so here is our scarf, which is just uh, so long, it doesn't even fit in the frame. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and make some bows. This is pretty easy peasy. I got a tie-dye Scooby-Doo scarf for this. So apparently you just fold it over like that, grab your rubber band, boop -boop, rubber band that together, and then we do the other side. Boom, and now you have a bow. Now let's do the other side. Boom, we got ourselves two bows. Let's try this bad boy on. Okay, let's see how this looks on me. I love tie-dye, it's one of my favorite things to wear. So the Scooby-Doo tie-dye scarf is the perfect accessory to anything I wear, really. These are how the bows turned out. They're a little floppy, definitely didn't turn out as good as hers, but overall, I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. It's definitely shorter and it looks snazzy on me, okay? I love it. Great job, Five Minute Crafts. So this is how you can make your drawings into a fun shirt. So you take your drawings, and then you put plastic wrap over it, cut them out, I guess, and then iron them on. It's that easy. And then you got yourself this awesome shirt. I wonder if this one will actually work. Oh, you guys, so here's our piece of printing paper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and write out my design. I think I'm just gonna put the word craft, a classic on a classic shirt. And then for this one, I'm giving it an exclamation point. Craft, 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 craft. We're just really excited. We're just out here. We're crafting. The craftiest guy you'll ever meet. What's up, guys? Professional life hack tester and crafter here. Robbie Epic Sauce. Okay, I'm gonna outline it in black. I ended up really going big with the exclamation point. Just to show how excited we are to craft. Now we cut this bad boy out. Hey guys, and this is how it turned out. The letters are kind of more curly than I anticipated them to be, but you know, I'm sure it'll be fine, okay? Now we're gonna grab our shirt. <gasps> no! Oh, I just blew all of them away. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got our shirt, and we are not going to blow them away this time. I'm a mess. We're gonna craft this, and we're gonna craft it good. According to this, they just used plastic wrap to put it on there. I don't know how exactly this is going to work. This feels like it's already going to be a complicated process, especially considering considering all these are already kind of rolled up. So essentially, I have to put a layer on the top and a layer on the bottom. So I'm gonna try my best to flatten these guys out. They really don't wanna flatten out though, if I'm being honest. Oh my goodness. Just flatten out for me. What the craft? I'm going to carefully put the second layer of saran wrap on. Hopefully this will help flatten it out a little bit. It just said plastic wrap. And I don't know if it's supposed to be like actual, like laminating plastic, or if it's just supposed to be like 
like regular old plastic wrap. They made it very unclear, but I think I'm making it work. And now I'm gonna cut off some of the excess here. There we go. Center it in the middle of our shirt. Then we grab some parchment paper, put that over it. And then we grab a hot iron and just iron it down. And just melt all the plastic, melt all your cares away while you're ironing and making this DIY craft shirt. It's truly relaxing. It just melts the plastic and melts your cares away. I already made that joke. Anyway, I think this might actually work. I'm getting a weird suspicion of it. It does kind of concern me that I'm using paper for this, but you know, it's a craft. Let's see how it's turning out. Oh, wow. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder if I melt it even more, like the edges will just disappear. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Oh, wow. You can definitely see some of the plastic wrap on there, but for the most part, Oh, wow. It kind of feels like a normal shirt. I should probably let it cool down a little bit and solidify, but overall, this is looking pretty good. Well, we might as well try it on. Not gonna lie, I am really excited for this t-shirt. One, two, and... Oh, wow, I look so great in my brand new craft t-shirt. Unfortunately, it feels like part of it, oh my gosh, it already started falling off. That is very unfortunate. But you know what? It looks great. You're only gonna wear it for a day or two. Highly recommend this. It doesn't damage your clothes from what I can tell. So if you wanna temporarily decorate your shirt, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. But if you want a more permanent solution, I would say go with something else because it doesn't work in that case. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Listen to this part right down there. Also, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. If you guys like this video, you guys want to try even more fun five minute crafts, I actually have an entire playlist of me doing that right here. Make sure to subscribe to my clips and vlog channel. You guys love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ready? Okay, bye. Ah! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today we're gonna be trying some useful life hacks by Five Minute Crafts. Uh, let's just jump into it. First thing you're gonna want for this one is a pool noodle. And then you get a wire thing. I don't know what that is exactly. I've never seen a tool like this before. Uh, and you just cut it into this shape. Uh, then when you're done, you just cut it all off and boom, you got yourself a fancy phone holder. Wow, look, that's good. <laughs> I paused on a funny spot. <laughs> Anyway, let's go make ourselves a new phone holder. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm actually gonna need to make a special cutting tool. But in order to make the special cutting tool, I'm gonna have to use a special cutting tool. To the garage! So I'm gonna go ahead and draw out the shape of our tool first. It's almost like a slingshot shape. Just gotta make it nice and sturdy, you see. Maybe a little bit wider. Honestly, that should do fine. Then I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it down. Now we cut this bad boy. Good enough. I'm gonna grab some of this wire and just feed it on through. And now we have the perfect tool for the job. What this tool is exactly, I'm not sure, but they had something very similar. It was a lot more elegant than this, but you know, this is gonna work. So now that we have our tool, it's time to cut our pool noodle. Like I said, I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna do my darn best. There's a lot of pool noodle here, so I'm just gonna try and cut a little section and hopefully it'll work. Ugh. This does not cut very well. Oh, it's working! There we go. Okay, so we have our pool noodle piece. And I think I'm actually gonna try heating up this wire with this blowtorch. And in theory, this should just slip through just like butter. You ready, guys? And here we go. Oh, wow, it's working. And that was all the heat. This might take a little while. I don't know what kind of tool that was. It was a really cool looking saw. It's like a wire saw. I'll just try sawing it. I think that might be the best method. Oh, it's working. There we go. Turn it and then do the other side. That is not working very well. I'm gonna break out a bigger blowtorch. Yes, this should heat up nicely. Oh my. Oh yes. Okay, here we go. Try it again. Oh, that went right through like butter. Oh, look how crispy those lines are. I'm impressed. Not with my cut, but with how well it cut. Heating it up was definitely the move. But now it's very loose. Okay, one final cut, guys. Hey guys, it's nice and hot. Time for the final cut. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Just like butter. Oh, and then it just stops all of a sudden. That's fine saw the rest of it. We now have a little crown made out of pool noodle. Okay guys, and we're about to find out, will this hold my phone? <laughs> it does! 
Oh my gosh. I probably could have, oh. I could have probably cut it a little straighter. But you know what? It's a pretty good phone holder. I don't know why you need two of these cross beams, but maybe it's to orientate it a little different. Oh, hold my phone like this. <gasps> it does! Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Okay, guys, so you're at the beach and, oh no, your chocolate melted. What you're gonna wanna do is open that bad boy up and just dip some fruit in it. Wow! Oh my gosh, now you have chocolate covered fruit at the beach! You're ridiculous. Let's try it. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, right now in Vegas, it is actually kind of cold. Unlike in the summers when it's 120 degrees, right now it's about uh, 40. So unfortunately, I don't think I'd be able to melt this chocolate bar right now. So instead, I'm just gonna break out my trusty hair dryer and we're just gonna melt it the old fashioned way. <laughs> thousand years later. Okay, so this feels properly squished. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and open this puppy up. They made it look really easy in the video, so I'm expecting it to be really easy. Oh, carefully open this bad boy up. Oh, this looks delicious. Just a little river of chocolate. There we go. Ooh, wow. We now have a perfect little plate of chocolate. So now we'll break out our fruit. Boop, boop, boop. Get a little toothpick. Boop. We just roll our fruit all in our chocolate. Oh my gosh, guys. This looks so good. Good. I wonder if I could just cover these in chocolate and let them sit out on parchment paper and then freeze them And then I would have chocolate covered blueberries. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Anyway, I'm gonna try it Oh, yes, my favorite kind of fruit chocolate covered. Whew. Okay, I'm ready to try this It's pretty good. It's basically like chocolate fondue. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say this one absolutely works and I would recommend it. Okay guys, so for this one you get a paper towel and just draw over it with some markers, get a wooden skewer, and just roll that bad boy up like that, scrunch it together, and now you got little snakes, woo! But when you get the snakes wet, just drop a few little drippy drips, they start growing and turning colors, wow! Oh my goodness, this looks beautiful. Just art magic, so much art. I can't, let's try it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is a skewer. Just take one of these bad boys, and then we get some paper towels. I'll start it off with just one for now. And we just go ahead and roll it on up, just like that. There's a lot of rolling things in this video. There we go. Oh wait, I was supposed to marker on this first. Oops. Hey okay, guys, so the first thing we need are some paper towels. I'll start off with just one for now. And then we get some markers. This pink should do nicely. And just draw all over it. Draw, draw, draw. Draw, draw, draw. Draw, draw, draw. Draw, draw, draw. Draw. draw, draw. A masterpiece. Draw, draw, draw. Draw, draw, draw. Oh, yes. That should conclude this drawing session. Then we grab ourselves a skewer. Boobity boop. And just roll it on up. This video has a lot of rolling in it, doesn't it? Here we go. Then we're gonna go ahead and scrunch it on up. Scrunchity scrunch scrunch. Just really scrunch it on in there. I'm trying really hard not to stab myself with the skewer. I'm also gonna rip off some of this extra stuff because I feel like I don't need it. Okay, that looks properly scrunched up. Can I get it off? Oh no. Guys, I have encountered a bit of a problem. <laughs> There we go. Here's our little scrunchity scrunch. I'm gonna tear off some more of the edge because I feel like you can't see it grow. You know what I mean? Okay, that looks a little better. Hey guys, ready for some freaking art, dude? Get some water, put it into this little syringe. I don't have an eyedropper, so, you know, the syringe should do just fine. Are you ready for the big reveal? Boobity boop. Oh, wow. Oh! Look at it go. Oh, it's growing. Oh, wow. It's growing into a purple worm. So impressive. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. Can you tie it in a knot? Can you tie it in a bow? So anyway, well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Good for you, little snake. Okay guys, so for this one, you're gonna want a lollipop. But you know what's even better than having a little lollipop? Having a giant lollipop. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our lollipop, and then I'm gonna use this rock that I found and just use that to prop it up just beyond the reach of the camera. There we go. Oh, you can't even see it. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, I'm gonna stand back there. What do you guys think? Does it look like there's a giant candy right there? Maybe move this. What do you guys think? Does it look like there's a giant candy? Maybe back here a little bit? Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. Maybe. I'll, I'll know after I check the footage. I'll let you guys know in a sec, actually. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time with it a little bit less exposed, just so that you really get the full immersion of the giant lollipop. You ready? Here we go. I think I'm still overexposed. You ready? Ready? 
What do you think, Tori? Would you say that this one works? I think so. <laughs> According to Tori, this one actually works. For this one, you're gonna want a flower, and then you're gonna want to position it so that you're just hanging off the flower. Easy. Okay, so for the next one, we're getting rid of that lollipop. We're just putting a flower. Now I have to jump and make it look like I'm holding onto the flower. One, two, and I want to grab the flower. We'll do it again. Hey guys, I guess I'm gonna just say that this one works. Maybe, I still don't know. Let me know down in the comments down below. New dress for you. No way! I don't like that darn dirty dress. I want a watermelon dress. And that's what you'll get, a watermelon dress. So it looks like I'm giving myself a watermelon dress today. Okay guys, first things first, I'm gonna bite the top of this bad boy off. Mmm, delicious. Now I'm gonna have my assistant, Tori Dabransky, hold this in front of me and make it look like I'm wearing a dress. Okay, Tori, I'm ready for my dress. Should I roll up my sleeves? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can just take off your shirt. Okay, Tori, I'm ready for my dress. What do you think, is it good? Oh, it's beautiful. It looks so good. <laughs> you look so fashionable. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this dress actually works. And it's delicious. Okay, so here's how to get your zipper to stop sticking like this. What you're gonna wanna do is grab yourself a candle and then just rub it all over that zipper. Then it'll open and close nice and smoothly. Simple solutions. Let's try it. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need a tent. Okay, stand it off to the side for this. Huh? Oh! Now that's what I call a tent. But unfortunately guys, the zipper's just stuck. The zipper actually works too good. I should have gotten an older tent. So now we're gonna grab our candles and just really lube up this zipper, you know? Oh, yes. Okay, guys, it's time to find out, does this zipper zip better now? Oh, wow. Wait, I just remembered. My backpack has a zipper that doesn't like to zip. I didn't even need to set up this tent. Okay, we'll actually try it with my backpack zipper. So right here, it's actually kinda hard to zip. And then over here, my zipper is almost broken. It's actually really hard to zip right here as well. So let's go ahead and lube up our zipper. I'm gonna do both sides just in case. Okay, let's see if that did anything. Oh, that is so hard right here. Oh my gosh, perfectly clean zips. What about around our corner? <gasps> oh my gosh. Maybe if I would have done this, I wouldn't have ripped the zip. Oh guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Now what the heck am I gonna do with this tent? Okay guys, so here's how to stop your towel from blowing off of your chair. Oh, this is such an inconvenience. What you're gonna want is some clamps. Boom, you're all good. That's all you need. Oh yes, what a wonderful day. I'm gonna go ahead and put my towel right here. Fantastic. I'll be right back, guys. I just have to go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. My job here is done. Sorry about that. Oh, my gosh. My chair got knocked over. Who could have done this? Well, I have a solution for this. I'm just going to grab my pocket clamps and just put them right on there. There we go. That towel is going nowhere. I think we're all set. So, okay guys, I'm going to let this sit here for a little bit and we'll see if the wind knocks my towel off now. Six and a half hours later. Well, I tried. <laughs> My chair! How the heck did it get all the way over here? Well, my chair seems to actually appear broken now, but oh, oh my gosh! Guys, the towel stayed on! It stayed on in this crazy breeze! I am truly amazed, guys! This towel's not going anywhere! Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Is your headlight just too annoying? It just keeps falling down onto your face! How annoying! It just keeps falling down! What you're gonna want is to grab yourself a big water jug, put your headlamp over it, and then flip it inside out. Honestly, this is probably how it got stretched out in the first place. Okay guys, I figured that the Craftmas tree would be a great place to try this. So today, we're gonna be exploring the Craftmas tree. We got our water bottle, and we got our headlamp here. This is what it looks like inside here, you know, pretty plain. Oh, let's go up a level, shall we? I just need to be completely immersed in darkness. Close this up. And even up one more level. Get on my level. Oh gosh, it's so dark down here. Okay guys, we got our water bottle. We got our headlamp. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this bad boy on here and then just turn it on. I think I put it on wrong. How did they manage to get it 
face down. Oh wow, that looks great. You know what? I'll just settle with this. Fantastic. Let me shove it inside of the handle. Wow, this is really illuminating it though. Now I'm gonna turn off my camera light. Oh wow! Guys, the Christmas tree has never felt so cozy before. You know, I've been thinking about doing a video where I spent 24 hours in here. So if you guys think I should do that, let me know down in the comments down below. But anyway guys, I'm gonna have to say that this hat absolutely works. How handy! I love it. You guys wanna see how dark it is in here without it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so dark. <laughs> okay, I'm getting out of here. Guys, are you tired of just picking up all your stuff off the beach and then just completely running out of space in your hands to hold everything? Oh man, this happens to me all the time. Well, here's an easy solution. Grab yourself a towel, put some hot glue on it just like that. Grab another towel, hot glue that bad boy together, hot glue some rope onto it, and bam, now you got yourself a neat little uh, storage compartment for your towel. Wow, a perfect little towel bag. Just stores everything in one. Here are our towels. Here's our rope. Just gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. Boop, boop, boop. Then we're gonna lay our little towel out on top of it. Looks good. I'm actually gonna twist this. That's much better. Now that our hot glue gun's heated up, we just outline it with hot glue. I'm gonna do it half at a time because honestly, I don't think I'd be able to do the entire thing with hot glue. It would have solidified by the time I do the entire thing. Carefully put that together. I feel like sewing this together would probably be a better move. But you know, easy and convenient way to sew, okay? And I kinda wanna make a little divider for my stuff, so I'm gonna go about halfway up. This will also help reinforce it a little bit. That way the rest of the towel will just fit right in. There there we go. And now we add our rope. Casually make it go over like this. I'm gonna make a little fancy knot at the end, just because I'm a fancy guy. There we go. I forget what kind of knot this is, but it's a, uh, I feel like I might've actually tied this incorrectly. Oh, there we go. Now we have a perfect little square knot. Square knot at the bottom, outline this bad boy. And we just go ahead and hot glue the entire thing down. And not untied. It's okay, I'll just leave it untied. It's a fancy thing, okay? I just got hot glue all over the towel. What have I done? I don't know if this hot glue will actually hold this towel very well, if I'm being totally honest. But you know, as I've said many a time before, Five Minute Crafts has never let me down before. And I truly trust them with every aspect of my life. In fact, I only trust things that I see on the internet. If it's not on the internet, I don't trust it. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, I'm gonna let this cool down for a little bit and then I'll try this bad boy out. Okay guys, our bag's all cooled down. So let's try it as a towel first. Oh wait, I'll flip it over. Oh, even better. Look at this. It's a perfect relaxing towel spot. Just imagine me on the beach having a great time, you know, just chilling out on my towel. And now I'm like, oh, I'm so done with this. So once I'm done with my fantasy, I just uh, flip it all over. I grab my thing. Uh, wait, I don't have any things. Um, give me a second. I need to find some things. Uh, the, the water bottle? Yes, that's a thing. Let's see. Uh, oh, my hat. My hat's also a thing. So we just grab our things and shove them in our new bag. Yes, get in there. Oh, yes. All my things are nice and secure in my bag. Then I just flip my towel over and shove it in the little compartment. Boom. And now I have myself a stylish bag. Yeah, guys, if this doesn't work, I don't even know what the heck does work. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. And it's double-sided, multi-usable, multi-purpose, that's what the word I was saying. Five Minute Crafts, you did it again. Okay, guys, so you come in from a winter storm and you are just so covered in snow and your boots are just frozen and they have all this uh, water in them because you got snow in them and it's just melted down. Uh, it's just a mess. So now what are you gonna do? You're gonna go ahead and put some newspaper inside your shoes. Put them on their sides, put some more newspaper on top of them, just completely cover them in newspaper. And then it'll draw the water out of them. And boom, your shoes are good as new. Nice and dry. <laughs> okay guys, so uh, here's our shoes. And the first thing that we're gonna wanna do with these bad boys is oh, get them nice and wet. They are very, very dirty. I haven't washed these in a very long time. These were my daily driver shoes. I'm more of a boot man now. But you know what? Maybe if I clean these up, I might like them again. But now, I have to wait for them to dry. So since I have two shoes, I'm gonna go ahead and use one with the newspaper method and one without. That way we know which method truly works. Does air drying work? I'm putting newspaper in it. A guy in an airport once told me to actually fill my shoes up with newspaper. So, I mean, I would trust him over anything. Just completely wrap it around all in newspaper. These are looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let them sit for a little bit and we'll see which one dries first. Okay guys, so these have been sitting for about four hours. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that newspaper is so wet. Oh my god, look how wet that is. Let me check this one first. 
Whoa! Oh no. So the one without the newspaper, really wet. The one with the newspaper, it's definitely slightly more dry. It's still a little bit damp, but you know what? I think I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Look at all the moisture that that newspaper absorbed. Good job. Okay guys, so here's a simple and easy way to light a candle that you just can't get your lighter into. You just get yourself a piece of pasta, light the tip on fire, and boom! You got yourself a lit candle and you didn't even burn your finger. Okay guys, it's time to find out. Can we light this candle with this pasta? Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> I think we need a new remix. We need the fire, fire, fire remix. Not to be confused with our already existing fire remix. Do you understand what I'm saying? Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. There we go. Our pasta is on fire. This pasta's on fire. <gasps> and our candle is lit. So this thing is lit. And it's lit. <laughs> just kidding, it just went out. But I did light it. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that the pasta method 100% works. Here's how to properly dry your shoes in the dryer. Just undo your shoelaces so they're nice and long. Put your shoelaces in the door of the dryer just like this. Then you run your dryer and boom, you got yourself some dry shoes. This way your shoes don't rattle around your dryer. Okay guys, so here are our shoes and here's our bucket of water. I'm just gonna go ahead and give these a good old fashioned dunk. Oh yes. Oh, those are completely filled with water. I need to actually empty them. Oh, oh yes. That is much better. Now let's try this dryer method. Let's head on up to our dryer. Oh yes, my trusty dryer. I've only been stuck in this thing once, okay? We're just gonna... Oh, there's already something in here. Towels! You know what? These will help absorb the moisture. <laughs> Going ahead and tying it to something, anything really, just so that it doesn't slip through the crack in the dryer. It didn't say that in the hack, so already I'm feeling kind of iffy on this. But here we go. Let's crank it up and start. I've been wearing these the entire time. Oh, it's so bright! I'm gonna wait for the cycle to finish and then I'll show you exactly how dry these shoes are. A few minutes later. Okay guys, let's see if these shoes are dry. Oh, I mean, yeah, these are actually dry and they didn't mess up my dryer. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Guys, is your plug for your sink just too small? Well, all you really need is some duct tape. This is an easy solution. I mean, you're probably gonna go through duct tape pretty fast, but uh, I don't see why this one couldn't work. For this one, you're gonna wanna tear apart a pillow. Take all the stuffing, add a few Christmas lights, and boom, it looks like you're floating on a cloud. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need some stuffing. And that's why I'm bringing Snorlax to this party. Okay, Snorlax, uh, I'm gonna borrow some of your guts really quick. Take some of that out. You know what? I'm gonna take all of it out. Just have a giant pillowy wonderland. Oh my gosh. There's so much in here. I was wondering where all my polyfill went, and I think I remember that I just shoved it all in here. Oh, there's so much. Oh, we are set forever. Oh my gosh, I could just fill the entire craft corner, guys. Oh, <gasps> this is awesome. Guys, it literally looks like I'm on a cloud. <laughs> Yes! Uh, look at all of this this cloud. I'm gonna go ahead and spread it out just a little bit. This is a tall pile, guys. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, it's slippery. Now I'm gonna grab some Christmas lights and just carefully put this in here. I feel like this might be a little bit of a fire hazard if I'm being totally honest. Oh wow, now it just looks like a perfect cloudy paradise. Oh wow, this is fantastic. Now let's take some photos on here, shall we? Okay guys, so I have the bench here. He has volunteered as my little photo assistant. I'm gonna give you some snacks for being a really good boy. Here, I'm gonna take some photos of my phone. Oh my gosh, look at him go. Oh my gosh, Ben, you are so adorable. Oh, well, snack, there I go. Oh yeah, sit, 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 good boy. Yeah, you look so cute, Ben. Oh, you look adorable, Benjamin. Guys, Ben did a fantastic job. Thank you for being part of my little photo shoot. You are free to go, little man. There you go, goodbye. Bye. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this actually works. It looks like you're in heaven. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this, if I write down there. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications. Also make sure to subscribe to my clips and vlog channel. And if you guys like this video as well, I'll just be trying more fun five minute crafts life hacks. I have a whole playlist that can be doing that right here. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I would ending. Okay, bye. Ah! Guys, are you just so tired of just carrying around your watermelon? Well, take off your pants and go into one leg of them. Tie a knot in the other leg and then shove your watermelon right in there. <laughs> Boom! A fashionable way
way to carry a watermelon. I am actually amazed. Okay guys, so here are my giant pants. Now I'm just gonna wear my giant pants as I do. Oh yes, just wear them right over my normal clothes. I like to wear them really high up, just like this. Hey kids, get off my lawn. Anyway, this is how I wear my pants. I'm very proud of them. I wear them up high. I love these pants, but I always have to hold them up while I'm carrying my watermelon. So you know, this might actually be the perfect solution. So here we go. I'm just gonna switch into one leg. Oh, do I fit? I do. Guys, it's working! Then I tie a knot in the end of this leg, grab our watermelon, and just uh, shove it in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, ready? And a one, and a two. Whoa. Oh gosh! Oh. Whoa! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. You can 100% hold a watermelon in there. And this look is really fashionable. Do, 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 do. So for this one, you're gonna want some ham, some cheese, ham, cheese, ham, cheese, ham, cheese, and then you cut it with a glass. Not my first choice for a cutting tool. Cover it in some egg, some flour, and then you just fry that bad boy right up. Ooh, that looks so good. I'm so excited for this. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh my, yes. What kind of sauce is that? What do we got? We got some Warshire sauce. We got some barbecue sauce. What kind of sauce? I love the epic sauce. I should know what kind of sauce that is. I should be a sauce expert. I should be. Okay, guys. So we're going to need some meat. And we're going to need some cheese. And then we're going to want to mix them together. A little bit of meat. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of meat. And a little bit of cheese. And a little bit of meat. Yeah, that ought to do it. Ooh, that's weird how it's the exact same color as my hand. I don't like that. And we're gonna get our wine glass and just somehow cut it. And hopefully we don't break this wine glass. Ah! It actually works. Oh my gosh. Guys, I got it. How do I get it out? Ah! What do I do with all this meat and cheese? Seems a little wasteful to me. Now we have to make ourselves a little egg wash. Ah! I'm great at cracking eggs, as you can tell. I just got that everywhere, didn't I? Ah, -boo. Put our meat cheese in there. Really just flop it around. And then we're gonna want to get some flour and just stick it right in there. Just make sure it completely covers our meat cheese. This is looking pretty good. Now let's throw it in our fryer. And by fryer, I just mean uh, our pan full of oil. Let that heat up for a second. That looks like it's about hot enough. Now we're gonna go ahead and shove our cheese meat in. Fry it on up. Oh yes, fried cheese meat. I think I'm gonna double fry it. So I'm gonna put some more flour and um, egg water wash on it. I probably shouldn't have just dropped it in like that. Okay guys, this is looking about done. I'm just gonna put it on a napkin and just dab off all the excess grease. Cause I really don't need to eat that much oil. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this looks really delicious. It kinda reminds me of like a biscuit almost. If you put this in front of me and said it was a biscuit, I'd probably believe you. Let's see how this bad boy tastes. Oh yes. Oh! That's so hot. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I'm really excited. It kind of smells like a chicken nugget. Mmm, that's interesting. It's very hot. Okay, so honestly, it's not bad. I definitely think that you could season this a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and try it with some Sweet D's uh, sweet and tangy barbecue sauce. It's one of my favorite barbecue sauces. Mmm. This will really complement the, the ham. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. And it's super delicious. Wow! Okay guys, you're at the doctor's and you know, it's time for your yearly checkup. And you're like, oh no, get the heck away from it, dude! And he's like, what the heck is wrong? And then your mom's like, he's nervous. So what you're gonna wanna do to make you less nervous is get some Orbeez, put them inside of a bottle just like this, and then you fill a balloon with said Orbeez. And now you got yourself a fun stress ball. Wow, nice and calming. At ease now. <laughs> oh no. I don't like how he's squeezing that balloon. Okay guys, so here are our water beads. I'm too cheap to buy Orbeez, okay? And here's our water. Just gonna go ahead and dump all of them in. They expand six times the size. Ooh! <laughs> They're getting everywhere. Oh my gosh. They're just little tiny beads. Mix them all up. Hopefully this will be enough water for all of our little beads. I'm just gonna go ahead and let them do their thing for a little bit. Okay guys, these are pretty blown up, but I think that they can get big, so I'm just gonna add more water. Really just let them get as big as possible. Good luck, little water balls. Okay guys, it's been just about 24 hours. I added more water and they got even bigger. I've actually never played in Orbeez like this. This feels so weird. Whoa, look at that. You squeeze them and they just pop out of your hands. Look, woo, 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 woo. 
Oh my gosh, oh my god, these balls are going everywhere. Okay, now I have to try and somehow try and shove them into this water bottle. I definitely overestimated how many Orbeez I would need. <laughs> okay, put this off to the side, grab our balloon, shove it over the top, see if it'll actually go in. They're actually going in. Oh my god! This looks so weird. Dude, yeah, they're actually going in! And now round two. Please don't shoot out, please don't shoot out, please don't shoot out. Couple shot out. Oh no, I ripped the balloon. Oh my gosh. Get in there. I have done it. And now we have a perfect little stress ball. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. I feel less stressed already. You can chuck it. You can squeeze it. You can bite it? Yeah, you probably shouldn't bite but it. But overall, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. I feel way less stressed now. Guys, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll make a giant Orbeez water balloon. Like, I'll fill a weather balloon. That's how big I'm talking. So, uh, everybody try and get this video to 10,000 likes. Share it with your friends. Be like, Robin's gonna fill a giant weather balloon with Orbeez. Don't freaking do it, okay? I'm gonna need a lot more Orbeez, okay, guys, here's how to make a really fun picture holder. What you're gonna want to do is follow this design with a 3D pen, and then you just fill it up with photos. Whoa, how cute. Okay, guys, so here's our 3D pen. I'm not the most familiar with this medium of craft, but, uh, you know, it's one that uh, I've been meaning to practice a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan already of how much time it takes to heat up. 12 seconds later. Here we go. I will do my very best to make some uh, perfect little booby boots. You can do it. Get out of there. Oh, some just started coming out. Why is it blue? Oh, it's turning purple. Okay, it's working. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Okay, this may prove to take a little bit longer than I anticipated. But it's okay. Uh, I have all night. Okay. One color done. Um, I will go ahead and work on the other ones. And then, does this still actually come up? Oh, no. I think I actually... Ah! I think it melted to the mat. Oh, my gosh. I may have messed up here a little bit. Ah! I have, in fact, made it stick to the mat. Use my throwing knife to really just pull it up. It's okay, guys. Crisis averted. Ah! Good thing this is self-healing. But uh, I don't know how well this is actually going to work. I might want to uh, look into using something else, actually. I think that this blue mat is a little bit more promising for some reason. Plus, you can actually see it, so that's a, that's a plus. But now, none of them really line up. Uh, whatever, I'll make this work. Okay, guys, so, uh, <laughs> I mean, it mostly came together. Just have to cut it free. Come on. Oh, oh you can do it! I know this is a throwing knife and not a, a peeling up 3D pen stuff from a mat knife, but it's working, kind of. Oh, my gosh. That purple is stuck on there. Okay, it's free! We did it! Look how cool that looks! But does it hold photos? Okay, guys, we're gonna have to move some stuff around here a little bit. Hi, right, how's it going? And boobity boo. This is looking pretty good. Now let's hang up some photos. So we got a photo of Tori Debransk and the Bench. This is a pretty cute one. It's going right up here because uh, Bench and Tori are top tier. Here's uh, me and the gang uh, on Thanksgiving. Again, that's a, that's a pretty good moment. Got the intern in here. The Bench again. Here's one with uh, me and Hair Jordan in the craft corner. This one's also a really good one, but it doesn't fit. It'll start covering everything, so I'm going to put it there. Here's another one. We went down to the swimming hole. Me and Tori Debransk. And here's a few of me and the Bench. Honestly, I take a lot of photos of me and the bench. But overall, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works really well. How cute! Look at that. I'm just holding all my photos, and then I want to switch them out. I'm gonna always do that. Just switch out a different photo of me. Boom! How cute. Well, that's staying there. Guys, are you tired of how hard it is to put on your pants? Oh, man. Well, all you really need is a plastic bag. Just put that bad boy over your foot, and then your pants just slide right on. It also works with your shoes. You don't need a shoe horn anymore. Okay, guys, so I got my pants, and I got Got my bags. And I'm actually wearing long underwear for this, so you guys don't have to see me in my underwear. I mean, it's still technically underwear, but it's long underwear. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these bags on. I'm gonna tie them a little bit just to be safe, you know? Okay, let's see how easy it is to throw these pants on. You ready? Boobity-boo! Woo! They just went right in! I mean, it was a little easier. I don't know if it was 100% worth it, though, because now I have to try and take these bags off my feet. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Easy peasy. And also normally my long underwear, whenever I put it through my pants, usually kind of bunches up. So overall, I guess I'm gonna have to say that the bag method actually kind of works. Oddly enough, I am impressed. Guys, is all your stuff just so disorganized? You just don't know where to put anything. Oh, well, all you have to do is take off your belt, wrap it around a tree, grab yourself some S hooks, and just hang up all your pots and pans. It's the perfect plan. 
Okay guys, so uh, I live in Las Vegas and unfortunately, we don't really have trees. But I do have this random pole in my house. So um, I guess that's gonna have to do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off my belt. Then we wrap it around our tree. Boop -a -boop. Go ahead and buckle it. And here we go. Uh, we have a perfect place to hang our stuff. So now we're gonna grab some S hooks. Go ahead and put these on there. Oh yes. And now I can hang all my cooking utensils in the green screen room because uh, this is where I need them the most, honestly. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Now I'm gonna have to find a life hack for my belt. Okay guys, are you out of soap? Well, all you need to do is take the container and put in some soap face and boom, you got yourself some more liquid soap. It's that easy. Okay guys, so here's our soap base. And I really don't need all of this, so there we go. Trusty fireman's axe. Oh yes. Then we get our little empty soap dispenser. I didn't have an empty soap dispenser because I never washed my hands. There we go. One down. Just shove it right in there. Then another one. I should have made these a little thinner now that I'm really seeing it. Nothing more accurate at cutting than a fireman's axe. Okay, let's go fill this bad boy with water. Uh, just ignore that. I did not mean to do that. I'll worry about that later. So, uh, we'll just fill this with water. There we go, put that on. Give it a little shake. And boom, we got ourselves some refreshing hand soap. Oh, my hands feel so clean. Oh my gosh. Well guys, I'm actually truly really satisfied. Instead of spending a dollar on a new hand soap like this. Ugh, just leave that in there. Uh, you could just spend, you know, five dollars on the container and ten dollars on soap base. And boom, you got yourself some, uh, pristine hand soap. So I'm gonna say that this absolutely works. Have you ever had this problem? You're about to put on your shoes, but there's a little tiny hole in it. Oh, oh no! no. Uh, just grab yourself a 3D pen and just fill that hole right in. Wow, maybe draw a little sun. Oh my gosh, it's so bright and colorful. Don't even notice, it's just decoration on your shoe. I love it. We're gonna do this one, and we're gonna like it. Oh okay, yeah, guys, so I actually just threw away all my shoes with holes in them, but I noticed that these Converse have little holes in the aglets. Or, no, these are grommets, my bad. These are aglets, and these are grommets. I can't believe I mixed them up. So I'm just gonna do it on these little grommets instead. And grab our 3D pen. I absolutely suck at 3D pen thing. I already apologize in advance. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh, I can't even get it to like stick. What did she do? Wait, I think I'm even using the same 3D pen. I'll try this again. So she just just fills the hole with 3D uh, pen stuff. Oh my, oh, that's so hot. Oh my God. This isn't even a hot glue gun. It's like the same thing though. I think what I'm gonna do is grab some tape and uh, put it on the inside. That way it doesn't go through the hole all the way. Ooh, I could do this. I'll get it in there, you know, just to give it a good base. <laughs> that looks so weird. Get it in there and tape it down. Oh, I lost it. Okay, whatever. Here we go, come on. Okay, we are making the tiny circles. We are making the tiny circles successfully. Man, and that's a tongue twister. Try just saying that. Tiny circles successfully. Yes. Okay, okay, come on. Oh my gosh. Why is this so difficult? Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna go for the sun. Oh no. <laughs> that is not a sun. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? <laughs> I think that the 3D pen is just such a unique kind of craft. It only goes for like five seconds at a time and then it cools down. <laughs> I don't know if I'm using this 3D pen right. Okay, I suck at this. Well, there's your sun. <laughs> Dude, that was not very secure at all. Oh my gosh, that just fell off. Okay, if someone who was more skilled at 3D pens did this, it would probably work. But for me, this one didn't work. Uh, if anyone has any tips for 3D pens, let me know down in the comments down below. I've never like even watched a video on these, so I think I should do more research next time I use this. Anyway, on to the next craft. Hey guys, are you just so tired of putting your fruit in your bag one at a time? All I have to do is just scoop them all up. <laughs> life hack? I feel like that's just like common sense at that point. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, so here's a fun photo hack. What you're gonna want is uh, two halves of an egg. And then you just make it look like they popped out of it. Oh my gosh, they hatched. Okay guys, so here's our single egg. Now we're gonna have to be really delicate when breaking this open, so that's exactly why I got this axe. Go ahead and put it on a plate and carefully just crack it with our axe. Thank <laughs> you. 
boom, bam. It is now a cracked eggshell. I may have messed this up a little bit. There we go, I cleaned it up. Okay, now let's make it look like I hatched out of this egg like a little tiny bird. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm actually gonna have it from two perspectives. I'll have it from this perspective and I'm gonna use my phone to actually take the photo. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip my phone upside down just so that I can get the camera as low as possible. Here we go, looking pretty good. And here's our little cracked egg. Let's really make it look like I just hatched out of this egg like a little creature. You ready? Okay, oh, I have to get way back. I have to get way, okay, I'm, okay, this looks good. Okay, let's do it, right? I'm a baby bird, feed me. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this bird hack absolutely works. I think. I don't know. I can't really see the screen this far. Um, this is what it looks like from a not egg perspective. This is what it looks like from the camera's perspective. My, my phone. Does it look real? I can't tell. I think this back might need to be uh, a little bit shorter. Oh, that looks better. Here we go. Let's try it this way. I'm a bird. Or am I a raptor? I don't know. I'm, I'm one or the other. I just hatched. Nice to meet you. Oh, now I'm getting now I'm getting bigger. Oh, I'm so much bigger. Oh, I'm just growing. I'm outgrowing my shell. Oh, it's really cramped in here. How's it going, guys? Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one probably works. I won't really know until afterwards, so I'll let you guys be the judge. Let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna need an aloe juice wrapper and a jar of pickles, and apparently some boiling water, and it just shrink wraps onto the jar of pickles. Perfectly sealed. Okay, guys, so here's our pickle jar, and here's our aloe vera juice. We only really need the label, but in order to get the label off, uh, I have to pour all this out. So I guess I might as well try some of this. It's aloe vera and pineapple. Pineapple. I mean, I love pineapple, but I'm not the biggest fan of uh, aloe vera juice. So let's see how this turns out. Bottoms up. No, no, I'm okay. I'm good. I don't want any more. There's just something about the consistency of this that I'm just not a fan of. So instead of just pouring all this out, I'm going to attempt to just kind of cut a little section off. I prefer to have the aloe vera section because I think that it would be really funny to see that. I'll try my best to reserve that label. 100% natural, real pulp. Ugh. Can you guys imagine pulp and pickles? I mean, does pickles already have pulp? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Come on. Okay, maybe I'll try a smaller piece of the label. How the heck did they get it off? I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in this popcorn jug. Ooh. <laughs> it looks so slimy. Maybe if I just squeeze it. It came right off. Oh my gosh, that was way more simple than I thought it would be. I got what I came for. Okay guys, so I'm actually going to put it in this little tin. That way it collects any excess water that spills off. And I'm gonna use these little tweezers to hold it up. That way I'm not touching uh, you know, this molten plastic and boiling water. Okay guys, here's our boiling water. It's time to see if this actually works. Ooh, it's actually shrinking. Oh. oh my gosh, it's actually working. Oh my gosh, guys. Ooh. It's actually shrinking to the jar. Wow. I don't know how good this is for the pickles inside. It kind of left a little bit of excess right there. But other than that, this is actually sealed. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually 100% works. That's really cool. I just broke the seal. Oh, it smells like pickles. Like very warm pickles. Oh man, I really hope I didn't ruin my pickles. Okay guys, you gotta pour your orange juice inside a bottle, but it just gets everywhere. Well, what you can do is grab yourself a straw and pour it directly on the straw. And now, you don't even need a funnel. Pour it right in. Divide the laws of gravity. Okay, let's just try it. Okay guys, so here's our water bottle. And here's the container I'm gonna be putting in it. Uh, in the meantime. Boobity boo. And then just to simplify all this, I'm gonna get some food dye and just uh, drop that right in there. Ooh, guys, it's so satisfying. You wanna shake it or stir? Okay, that looks pretty good. So first, we'll go ahead and try the normal method of pouring water into the bottle. You ready? Very carefully, very carefully. that much in, but I accidentally spilled this much of it. We got it this much just by pouring it normal with my basic pouring skills. Now let's try the straw method. For the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna go ahead and top this bad boy off. Clean up any residue I may have uh, left over from the previous experiment. Let me pour back in. We have a controlled environment and that's what's important here. Just slap our straw right in. Hey guys, you ready for this? Here we go. Oh. 
Oh. I've already spilled a lot. I've already spilled so much. I've already made so many mistakes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, I see you. Oh, it's going around the straw. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. <laughs> I got it everywhere! <laughs> okay! And with, uh, you know, my newfound uh, pouring method, this is how much we spilled, and this is how much we actually got into. I actually have to take this off. There we go. That is definitely less than how much I did with my, you know, regular pouring skills. My skills that I've acquired out of the 27 years I've been alive. So I guess with this one, I guess I'm gonna have to say, with some practice, uh, it does work, but is it as effective as if you just, you know, poured it regular? I don't know. I mean, it really depends on your skill level. I feel like this is harder. So I'm gonna have to say, that this one kind of works. I don't know what this does exactly, but apparently wrapping tinfoil around your feet makes great shoes. Yeah, I don't know what good this really does. Uh... <laughs> I'm so excited to be from the future. I'm excited to be a spaceman. I'm excited to, oh man, I just messed up my tin foil. I'm excited to do that too. What did I just do? Just reapply it to my feet. Oh yes, looking really good. Oh God, Ugh. I'll just do it like this. I got new tin foil boots. I'm from the future. I'm ready to walk on the moon. I am a spaceman. And you know what? Yeah, I'll do the other one. I'll be a trendsetter. You saw it here first, guys. Well, I guess technically we saw it from Five Minute Crafts first. But you saw it here second, guys. If people start wearing tinfoil shoes, just know you saw it here second. What I'm saying is, tinfoil boots, this is the way of the future, okay? That's what I'm saying. Who needs to pay hundreds of dollars for custom boots when you got tinfoil? Custom, high quality, 100% made in America boots, okay? Well, is the tinfoil made in America? I actually don't know. It was crafted in America, and that's all that mattered. I, I'll say it was uh, made in America, not 100%. Anyway, well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that these boots absolutely work. Look at what high quality, high fashion I am. These are the best boots I've ever owned. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today I got my good friend Johnny Gilbert coming to visit. Now he hasn't visited me in uh, quite a long time. And I'm pretty sure it's because of all the crazy pranks that I've done on him in the past. Robbie? Robbie? Robbie! We have been pranked! How did you do this? <laughs> Today, I'm gonna try my very hardest not to prank him. Yeah, it's gonna be a challenge for me, but I think I can manage it. So Johnny's gonna be here any minute. Oh my god, guys, I think that's him. Come in. Oh, hi, Benji. What's up? Chris Angel? No, it's Johnny. Yeah, I know we haven't seen each other in a while, but... Oh, yeah. I'm not Chris Angel. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Oh, hi, Johnny. Um, how you been, buddy? Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm a little worried that you're gonna crank me again. No, dude, I quit. Uh, I have lost so many friends over all the pranks and yeah, all the... I've been over in like a year because of it, you know? I just uh, want to apologize. Anyway, buddy, let me show you to your room. All right. Um, you're actually staying inside of the craft mystery this time. You have a huge house and you're making me stay in this? Yeah. I don't want to stay inside the craft mystery. Better than the pantry like last time, I guess. I have some of the Christmas decorations. Those are the lights, you know, you can use those at your leisure. Oh, just go inside? Yeah, just go inside the craft mystery. Okay. Uh, it's not that bad. Yeah, so, uh, so. Oh, oh there's a dog in here. <laughs> that's, that's my bench. There's a dog. Bench, get out of there. Thank you. Yeah, so you got these lights. They light up. Wow. Uh, feel free to use those to take these sheets off. Wow. Yeah, really yeah, YouTube doesn't pay me too well nowadays, so, you know, this is where I'm going to be living. <laughs> Wait, you're living with me? Well, for the time I'm here, what? that's for sure. Oh, okay. Okay, as long as. You don't notice me, I'm just inside the tree. <laughs> okay, Johnny, I'm gonna let you enjoy the Christmas tree for a little bit. Uh, actually, I was thinking I would come outside. No, 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 just stay in there. No, stay, no, just stay. How do I open this? It doesn't open. It literally does. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, I'll see you later, Johnny. Enjoy the Christmas tree. 20 minutes later. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's been like a whole 20 minutes, and uh, I'm so freaking bored. So I think it's time to have some fun. I bought 1,000 ball pit balls. I'm gonna go ahead and put them inside of the top of the craft mystery. Okay, guys, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I just have to open the top up really quick. Now, oh god, it's ball time. Yeah, I thought this was a nice place to sleep. I got you! 
would you want to do this anymore? This uh, wasn't a prank. You, I just thought that the balls would make the experience better. I'm going back to bed. Okay. Well, have fun with your balls, Johnny. Where? Don't let this happen again. <laughs> Don't worry, Johnny. It will. <laughs> So just hide the speaker up on the shelf and then just play some crazy music. Look at him go! Allison! Allison! This is gonna be a good one. Okay guys, so here's my speaker. And we're just gonna go over to the craft mystery really quick. Here's the entrance to the craft mystery. My speaker right there. Now I'm gonna need some uncopyrighted dance music. Did you really turn it off? Yeah. What the heck, man? You've been praying. What? Get these balls out of here. Johnny, you don't like my balls? No. Why are you playing music outside here? You know I'm sleeping, dude. Johnny, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I okay. told you I have to sleep in here. Get the speaker, dude. What are you, crazy? Kick your balls and get out of here. Get out of here. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Oh my gosh, I got him so good. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and try some more pranks on him. <laughs> okay guys, so here is a classic prank. We got ourselves a snake, he doesn't suspect a thing, and then he sees it. Oh my gosh, he just drops all of his beer, and then she sees it. Wow, what a great prank. Now let's go try it out on Johnny. Oh, okay guys, so I went ahead and I attached the snake to my fishing pole string. I can hear Johnny moving around in there with all the balls. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this in the very top, and then try and fish him out with it. <laughs> What's wrong, Johnny? Why do you have a fishing rod? Oh, guess what? You've been pranked! <laughs> 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 I'm pranked! Wait, that's not real? No, the face is Let me just sleep in peace. Get in there, snake, snake attack. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. <laughs> okay guys, you're playing a little game where the water bottle just uh, swings past your head and you have to dodge it. Very simple, not great consequences if you mess up. Oh, but let's do it with a giant bottle now. <laughs> Doink. <laughs> oh, he got you. Let's try it out on Johnny. Okay guys, so I got my water bottle on a hanging string. I got my blindfold. Now I just need Johnny Gilbert. Johnny Gilbert! What? Hey dude, uh, would you like to play a fun game? I don't know, I don't really like a lot of the games you play. Come on man, okay, so this is a fun new YouTube challenge. Um, all the kids are playing it. So I need you to put on this blindfold. Okay. Okay, and then uh, you need to, uh, uh, no, don't spit, just stay there. Okay. You need to avoid the water bottle. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, ready? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you when I release it. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, you're good. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> that was a good game. Can we do it again? Yeah, one more time. Let's right. go. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Uh, maybe forward a little bit. I'm a little scared. I'm not going You ready? You ready? Yeah. One, two, and go! Oh. <laughs> I think, dude, I think I'm getting brain damage. <laughs> maybe you should try it. Yeah, I'll try it really quick. Um, I'm just going to pull my hat down. I'm glad the water ball's full, you know? Okay, Johnny, go for it. All right. Three, two, one. Dude, you're dodging it. How are you doing? Wait, let's try again. Ah! <laughs> I didn't even throw it the first time. Oh, you're <laughs> 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 just moving your head. Keep that for real. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'll, I'll let go. All right, three, two, one. Oh, you dodged it. Okay, all right. Ah! Oh, no! Dude, you're, you're doing better than me. I got hit in the eye. Okay, Johnny, it's your turn again. Wait, me? Again? Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I saw you do it, so maybe I can do it better now. All right. Um, one second. I need to, uh, I need to fix something. No worries. Okay, Johnny. Are you ready? Yeah, I think so. One, two, and go! <laughs> yeah, you didn't throw it. You lied. <laughs> you lied. Okay, one more time. You lied. I'm gonna let go. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> you lied. <laughs> Dude, this is not Okay, fun. for real this time. You ready? Yeah. Ready? One, two, and go! You freaking lied. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> There's no point of this. Ah. Oh, I think I'm just getting hurt. Oh, jeez. 
Oh yeah, you wanna see something? Oh, hold on! I broke it. You've been pranked! Oh my god. <laughs> well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Oh, oh the Christmas tree. Give me my wife a glass of water suspiciously. Some water. Did I ask you water? No, I was so thirsty. Why is there a spoon in here? Oh, actually, that's not supposed to be in there. That's not supposed to be in here. Bro, are you thirsty? No, you can't have it. <gasps> you can't have it. Because I made it for you. Just drink it. <laughs> got him. Oh, Johnny Gilbert. Yeah, what's up? Hey, dude. I got you this water. You look really thirsty. Okay. Do you just want me to drink? Yeah, that's all yours. Oh, wait. Do you want that? I didn't want to put that spoon there. Um, there you go. That's all yours. Okay. How is it? Huh? Is it good? It tastes normal. You've been pranked! I did nothing to the water. Uh, uh, that was a prank. Oh, okay. <laughs> really? What? I'm confused. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. Did you actually do nothing to the water? I didn't do anything to the water. You've been totally pranked. Prank I know, I know, I know. It works. Okay, guys, so this is a salt prank on my boyfriend. So what you're gonna wanna do is fill a spoonful of salt and just hide the food on top of the salt. And then when they go to take a bite of it, they're gonna be like, oh, what the heck? He looks like he really enjoys it. <laughs> Okay guys, so here is our ramen, and here's our spoon. Go ahead and fill that up with some salt, and just scoop the ramen right over it. Boom! Okay, now let's go test this out on Johnny. Oh, hey Johnny! Hey, what's up? I made you this ramen noodle soup. Oh wow, it's warm, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I, I figured I would make you some food uh, to really say I'm sorry for, uh, why are you doing that? Don't mix it up. I mean, um, just really enjoy your ramen, uh, because this up. is me why? saying I'm sorry for all the pranks I've done, and I'd never do another prank ever again. Okay. <laughs> How is it? Really salty. <gasps> you been great! Oh wow, that looks really salty, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I put a whole tablespoon of salt inside of your ramen. <laughs> okay, we eat it, dude. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. You wanna try some? No, I'm okay. Come on. You enjoy it, Johnny. Thanks. It's all yours, buddy. Happy birthday. Thanks again for visiting for your birthday. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm glad he likes it. So for this one, I'm gonna need an alien costume. I'm gonna need to hide in the dark, and Johnny's gonna come out, and I'm just gonna scare the heck out of him. Take that! <gasps> okay, guys, so I actually got the intern to fit inside of one of the alien costumes. I can come out now, Bob? Yeah! Okay, intern, are you ready to do this? Sure. Here, put on your alien head. Oh, no. Oh, but I can't breathe. Okay, do your best, okay? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a long day, Johnny. How's it going, bud? It's fine. I'm just, you know, chilling. Look at my phone. Oh my god, an alien! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's the intern! Wait, I think that's. Got pranked. I'm going home. It, that was me, not her. <laughs> I'm crying. Wow. I guess I double pranked. Oh, dude, brought me. It was a mask. I was the intern. Yeah, I just said that. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. My turn to wear the mask. Oh yes, another classic. The leaf blower prank. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to do this one on Johnny. Okay, guys. So I have my leaf blower. I think I hear Johnny brushing his teeth right now. Here we go. Yeah, what's up, dude? What are you doing in my house? What the? What's on my team? What? What did you get here? I don't remember. This is so weird. What? Can I brush my teeth, please? Uh, yeah, one second. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! You've been great! Good to see you, too. Well, have fun. I'll see you later. Uh, yeah, uh, stay here, I guess. Uh, thanks. Okay, bye. Hi. Oh, hey, Johnny. <laughs> my hair's messy now. What the heck? Oh, jeez, I look like a clown. <laughs> oh, hey, Jordan Bransky, how's it going? Why? Poor Gabe. Why, Robbie? 
I'm sorry, Tori Bresky. I love it so much. <laughs> By the way, Hair Jordan's here. Uh, okay. Why would you do that? I'll see you later, Johnny. I'll see you later. Uh, okay, guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need to tape a bunch of boxes together and then make it look like uh, they're about to fall over. Oh no, it fell over! It fell over again! Oh no, it fell over! <laughs> this is another classic. I've done this one a couple times, but. Let's try it out on Johnny. Okay guys, I've actually done this prank uh, a few times already. I've actually already done it once on here, Jordan. I don't know if I've even done it on Johnny, um, but just to be safe, keep them on their toes, I'm gonna make them think that I'm doing it again. But I'm not even gonna tape the boxes this time. That'll teach them. Just really keep them on their toes. <laughs> oh, hey guys, uh, yeah, can you help me with these boxes, Chris? Uh, I've done this to me before, actually. Johnny, don't do it. Guys! It's a stupid, they're, 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 they're taking- Oh my god, they're gonna drop them! He's not I'm gonna, gonna drop, drop them. He's not gonna drop them. Oh my gosh! Oh, he did drop them. You've been doing it! You're the one that has to pick them up, so. <laughs> wow. I think he pranked himself. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spray and dino prank. So somehow we're gonna have to get Johnny inside of a dino costume. Get our hands on some fart spray and just spray it inside of his little ventilation fan. <laughs> we'll spray it all in there. He won't even know what happened. This guy's just like freaking out. He's like, oh, it smells so bad. And he's trapped in there. Look at him go. He's gonna fall over. Oh my gosh. His dinosaur fell over. Guys rolling around in the fart spray. What a classic prank. My favorite part was when the dinosaur fell over. <laughs> Okay guys, so I told the guys that I came up with a really fun game, a fun challenge video for them to do. So right now they're getting dressed in their new outfits. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. I'm gonna have them whack each other with pool noodles while they're inside of the costumes. And then when they least expect it, I'm gonna put some fart spray. And also I got a few other little tricks up my sleeve, so just you watch. Are you guys ready for another fun game? You're not gonna prank this again, are you? I would never imagine that. So basically I'm calling this one Mythical Creature Battle. So we got um, a unicorn versus you're riding a, a T-Rex. So basically you guys are gonna use these pool noodles and you're gonna fight it out. Okay. You got it? I only have two costumes at the moment. Um, I need to invest in more. If you guys like this, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and we'll do even more mythical creature battles. Anyway, uh, you guys ready? Yeah. Here, uh, line you guys up. Okay. One for one, three, two, one, go! Did I kiss you? the end. They're just having a pillow fight. But I think I can make this into a good prank opportunity. <laughs> okay guys, so I've set up the ring and we're gonna have a little pillow fight. But what the boys don't know is I'm actually gonna take off my blindfold. They'll never see it coming. Oh, emo boys! Yeah, not emo, okay? We're just going through a 
phase. Wait, what? I thought it, what? I thought it was, we're not going through a phase. Oh, we're not going through a phase. Well, uh, guys, come here, come here. Hey, so how do you guys feel about having a little pillow fight? Um, can I use this instead? Uh, uh, uh no, you can't. Oh. Uh, here. Uh, you can have this one to match your oh, shirt. Okay. You can have, uh, I should've gotten you a black pillow. And I'll have this to match my hat. Okay? Oh, but by the way, we're all wearing blindfolds. Oh, okay. That sounds fair. Yeah. Yeah, uh, right. so, uh, um, here's the blindfold. This sounds like a great idea. Here's another one. Uh, I'm just gonna use my hat. Don't mind me. I'll just pull my hat over my eyes. I'm gonna pretend okay. like this is not a gently used COVID mask. Okay, guys, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go! I'm scared. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Hurt. Wait, no, 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 no! Oh, 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 yeah, it works, guys. oh my god, we gotta go! We gotta go! We gotta go! We gotta go! We're gonna We gotta go! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try this one on Johnny. Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! We gotta go! We gotta go! Come on! 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 Come on!
This was pretty bad. Oh, okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up. I'll put this fire right down there. Thanks so much guys for letting me prank you all day. It's been so much fun. If you guys wanna subscribe to these guys, you can click right here. Or if you guys just wanna watch me prank them even more, I actually have an entire playlist of me doing that right here. Oh, you guys love me so much, I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm ready. Okay, bye. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we got some really special guests here today. Come on up, boys! Hi. <laughs> I actually keep emos in my closet, guys. It's too bright out here. And today we're gonna be playing a very special game, a special challenge that I played on this channel many times before, but never with friends. Cake or fake? Have I actually played this with you before? No. Wow, I've, I've always only played cake or fake by myself. Wow. I've never done this with another person. Wow. I'm so nervous. You guys have to do your best to guess whether it's a cake or a fake. Got it. Okay, guys, first one. Fake. Yeah, it's definitely a pillow. I'm guessing it's also a fake. Very fake. Oh, it was, in fact, a fake. Oh, congratulations, gentlemen. One correct, but can you get even more correct? This beautiful plate of french fries is uh, covered in mayonnaise? <laughs> that's cheese, bro. Oh, it's just cheese. It's just but cheese. if it's cake, that's icing. Delicious. I think that looks like a cake. It does not look real to me. What do you think, Johnny? Cake, 100%. I'm guessing this is also also a cake. 100% a cake. It's, it's a, a cake. cake. Oh, Look at those layers. Okay, guys, cake or fake? It's a cake. 100% a cake. I, my impulse says it's real, but I kind of think it's probably a fake. It, I mean, it's a cake because it's on the floor. I'm guessing it's a fake. Oh, the skull oh. just cut really cleanly like that. Did oh. you know? That makes sense. I don't know why, but they always put the cakes on the floor. Oh, look at those brains. Guys, that's totally brains. Next one, orange juice and an orange box. Uh, is this cake or is it fake? Uh, come on, bro. That's fake. That's got to be fake. That's not cake. That's not cake. You don't think any of that's cake? That is just a regular juice box. I think, I kind of think it's cake. It looks too real to be real. I'm guessing it's a fake. <laughs> and let's see how it cuts. What? It didn't cut. Wow. It was a fake the entire time. Because I'm the only idiot. This famous painting by heck? Banksy. What do you guys think? Is it a cake or is it a fake? It looks like a birthday cake. It looks a like a birthday cake. A yeah. poorly done birthday cake. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with cake as well. So you guys think that this beautiful uh, classic piece uh, by Banksy himself was actually a cake? Yeah. What about you? I think it's it's totally a cake. Yeah, it's a cake. And, oh, he's cutting her in half. I knew it. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I didn't know it was a 3D cake. I thought it was just like a overall. Cake. I yeah. thought it was a white cake drawn on. I'm impressed. Okay, baby sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, do you think these baby sharks are cake or fake? That's not cake. That is real. These are all fake? Yeah, yeah they're fake. I'm going to have to say they are also fake. Obviously plastic. I'll be impressed if it's otherwise. Oh, oh, what? No, the baby sharks didn't get caught. I guess it's a fake, guys. Okay, guys, is this croissant, this pastry, if you will, this beautiful cheese Danish or berry, I don't know what flavor the Danish is. Is this Danish a cake or is it a true Danish? It's a true Danish. I'm going to say true Danish. I don't think so. I think this one's cake. I'm guessing it's a cake. I was completely... It was a cake! You big cake! This snake. Snake or cake or snake. Cake or snake. Cake or snake. Snake! I'm guessing cake. I'm gonna say cake as well. Yeah, cake, that's a snake. cake. Cake snake. Look at that. Snakes don't have layers. I knew it. You got it all right. Chocolate snake. Okay, guys. Bananas? They look like real bananas, but I don't think they're real. Those are real bananas. I think that they are cakes. Cake. They're cake. Oh, that's oh. a cake. Oh. I lost. Okay, next one, guys. Cake or fake? This box what on is a this? shiny red plate. I think it's like a glasses cake. That's cake. That's cake. That's a no. cake. You guys no. think that's a cake? Whatever it you is. You think that's a fake? I think it's a cake. Yeah. I'm gonna have Not to. Agree with you. No, it's not cake. I don't think it's cake either. Cake, 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 cake. It's a fake. Oh, oh what the heck? I'm oh really, no, yeah, yeah, it's a fake. I'm really yeah. screwing up these. John. What the this heck? This beautiful log. Okay. Fake. <laughs> it's it's a it's a log. It's not cake. Yeah, fake. I think it's a cake. Nah, it's a log, bro. Nah, I think it's wood. Log. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Classic no, Rugrats the movie VHS tape. I've seen this yeah. this film many a times. I think it's cake. It's a cake. It's 100% a cake. Um, the details are beautiful, but they just can't match the true masterpiece that is the original Rugrats. motion film Rugrats the movie. I is truly it apologize. Inside? It is Whoa. in fact cake, guys. Orange cake, dude. That's a really cool cake. <laughs> Delicious. That's actually really cool. That is really cool. That's the best one I've seen yet. Yeah, I think so too. My favorite. It's a VHS. Wow. Oh you, wow, that one's also. You uh, guys met the Tommy Pickles voice. Oh, 
actor we the did. Other day. We actually met Tommy Pickles' voice actor just yeah. the other day. Delicious Tums and gummy vitamins. Fake. Yeah, I don't think that is. I think this fake. is all a fake. fake. Yep. Fake. There's fake. no way. Fake. 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 Yeah, the fake guy thing. Fake. We've been fake. What about this beautiful plate of spaghetti? It looks like it was spaghetti at one point. Um, maybe. <laughs> Why is it so pale? I'm guessing this is a cake. Yeah, one thousand percent a cake. Yeah, they just like this is the leftover frosting. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be curry, and uh, none of us eat curry. But egg, yeah, it's a cake. cake. I would not even want to eat that as a cake. It looks really gross. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that looks really unappetizing. This um. <laughs> I don't know what Come what on. Is, um... Come on, there's no way. This is... Okay guys, so uh, we have a sloth writing a I don't the know. thing from Horton Here's a Who, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> In my world, I'll eat rainbows and poop butterflies. Okay, we're all guessing it's fake. Cake, cake, cake. Yeah, that was obvious. We were all correct. Yeah. Okay, guys, this Alaskan trout, I think it is. It's 100% cake. Yeah, you can kind of tell if you look at the eyes. Again. Yeah, it's, it's the face. It's not it's real. The face. the face is not real enough. It's a, it's a cake. I've caught a lot of fish in my day. I'm going to have to say that this is actually a cake. Yeah, that's what I meant. Is that what I said? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's, uh, but fish sometimes do look like that on the inside, so that you was, never know. Yeah, that's uh, so impressive. That was a pretty good cake, I'm not gonna lie. It was a good cake. That was a good uh, classic cake. Probably an A tier cake, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, this water bottle. Ooh. Is it a clear cake? Is it all frosting? I'm gonna have to say water bottle. I yeah. feel like it's just a real water Same. bottle. It's a fake. <laughs> yeah. It's like the person filming this doesn't even know. They're like, what is it? Huh? They, tap, cake? they tap it a couple times. They're like, what? This isn't a cake? Oh, oh it's a what? Um, Are you even allowed to show I don't know this? if I'm allowed to show this. Guys, is this cake or is it, it better cake? Be, it better be cake. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is cake. I really hope it's actually cake. This could or... be someone's butt. It's 100% anyway, it's 100% a cake. Anyway, it's cake, 100 cake, a cake. 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 This, is, this would hurt a lot if it's not a cake. <laughs> oh my gosh. I would actually eat this one, I'm not gonna lie. Where do you put the candles on? Okay, the Torres family. <laughs> Eddie! What are you doing? <laughs> This is a fake. <laughs> Should we skip this? Uh, I think it's a fake. What do you guys think it is? Is it a fake? fake. Uh, free no, point. this is real. This is real. <laughs> it's a real cake? No, this is, yeah, this is cake. This is okay, cake. it's a, it's a Torres cake. I know about You it. were incorrect. What? It's Bro, a Torres that, sign. that was cake. Okay, guys, this playhouse. That would be above and beyond. This playhouse with this girl. This is 100% real. This is 100% a yeah, cake. Yeah, those, those look like toys. Those, those are like cakes. Fake. Fake. Those are all cakes. No way, dude. This would be very impressive if it's cake. Cake! Oh! oh, oh. oh. Oh, no, know. it's a fake. You guys were correct. Dang. Okay, the moon. What is the moon made out of, boys? Cake. Yeah, I guess cake. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know what to say. I've been to on be. the moon. I know it's made out of cake. I think that the moon is personally made out of cheese. Don't question my personal beliefs. Oh! Uh, it's, it's a cake. cheese. Wait. Cheese. Oh, no, it's a cake. <laughs> no, yeah, you guys were right. Yeah. Okay, guys, this pasta sauce, this ready-made dinner, I think it's a fake. Okay, yeah, it's 1,000% a fake. What the What heck? the heck? What are you doing? This is spicing Ooh, it up. What are you doing? Really? Yeah, he is spicing it up. Adding oh, my, Eddie. Can. Whoa! I'm, I'm so surprised. Hey, guys, this glass of water. I'm going to say this is a cake, honestly. I, I, yeah. But it's a clear glass of water. What are you talking about? Yeah, but it's got that little bit of, like... It's a little wonky. Yeah, a yeah. It's a little too it. wonk. I think it's also a cake. This is a cake. Cake. Bum, ba, da, boom. Oh, that's really good. Is this a 3D cake also? Yeah. Oh, these are so cool. That's awesome. Okay, guys, I think Whoa. I have an idea really quick. Okay. One hour later. So we got a new system. We all wrote fake or cake. We're just going to flip which one we think it is when we see it. I had to Google how to spell this. <laughs> I tried Googling it and I couldn't find the result. So you just drew a picture. <laughs> okay, guys, so this little cactus, uh, what do you guys think? That looks like a plushie, yeah. Here we go. It's definitely a plush. Oh, a little side of crackers. Oh, okay. the crackers really make it look good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What no, do you guys think? It's fake. It's it, fake. It's a fake. Yeah. No! I was correct. I almost didn't know. Guys, this Ooh. beautiful mashed potatoes and gravy with a side of meatballs. I'm gonna go with uh, cake. Yeah, it looks delicious, but I think it is cake. It's an impressive cake, nonetheless. Oh! Oh 
Oh my gosh, we were correct. Is it cake or is it just raw? Mm. <laughs> it's raw food. Do you guys think oh, that yeah. the candle in its entirety is a cake, or do you guys think mm. it's a fake? I'm guessing, personally, this. I don't know, man. I'm gonna go with cake, but I'm not. I'm gonna go with cake, even though it. I think that's a just like a little birthday cake candle, personally. Yeah, I, I maybe. Agree. I'm just guessing. I think the entire thing's a cake. And were we correct? Oh. I was. Oh. Uh, ashtray full of cigarette butts, and I don't know what else that is. Uh, uh, I'm guessing that this is a cake. Yeah, a disgusting cake. I don't know. Yeah. Don't start smoking, kids. Terrible habit. Say fake. And don't make cakes like this either. I think these are real cigarettes. They might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's. It's a cake. Oh. Beautiful margarita with a slice of watermelon. 100%. I, yeah, you can tell by the thickness. I'm yes. guessing it's also a cake. The thickness of the liquid is most definitely cake. Wow, that's a yep. beautiful cake. Apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. We got some fake, fake, fake. fake. Yeah, definitely fake. Looks good, but definitely fake. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. what? The that's a real apple. Okay, guys, we got <laughs> somebody's baking kids' toys just for this video. I gotta Come on, man! At least take it out of the oven first. I think every single one that's gonna be fake is gonna be a kid's toy at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna go with fake on this. Fake. I get it though. I'm getting. I'm giving it a fake. Yeah. Let's see. They are in the oven. <laughs> oh, delicious. Yeah, I wouldn't eat those. Okay, guys, this delicious and nutritious uh, 12 pack of eggs. What do you guys mm. think? Cake. It looks like it could easily be a cake, but I'm guessing that this one is in fact. Those eggs just look way too shiny to be real. That's my opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Really? Yeah, yeah. it's gotta be cake. You what? Oh. No, I totally thought that was a fake. Holy crap, I actually have trust issues. Holy crap. You've done 100 crap. egg hacks. You should know what eggs look like right now. I know, I should double. I've done like six of these cake or fakes and I've done 100 of I'm, I'm, click over here if you guys want to watch the 100 egg hack video. I've seen it five times and I'm personally never eating eggs again. Oh, hey guys, oh, this, oh. this potato, it has some sprouts in it. Yeah. Uh, what are we thinking? Is this just an old potato or is it a cake? I'm gonna go with cake. Yeah, I'm guessing it's a cake. Not shiny enough, the opposite mm. of the last. Yes! Uh, it sliced a little oh. too oh. A delicious potato cake. Yeah, potato cake. <laughs> Nick Ribwich sandwich. What do you guys think? It's a cake? What are those? I'm guessing it's also a they cake. They look like a cake. They don't even say it. Bratwurst sandwich. Don't even say what? It looks like poop. <laughs> it looks like poop. Uh oh, poops a doo doo sandwich. Yeah, and it's in fact. It's a cake. It's a cake. Dude, look at the detail on this. That's the a good hot dog sandwich. <laughs> wow, incredible. Enjoy the Journey, a book about life, and I've never actually read this one. I'm guessing it's I've a fake. I've read all of them in the series, and this one is definitely a fake. Okay. This looks it, exactly like the real it one. It looks like a real book, yeah. It was a fake the entire time, guys. What? Did you okay, get guys, this beautiful turtle. I hope it's not real. Oh my I, god, dude, yeah. I think that this is a real turtle. Just kidding, I think it's also a cake. I have a turtle, and he doesn't look like that. He has oh more of a blank look. Oh no, it's Robbie's turtle. Oh, oh Bowser. Well, since it's a baby toy, <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a fake. It's a fake. It kind of looks like a cake, to be honest. Yeah, it's part of the effect. Yeah. Okay, guys, Ooh. this beautiful chicken dinner. Wait, there's gotta be cake, because nobody really does that. <laughs> it's cake. I mean, I've eaten a lot of chicken. Oh. This is a cake. No, it might be a real, are no. we all wrong? No. You're gonna sit here and tell me it's a cake? It's a cake. It's a cake. It's a cake. Oh wait, I was correct. Cake World. Thank you, Cake World, for sponsoring this video. Just kidding, they didn't sponsor this video. Okay, guys, these Ooh, fillets of Butcher Select British chicken. That is not real chicken. That is I'm real guessing. One hundred percent. It's also. a cake. It's, it's, it's so cake. He's never cooked before. Oh! oh. Okay, oh, guys, wow. this, what is this? Like a Google, Google home? Alexa Chrome. What do you guys think? I'm gonna say fake. It looks a little off to me. It's I'm guessing bit. it's a cake. I think cake. It could go either way. I think so. It's actually. Oh, oh my gosh! It was a. It one. was a cake the entire time. This cowboy hat. What do you guys think? I'm gonna say fake. 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 This is a fake. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. It would just be all icing if it was a cake. Yeah. Tap, tap, tap. That would be a delicious cake, though. It would be. It looks like a little personal one. This DJ setup, Ooh. guys. Look at it. They're partying. They're dancing. I'm guessing it's actually I think a it's a cake. cake. It's a cake. cake. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, uh, the buttons look a little wonky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a cake. A cake, oh. a cake, a cake. Look at that cake. Would you wow. take a slice of that cake? Yeah, I, I think would. I would yeah. Yeah. Oh, baby. That'd be yummy. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. Okay, guys. 
uh, this, I don't know tuna? what this is, sun kit, sun I think it's tuna. four pack. <laughs> it's a four pack of tuna. <laughs> That's totally a fake. I'm gonna say fake on that, yeah, come fake. on. <laughs> doink, 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 a cop salad. Um, I don't know what cop cake. salad is, but it looks like it could be a cake. It looks 100% It looks like cake. it's a cake. Cake it up. Yummy! I would yeah. not eat that. That looks so gross. You I, eat it? I wouldn't eat it either. Really? No. This uh, roll of tissue paper. You can't fool me, Eddie. I'm gonna say cake. I'm gonna say cake. <laughs> it kind of does look like a cake, but I'm not guessing that. Boom! Okay, guys. Uh, I don't iPhone. know. What do you guys what? think this is? I think it's an iPhone and like four blue or six blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> and I found it's six blueberries. So I'm gonna say Ooh. fake. I'm gonna say fake on this. I'm guessing it's a cake. I think so too. What? That was a real phone? That was a real phone! Whoa, that was a good one. Okay guys, this weird sponge thing. That would be disgusting to eat. Mm, I'm gonna go with cake. I, I I'm guessing it's a fake. Uh, nah, that's that's just that's a cake. <gasps> what? I would I've been caked. Yeah. See that's frosting on the bottom, not Wow. Solid. Wheaties? I don't know. I'm gonna say it looks like a sorry. cake. Fake. I'm gonna go fake. Yeah. It looks like a cake, is but I think you, it's just how the food. Is. What is that supposed to be? Corn? Dude, that's real cake. That's cake. That's a cake. Whoa. Okay guys, this what? realistic foot. I mean it's impressive, but it's definitely It's a impressive, cake. but it's a cake. He's just painting cake. <laughs> wow. He based it off his real foot. Oh my oh. gosh. This is gonna be the thumbnail. Woo! I need Eddie uh, to send this to me. Whoa. This is really good. Wow. Look at these freaking feet. Wow, that's impressive. Just water. Uh, Guys, it's uh, only water. I'm gonna say fake. You're gonna guess it's fake? Yeah, it looks like something someone would just have around their house. Just water, 100% real water. As the sign states, I'm guessing it's cake. This one's tricky, I don't know guys. I'm guessing fake, but I'm not sure. Wow! It's cake. It is a cake! Oh, I shouldn't have guessed it. I don't know. Look at that, I'm water. Like, we all got that wrong? You got it right. Yeah, I got it got correct. Right. Oh, Robbie knew. How'd you know? I could what just gave tell. It away? Okay guys, this toilet paper. Uh, I'm guessing it's a cake. I'm gonna go with fake on this one. Really? Yeah. It looks like real toilet paper. Yeah. That does look like Eddie's floor. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but it's actually a cake. Okay guys, this beautiful Subway sandwich Obvious. and Subway Coca-Cola drink. That's a thousand percent cake. Yes. I'm yeah. guessing that this is a cake, mostly because the drink looks a little bit off. Yeah, they did too much. Look at Whoa, that. Whoa, okay. They put ice in there too. Wow! It's an impressive cake. Look, right. it, it, it turns out we were all correct. It was all cake the entire time. I guess we could say that this one Works. Right. Was a piece of cake. Oh. Ooh. This water bottle fake. in the snow. Fake. You think that's a fake? I think it's a fake too. Yeah, it looks like someone just had their water bottle with them in a knife. I think I bought him that water bottle. Yeah. And it's actually a fake. Dang. Limes inside of a jar. I'm, I'm going fake. with fake again. Yeah, I guess me too. I'm doing yeah, fake. Boom, bam, fake, Dang. bam. Okay, guys, this uh, beautiful Cuban sandwich. I think it's a Cuban sandwich. I'm not 100% sure. What do you guys think? Is this a cake? Uh, oh, uh, no, fake. there's like that frosting on it. I'm gonna say it's a cake. Um, It looks too fantastically good. Those onions don't look correct to me. I'm guessing it's a cake. Wow. Really overanalyzing this one. And pull Whoa. over that cake. The oh. fact he can pull it out is like really impressive if it is a cake. Yeah. Wow. Impressive cake. It's very That's impressive. a nice looking cake. Delicious. Woo. That's cool. Okay, guys, these Red Wing Iron Ranger boots. Uh, is this a cake or they is look this too perfect? Too specific. These are actually uh, one of my favorite uh, pairs of boots. I got a pa I got my set right here. I'm very familiar. I'm guessing that this is a fake. I'd say. Oh wait, I Zino know boots. That's the type of boots Robbie would buy for one of his I don't know. Editors. It looks too good. To be, <laughs> it looks too good. It looks like it could be cake. It's an impressive cake. Boom. It's not cake. Dang. Real boots. Real boots. It had me. Ooh, okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure I give it a big old thumbs up on some of this fight right down there. Down in the comments down below, let me know what your score was and if you beat any of us. I bet we beat every single one of you guys. I guarantee it. If you guys want to watch me do even more cake or fakes, I have a whole playlist of me doing them right here. If you guys want to subscribe to the boys, you can click right here and right here. Or if you guys are new, you can even subscribe to me. Okay, guys. Love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're not even, okay, oh. bye. Ah!
Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. I'm a jumpsuit guy now. All I'm gonna be wearing is this jumpsuit and every video from now on, I'm gonna be basically a Mario brother. You see, all the best people wear jumpsuits. We got uh, 21 Pilots. That's all I can think of, really. They're the only, uh, you know, they have the whole song about jumpsuits, I guess. But the cool part about this is I get my own custom name tag. Robbie. I put it on myself. And also, it comes in two colors. I'll be right back. It also comes in all black. I still have to sew the patch on this one, but it matches my hair color. So yeah, guys, I'm just trying to simplify my life. Wear the same thing every day. I mean, I already kind of did, but you know. I feel like overall, a jumpsuit just has so much more utility. Guys, guess what? I also got the intern a jumpsuit. It's a little big, but I mean, it works. I think you look a little bit sus, bro. I like your zips. That was one thing that mine didn't have. Why does it have cool zippers? What the heck? But I did add this cool new belt. Anyway, guys, let's check out these fun life hacks. Oh okay, yeah, so these are some easy school supplies and cheating hacks that you guys are gonna wanna know. I don't condone cheating, I'm just gonna put a disclaimer right there. Please don't cheat. Be honest to yourself and be honest to the craft. Anyway, let's begin. So here's how you're gonna make yourself a fun laptop stand. Gonna get some cardboard and cut it into pieces just like this. Put it together just like that. Spray paint that bad boy. And now you have a beautiful organizer laptop holder. I mean, it's a little annoying if you want to get to the things underneath the laptop. Or like if you have crayons in there, the laptop's is gonna melt the crayons. But you know what? We're gonna try it. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need some cardboard. I'm taking you guys to my garage. Oh yes, my garage. This is where I keep all my materials. Just gotta move some things around. Oh. Yeah, this piece of cardboard ought to do it. Oh wait, there's a bunch of liquid latex on the back. Well that's not gonna work. Now that is much better. So I actually kind of want to get the measurements for this thing exact, but I know for a fact I wouldn't be able to hand make these things. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and project it onto my wall right here, and then I'll get an exact measurement of how big I need it. Let's see, will this fit my laptop? Oh, actually, that's the perfect size. I think that'll work. I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it to the wall really quick. Taller than expected, but you know, it, it's fine. Um, I'll make it work. This is a lot harder than expected. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trace it. Here we go. Now I just have to cut it out. Okay guys, so my razor blade is actually not cutting very well right now. And that's because the blade is really dull. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. You're actually gonna wanna get yourself a screwdriver. This one kinda takes both. Um, it looks like it would prefer a Phillips, but we're gonna use this flathead instead. Go ahead and take that apart. And now, there's a bunch of new razors inside of it. How fantastic. You can also just flip this razor around. There's some gunk on it. Ooh, that's still sharp. So in this case, I'm just gonna keep using this one, but flip it around. And then just carefully put that right there. Replace the top and the little screw. And now we have ourselves a brand new razor blade. Oh, that's like butter. all of our general pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the little slots. Now I'm gonna attempt to put this thing together. So it actually looks like they had it set up like this first. So we have it set up like this first. I'm gonna actually put all these upside down. That way you don't see, uh, you know, a generator in the background or this these gallons of bleach. I don't really know. So apparently they went boop, boop, and then they grabbed these guys. I'm already seeing a problem with this. Very good, very good. And then this one uh, down here, but I definitely made these slots a little too big. And I actually made this completely upside down. I would have actually wanted it like this. Now that I'm looking at it, I just derped up so hard. There we go. That looks so much better. No generators here. Then sir, this guy. Oh my. I don't know how they managed to get it to stick together so well because uh, they didn't even use hot glue in the video. It's supposed to just all stick together, but they lifted it from the top. So that 
that makes me think they at least taped it or something. But they didn't show it, so you know that's fine. So overall, guys, I'm just a little nervous to see if this is gonna hold my laptop. Where did I put it? Oh, here we go, my laptop. If you guys wanna watch the video where I customize my laptop, uh, you can go ahead and watch that right here. But in the meantime, uh, let's see if this actually holds my very expensive $1,200 laptop already falling apart before I even put it on. You ready? That, uh, uh, yeah, that wasn't good. Um, just, uh, we can make this work. Oh, God. Oh, no. That was probably important. Uh, we'll try it again. Oh! <gasps> it completely fell apart! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Do you guys think it's because I didn't paint it? I'm not sure exactly how that would uh, improve the structural integrity of it, but you never know. Here's how to draw the perfect circle. Because you obviously can't do it on your own. The teacher makes it look so easy. But when you do it, it's so hard. What you're gonna wanna do is grab some scissors, a pencil, and then just tape that bad boy right on there. And now you have yourself a DIY compass. It writes, it cuts. What can't this thing do? Guys, before I start this one, I wanna have a little dance montage. Okay guys, so here is my piece of paper. And I'm gonna do my very best to draw a perfect circle. You ready? That's a pretty uh, decent circle, if I do say so myself. I could have probably fixed this edge a little. That's pretty good, actually. I'm really happy with that circle. Now I'm gonna try it with the scissor compass method. So we're gonna have to go far and wide to get some scissors. Exactly uh, one foot. Here we go. Yes, these should do. And then we're gonna open these scissors up and just tape the pencil straight to it. It's a very uh, easy craft. It's a very easy life hack in general. Starting to think this isn't as easy as I thought. Oh gosh. And ideally I'd be able to still use my scissors after this. Uh, that would make it the perfect life hack. Uh, I can already see a problem with this. The pencil's moving around a lot. Now we have a scissor compass. Now let's see how perfect of a circle I can make with this. Start right here. Just gonna hold it like uh, right about there. And just gently turn my paper in a circle. It's a pretty darn good circle. The only problem is, now there's a little hole in the paper. I guess by default, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. But can I still use my scissors? <gasps> I can still use my scissors. This is a fantastic life hack, I love it. And so you're in class and non-discreetly pull out a candy bar out of your tie. Wait, why are you wearing ties at school? Is this mandatory? I don't know a single person who wore a tie at school. Not a single person in my life. Like, maybe as like a joke, like, oh, look how fancy I am. I guess there was that one time where my teacher made me actually wear a tie. Oh, the video's over. Anyway, you're just so sick of your neighbor's pencils just getting everywhere. Oh, man. This guy looks very disappointed. Well, all you want to do is sacrifice your left sock, specifically the left one. Grab yourself a Pringles can. Put some hot glue on the top of that bad boy, preferably green. I don't know where I'm gonna get green. Put some fuzzies on it, maybe? Cut the top off, and bam! You got yourself a brand new pencil case. This honestly looks like something out of Dr. Seuss. Okay guys, so here's our Pringles can. Just gonna go ahead and put some hot glue on the top. I really hope this doesn't melt the Pringles can. Then we're gonna grab our sock and carefully put it over the Pringles can. Oh. Oh! Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. This is harder than I thought. Maybe I should have gotten a bigger sock. My goodness. I don't know how they got the sock on so easy, especially with the hot glue. Maybe I should have turned it inside out first. Oh, the lid is way off now. That is... Oh, 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 gosh. Okay, I'll try this again. I'm not sure where I went wrong with this. A little bit of hot glue. I'm really not sure how the heck they made it look so easy. So I'm going to try having it inside out first. Carefully, just, uh, ow, ha. oh my gosh. Come on, uh, we can do it, Sock. Almost there. I'm like actually breaking a sweat doing this. I think they actually kind of did that on purpose because the hot glue got pulled down here. 
Yeah, that looks uh, pretty solid, actually. So now I gotta go in and uh, cut off some of the excess. Booty boop. I think that I might actually use a little bit of hot glue to hold the bottom on. It didn't say to do it, but you know, you can never be too careful. Okay, now I'm gonna try and uh, release the lid so that I can actually have use of the lid. There we go. Come on. It said simply to cut off the top. Very easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, you know? It's really having a hard time. It definitely doesn't look like how it did in the video. Let's do a little comparison shot really quick. So uh, this is theirs, and this is mine. You know, it's not quite as clean as theirs, um, but the utility is there. I can still very much uh, hoard all my pencils and miscellaneous things in there. It seems to work as it's intended. I mean, I, I don't think I need to hot glue socks onto this Pringles can, but it works. This one absolutely works. Hey guys, so here's a fun and easy way to dye your hair. Grab some markers, take out the ink sacs, squeeze the ink sacs so all the ink comes out. Add a little bit of hair conditioner, mix that bad boy up, do multiple colors, it's fine. And just put it right on your hair. This is very similar to the process that I use for my hair, except I don't use markers for uh, the hair dye, I use actual hair dye. And luckily, it looks like I need to touch up my hair, so this is actually the perfect opportunity. Okay guys, so here are our markers. They're ultra clean, washable markers. I had the intern pick these out. In his defense, it did just say markers, so he just kind of picked the first ones they saw. Just gonna go ahead and grab my blue and pink markers. Yeah, these ought to match my hair color. So the first thing I need to do is open these bad boys up. Just gonna go ahead and grab some pliers really quick, and hopefully this should do it. And there it is. Let me get it out. We got it! That's one, and that's two. Well, I don't need these anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the blue first. I simply need to take all the extra dye out. Oh God, I don't know why I chose a black bowl for this. Oh God, oh, that is staining my fingers. It's a good thing these are washable. That's all I have to say. Just really get it all out of there. This is staining my hands so bad. Now we're gonna add some conditioner, just a little bit. There we go. Oh wow, that is some blue dye. It really didn't produce much dye, unfortunately. But you know, I think it might be enough for me to touch up my hair. And that's all I'm really going for. I'm using a fork right now because, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm using a fork. Wow, okay. This is a very nice blue, nice consistency. Let's try this out in my hair. Okay, so I don't have a hair dyeing brush, but I have a regular paintbrush, and I think it's gonna be good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up really quick to the blue side. I'm gonna be really careful and just paint my hair. This is a beautiful blue. If this works, you know, I might do this all the time. Wow, look how vibrant that blue is. I, I actually really, really spilled some. I'm actually hoping this works, because my roots are pretty bad. Just really get it in my hair. I probably should be wearing gloves for this. Okay, same thing with the pink guys. Okay guys, it actually looks like it turned out more of a purple because I sort of forgot to rinse out the bowl. But it's okay. I'm just gonna have purple roots. I'm going back to my purple roots. Pink hair, purple roots. You know, that's fine. I'm okay with this. I don't even know if this is gonna stay in. I feel like it's not. I'm pretty confident. I'm hoping that doesn't bite me in the foot. I have no faith in this craft. But you know, it, you never know. The good thing about this is I can always just re-bleach it. My roots are usually the first to fade anyway, so I'm not even and concerned. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Okay guys, I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for a few hours and then we're gonna wash it out and see how it turns out. I'll see you then. Okay guys, it's been about an hour. It's time to rinse my hair out. Do the blue side first. Whenever you rinse out your hair from dye, you always wanna make sure you use cold water. It's really important, you see. Uh... Okay, so right away, I can already tell that this did not stay in my hair. My roots definitely did not stay blue. The pink wasn't really that faded before, but it definitely doesn't look like it's stuck to the pink either. Dang, that's unfortunate. I really didn't want to actually have to do my roots. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So you borrow your neighbor's lipstick, and and then you're like, hey, can I go to the bathroom? Uh, and you're gonna go ahead and put it on your eyes to make it look like you're sick. Just really blend it in there and make it look like you just got red under your eyes and a red puffy nose. Maybe grab yourself a wet rag and heat up your forehead. Oh my gosh, this boy looks so sick. And I don't mean that in the, oh my God, this guy's sick. More like a, I'm sick kind of a way, you know what I mean? And that's how you get yourself out of school. Again, I really don't recommend you try this one, but that's just me, do what you will, I guess. But for the sake of the video, I think that we should try this one ourselves. <sighs> okay guys, so it's pretty early in the morning. It's like 7.30 in the morning right now. I start filming pretty early, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it look like I'm sick. Yeah, just really, oh yes, get that in there. Oh wow, this lipstick smells like chocolate. <laughs> 
It definitely didn't taste like chocolate though. I think I might have put it a little too thick. Oh no. Just blend it in more guys. A little bit on my nose. Yeah? Yeah? You gonna that? What do you guys think? Oh my god. <gasps> I look like Penelope from Wreck-It Ralph. Oh my goodness, I got a little rosy cheek thing going on, don't I? Okay guys, let's go try this out. <laughs> oh, good morning guys, how's it going? Good, good morning. You okay? I, I'm not feeling very good today guys. I'm feeling really sick. Oh. So dramatic. Oh. Bench, even Bench knows I'm sick, see? Is he okay, buddy? Guys, I'm so sick. Why do you look like you got punched in the face? Because I'm sick. Do you need to go to the doctor? No, I, it's not, it's, I, it's not that deep. Yeah. It's not that deep, guys. No, no guys, it's not that deep. Oh, no, it's okay. not that deep. Oh, Stop. Sick. No. Go to the doctor. Oh! No, it's fake. I faked it. I'm not actually sick. This is lipstick on my eyes. You guys have been praying. You're not sick? I wasn't sick the entire time. Well, I'm so surprised. You always look sick. I didn't know there's a difference. Like, I always look <laughs> sick? No, you, you just look gross. You guys are mean. You look very blessy. I'm gonna leave. No, don't leave. I'll see you later. Okay, goodbye. Bye, guys. I'm going into the light. Whoa! <gasps> oh, you guys locked me out! Let me back in! Are you feeling better? Yes. Cut. Please let me in. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. You guys totally thought I was sick. You've been pranked. You've been pranked. Even though this is actually to get me out of going to school, but I don't go to school. I just make crafts. You guys tired of putting up with these gross, greasy paper bags? Oh. Man, it's just everywhere. Well, what you're gonna want to do is grab yourself another paper bag and cover it in duct tape. Maybe put a cute kitty design oh. on it or something. I don't know. I don't want to tell you how to live your life. And boom, you got yourself a waterproof lunch bag. I feel like the inside would still be paper, though, so it might still get a little bit soggy. Well, let's make our a lunch bag. Hey everyone, are you ready for this? <gasps> Let's do this. Here's our lunch bag. I mean, um, just rip this off. It's actually a gift bag. They were out of lunch bags at the store. Apparently no one uses paper lunch bags anymore, I guess. Now, here we have our perfectly normal lunch bag. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab some cool tape, and then we just start putting it all over our bag. One side is done. That looks pretty, uh, pretty cool actually. Now, I gotta do the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. Oh, there we go. Looks pretty good. I didn't want to do the inside because that just seemed like kind of a pain in the butt. Plus, they didn't really say that they did the inside in the video. Eight hours later. Okay, guys, so now that our decorative reusable paper bag is done, I kind of want to do a little stress test and compare it to a normal paper bag. So right here, I have some pork roast from about two weeks ago. I ate most of it. You know, there's just uh, some left. So we're just going to go ahead and put some inside of our bags. Oh god, it got on me. Oh god, oh god. Oh, okay, next one. Okay. I'm really glad that the intern has to clean this up, but not me. Okay guys, we got it successfully in our bags. I'm just gonna go ahead and clamp these bad boys up. And also to truly stress test these, I'm also gonna put some creamy chicken and dumpling soup. Oh yes. Oh, that's disgusting. Half an each. Looks pretty good. Okay, uh... Yeah, now I'll do it. Go ahead and close these up really good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and leave them overnight and see how they hold up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's the next day. And this is how they are looking. Our regular paper bag is pretty soggy at the bottom. And we got a couple little drippy drips down here, but it still seems to be... It, it, ugh. It's kind of holding up. It's about to pop, <laughs> about to break open. And this one, you know, it's still holding up really good. Like, it's not even leaking. Oh, wait, yeah, it leaked a little bit. Even this one leaked. And I don't know if I would say that this is actually reusable. I wouldn't reuse this personally. So, overall, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this, I mean, depending on what you use it for, actually kind of works. As like a regular lunch bag, not putting, you know, chicken noodle soup inside of it, I think it would probably work fine, but you know, if you're just straight up putting your leftovers in it. It's probably not gonna hold up very well. So yeah, kinda works. This one we're gonna need a makeup sponge, a little bit of polymer clay, and just put the top right back on. And now you got yourself some cute macaroon earrings. I didn't think about this one. I don't have my ears pierced. I'm sure I'll think of something. Let's go make ourselves some macaroon earrings. Okay guys, so here's my gently used beauty blender. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy right down this line. I think the goal is to still make it look kinda flat. Ugh, I mean, 
I did my best. Wow, <laughs> look at the difference between this. This is what it theoretically looked like originally. This is what it looks like now. That's pretty gross. This was a very used beauty blender. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the top off of this one a little bit. Maybe I can just make it look like a little macaroon. But this doesn't look correct to me. So I feel like I'd need another beauty blender of the same color and then put them together like that. I'll just make it flat like this. And then we grab some polymer clay. Theirs was in like a weird tube. I don't know where the heck I would find that. I'm guessing that this yellow clay from Michael should be fine though. Guys, down in the comments down below, I'm really curious to know, do you guys watch these videos for me actually doing the life hacks? Do you guys want to find out if they work? Or do you guys watch these just purely for your own entertainment and you're just waiting for me to get hurt? I'm genuinely curious. I'm just gonna squeeze all this polymer clay on here. I didn't have any white, but I did have this yellow. I mean, I've seen macaroons with yellow filling before. That's a thing, right? I don't know. Squish that together. Uh, I really don't know how I feel about this macaroon. And I don't really foresee it actually sticking together, but I'm gonna go ahead and, oh gosh, I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry for a little bit and maybe it'll stick together better. Just gonna stick in a little wire for the earring part and there we go. It's almost like a little Christmas ornament. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna let this sit and dry for a little bit. Oh gosh, that really doesn't like to stick together. What a yummy looking macaroon. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a few hours. One eternity later. Okay guys, so it's been about five hours. Here's our little macaroon. Personally, I think it didn't hold together very well. The clay is very much still malleable. The only way to solidify it is to put it in the oven and I'm kind of scared it's gonna melt my beauty blender. So I guess that's not gonna work. It just really falls off. Anyway, I don't have any pierced ears, but I do have a pierced lip. So maybe I could hang it from my lip. Let's see. Oh yes, there we go. Bend that over. There we go, yes. A macaroon lip. What do you guys think? It's the newest in fact. oh. Gosh. Oh, my macaroon! It's the newest in fashion. Hang a macaroon from your lip piercing. There you go. Wow! This is amazing! I've never seen a lip ring like that before. I need to show the intern. Oh, hey, intern. Check out my new lip ring. It looks like a Christmas ornament. It's really good, and it's really convenient. Oh, God. Oh. That's gross. I don't want to touch it. Anyway, uh, that's my macaroon uh, lip ring. It's the newest, highest in fashion intern. I really blended in this couch. <laughs> Maybe the jumpsuits and the red couch weren't a good idea. I walked in here and I haven't been able to see him a couple times, so. So is that a real macaroon? Yeah, you wanna try it? Sure. Uh, yeah. Is that the beauty blender and clay? Are you sure I teach? You've been pranked. This isn't a prank video, I just wanna try it. Anyway guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, doesn't really work. Oh, I still have the wire stuck on my lip. Uh, uh. Okay, let's do the next one. I'm not exactly sure what this contraption is that she made. I guess if you need something, uh, you're good forever. For this life hack, we're gonna want to put a stapler on the wall. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. It's time for me to never lose my stapler again. I lose it in that drawer all the time. Grab our hot glue gun. Now I just grab my stapler and just put on a bunch of hot glue. Perfect. Now I just stick this bad boy to the wall. It's looking pretty solid, pretty on there. And then if I ever need to change the staples, Oh gosh. Let's try and staple some things together really quick. Oh, oh man, I really gotta staple my blue and yellow sheets together. Really important here. Uh, just put that in there. Here we go, give it a good old wackaroonie. Oh, that kind of worked. Uh, we'll try it again. I mean, my stapler is in fact broken because I hit it too hard, uh, but overall, I think the idea actually works. Okay hey guys, here's a fun way to uh, share snacks with your desk roommate person. I guess neighbor it would be? What you're gonna wanna do is get your bag of chips and a pencil, stab it right through that bad boy, and just hang it between your desk. And boom, you got a hidden snack compartment for you and your best mates to share. It's a perfect plan! It's a perfect way to sneak food into class. But does it actually work? Well, we're gonna have to find out, aren't we? Okay guys, did you guys know that they make a chip version of the Doritos Locos Tacos? I had no idea. The Doritos Nacho Cheese flavored chips look absolutely delicious. Wow, so they're basically like the shell, but cut into little square shapes. Please ignore the giant glowing ball behind me. I wasn't expecting you guys to see this part. It's delicious. But this bag is kind of useless. It doesn't just hover between two desks. Here, watch, I'll show you. Here are our two desks. What? 
I am so incredibly saddened about this. I don't know why this would have happened. I'm really sorry, Doritos Locos Chips. You won't die in vain. There's a lot of dog hair on the floor. Gross. So now we're gonna try five minute crafts. Easy solution. Just go ahead and stab the pencil through the bag on both sides. Pop, pop. Now it's completely, it ripped the bag. <laughs> My chips are getting so broken right now. I'll try it again with another hole, and then here's another one. Okay, looking good. Now we're gonna put it between our desk. I'm gonna try moving them a little closer. Oh no! Oh, the fire extinguisher. Okay guys, so we're between our two desks, maybe a little bit closer. It's perfect! Now I'm gonna retrieve a chip. And the bag broke again. Well guys, I guess I'm just gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Which is really unfortunate because I was just so excited to share chips with my neighbor. Maybe it would be a better idea if I just uh, went next door and asked him. Anyway guys, it doesn't work. Guys, are you tired of just losing all your caps, your highlighters, and you just always forget where they are and you just lose them? So here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna get some hot glue, a ribbon, hot glue that ribbon to the cap, and also hot glue to the bottom of your pen. And now, they'll never be separated again. They're stuck together forever, okay? So for this one, guys, I'm gonna need a Sharpie. Boobity boop. Here's our ribbon. Gonna go and grab ourselves some scissors here. There we go. These ought to do. A boobity boop. Well, don't need this anymore. Grab ourselves a little hot glue and just really stick our ribbon on there. Try not to burn yourself on the extremely hot, hot glue. Because, you know, you're not me. You can't be burning yourself. What do you think you are, a live Robbie video? Go ahead and stick our ribbon on the hot glue. Go ahead and let it cool down for a second. Oh yes, look at this perfect specimen of a life hack. But does it actually work? Oh hey intern, how's it going there buddy? Are you just doing your tasks? Yeah. Well, uh, 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 that's great. Uh, I just need to highlight something for you. Okay. And it's no. <laughs> Robbie, come on. You've been pranked! Uh, this isn't supposed to be a prank video today. <laughs> you guys weren't expecting that, were ya? Oh my gosh, I didn't lose the cap this time! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Guys, here's an easy way to avoid this. Just getting hit with all the things in your locker. Just uh, grab a little bag and a magnet and just put it inside your bag. And boom, it should stick straight to your locker. You can hold books and pens and I don't know if it'll hold all that. I feel like that's really stretching it. So unfortunately, I don't have a locker here, but uh, I do have this metal toolbox, so I think that'll have to do. So here's my toolbox and here's my bag. And obviously, it doesn't stick to the toolbox by itself. So we're gonna go ahead and add this magnet. Just put this magnet right inside of the bag and then stick it right on there. Wow, it's actually sticking. Let's see, what'll this hold? Can it hold a tripod? No, it cannot. Guys, I actually can't find my magnet anywhere. It's not in the bag. Where the heck could it be? A magnet? Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one just doesn't work. So you're at the library and you know, you're just picking up your books for your classes. And you're like, oh, one book, easy. Two books, three books, four, five. Why is Moby Dick in there? You just have so many books and this librarian's like, huh, they had to carry all these heavy things. She's like, I don't have a bag big enough. So what you're gonna wanna do, take off your jacket, preferably your friends, by the way, and then get a little rubber band, attach them together. I don't think a rubber band's gonna work for this, dude. <laughs> just being real here, I don't think a rubber band's gonna do it. And then uh, tie your hoodie, just like that. Flip that bad boy over. Just go ahead and shove all all your books in there. And now you have a cool, stylish backpack. I guess we could uh, call that stylish. Um, okay. I don't think the rubber band's gonna work, but I'll, I'm willing to try, okay? Okay, guys, so here's our hoodie. I no longer wear hoodies. I'm exclusively a jumpsuit guy now. I really don't have any use for this hoodie anyway. Uh, plus, I live in Las Vegas where it's 120 degrees. So, you know, let's go ahead and uh, tie up the string. Nice and tight so nothing can get out of the head hole. And apparently for this one, we just stick our arm through the little pocket and then we use a single rubber band to try and hold it together. I really hope this rubber band keeps it together better than I hold together my life. There we go, just put that back in the pocket. Let's try the old tripod test. But instead of a tiny one, we're gonna use a large tripod. Because in the real world, I feel like I would shove this tripod in my backpack probably, and it would probably be fine. Here we go, just shove this in here. Very nice, very nice. Now I'm gonna wear it as a backpack. The tripod hit my back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump around a little bit. 
Why? This is actually holding together surprisingly well. Like, I didn't think the rubber band would hold on this long. I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. I would have just tied the arms together, but a rubber band, I've never seen that one before. Fantastic five minute crafts. But will it survive this? Absolutely not. So I guess it's not Robbie proof. So for this one, we're gonna want some black cardstock or black canvas, if you will. Get some white paint and then make these shapes. A bunch of ambiguous shapes. Maybe it's a watermelon. I don't know. Could it be a watermelon? Maybe. Then you're gonna wanna grab yourself an airbrush. Luckily, I have one of those. Bring it all in just like this. Oh, wow. These look really cool. Look how bright neon these look. This, this is amazing, honestly. And now you have some beautiful glowing art. It just glows and emits life wherever it is. And I can't wait to own something just like this in my home. So I guess it's time for me to make a piece of art. Okay, guys, so for the craft, they used a little canvas like this. But that's not how we do things around here. We go big. This thing's almost as big as I am. And the first step is to paint it completely black. Mix, mix, mix. 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 Fun fact, this is actually the same paint that I used for Tori's coffin table that I made her. If you guys want to watch that video, you can click right over here. Also, you guys should give this video a big old thumbs up because, you know, this canvas was like $50. Art is truly expensive. And that is exactly why I'm selling this masterpiece for $5 million. Yeah, that ought to do it. 12 seconds later. Okay, guys. So now that this is all painted and dried. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a mushroom. They did a watermelon, but I thought that a giant mushroom would just be so much cuter. So just envision this mushroom onto this canvas, this fresh, pristine black canvas. I'm gonna use this pencil to hopefully make the shape I want. Wish me luck, guys. So now that I have the general outline of my mushroom, I need to go in and paint the outlines white. So now it's time for us to get painting. So I didn't really like how the airbrush was turning out, so I actually ended up using actual spray paint for this. In fact, this is the same color that I used for the craft mystery. I thought a green stem would really go along well with this. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go in and sort of put the white outline around everything. Okay guys, and it's finished. What do you guys think? Is this a work of art? I feel like I could have probably done better. I mean, it looks kind of cool, I guess. I kind of want to add a little bit more color. Maybe some purple. I feel like purple would look really cool. Let's see, do I have any purple? Ah, oh, yes, purple. I think... Or maybe we should go with a blue? Hmm. Ooh, that's a nice blue. Ooh, that's also a nice purple. Maybe a little bit of purple and blue? Oh, I messed up. I mean, it looks cool, but I'm gonna have to redo a lot of the outlining. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Oh my god! So this is how it turned out! Personally, I think it turned out really cool. The main thing I would change, though, is I would probably use all spray paint for this. I kinda wanna make another one in the future, so I know how to make it better next time. But overall, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. And it looks awesome. Okay, guys, it's time to hang it up. Oh, here we go! That's kind of cool. The masks go over. You know, it's a little cluttered, but I think it looks freaking awesome. What do you guys think? Good addition to the craft corner? I think so. Let's do this. 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 Let's freaking do this. What's up, everybody? Robbie Epixos here, aka the Craft King. And today we're doing some parenting hacks, so uh, let's check some of these out. Okay, guys, so you're looking around everywhere for your child, you just can't find them. Well, here's a perfect solution. When you do find them, just attach a bell to their shoe, and then you'll never lose them again. They'll just be making all sorts of bell sounds. They definitely won't try and take it off. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try this out on my dog, son. Okay, guys, so for this one, I actually want to play a little game of hide-and-go-seek with my dog, Ben. Oh, Benjamin! Oh. This is my dog, son, Benjamin. I have attached a GoPro to his back, and 
and he loves snacks. Come here, have a paw. Good boy. Spin. Lay down. Good boy. Okay, now we're gonna play a little game of hide and go seek. You ready? I'm gonna attach the bell to his collar. Before I did this, I actually stopped and I kinda took my time and I made sure that he was comfortable with the bell and it didn't bother him too much. He is kinda still a little curious. He's like, what the heck is this thing? Ready to play some hide and go seek? We're gonna go hide now. You ready? Stay. Stay. No, I'm gonna hide somewhere. Stay, Bench. Stay. <gasps> Red Rover! Okay, round two bench. I want a rematch. Stay, stay bench, sit, stay, stay. Oh, he's coming to find me. I gotta hide from him. I'm hiding in my office. I can hear him. Oh, no, no. Oh, you found me! Good job! Good job! Well, I definitely know when Benj is uh, coming to find me. You guys me to do an entire video where I just play hide and go seek with the bench? Uh, let me know down in the comments down below. I think that'd be a really fun video actually. Okay guys, so you gotta put your kid to bed, but you accidentally wake them up with your loud door slamming. Then they throw a pool noodle at you. You're like, hey, I can use this. So what you're gonna wanna do is cut the pool noodle just like this and put it on your door. And now you'll never slam your door again. It's, it's the perfect way to do it. The door will always stay cracked. So here's our pool noodle. We're just gonna go ahead and cut a little section of it out. We don't need this anymore. Now we're gonna cut a little slit in it. Rip this chunk out. Boom, and now we got ourselves a little door stopper. Let's go try this bad boy out. Okay, let's go ahead and try this first without the door stopper on it. Oh, that definitely slammed. Let's try it one more time for good measure. Yeah, that's definitely loud. Robbie, stop slamming the door. I'm trying to take a nap, man. Uh oh. I'm sorry, intern. It won't happen again. Now let's try it with our door stopper. Let's see, does it fit on there? Oh. It actually fits on there. It kind of matches it, too. Are you guys ready for the slam test? Oh, guys, it made the door stay open. And it was significantly quieter. I guess I'm going to have to say that this one works. So if you're just running around, and then all of a sudden you slip, and you trip, and you fall, but your mom catches you. Oh, thank goodness. Well, uh, I have a solution so this will never happen again. Um, you're gonna want to get some dimensional fabric paint. Frick is that? <laughs> and then uh, just put it on your socks. Make all sorts of fun designs. Preferably at least two, I guess. And now you got some non-slip socks. Dimensional fabric paint, huh? Where the heck am I gonna find that? Where do I even sell that? I've never heard of that. What the heck? Huh. Does it say that? Do you have how many colors do you got? Wait, all those are dimensional fabric paint! Guys, it turns out I have every color of dimensional fabric paint. I didn't even know that that's what this was. But look, there it is. Dimensional fabric paint. I, well, I guess I'm all set to do this one. Okay, guys, so here are our socks. And they're just so slippery, you know? So what I'm gonna do is grab some of our dimensional fabric fabric paint, and we're gonna paint some fun designs on these. But they're also gonna be functional grip. I know, crazy, right? I'm pretty sure that's what the video was trying to say. It was very cryptic, but you know, I think I understood the gist. I'm gonna start off with maybe like some stars. Yeah, that star is not very good, but it's okay. I'm just gonna do a bunch of tiny stars. Then maybe I'll add a little planet somewhere. Here we go. This is gonna be a planet. I think I might've put on this paint a little too thick. Looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry for a little bit. 346 minutes later. Okay guys, it's the next day and these bad boys are nice and dry. I mean, my painting skills could use a little bit of work, but you know, I think they turned out okay. Let's try these puppies on. Oof, okay, so I don't feel like taking off my pants because these socks go all the way up to here. So I'm just gonna put these socks over my other socks. Sockception, if you will. Oh yes, there we go. And another one. What do you guys think about the cool designs on the bottom of my feet? Let's see how non-slip these are. Actually, I'm gonna see how slippery they are without the socks, and then I'll try them with the socks. So I'm taking the socks off. I'm gonna slide in. You ready? One, two, and... So no socks? Pretty slippery. Now we're gonna try them with the socks. You ready? One, two, and... Yeah! 
it's still pretty slippery. So overall, guys, I don't really know what to make out of this, but I'm gonna have to say that it doesn't work. But, I mean, if your goal was to decorate the socks, I guess you can say it does work, because the paint does stick on the socks. So here's how you can make fun little paw prints whenever you walk. First thing you're gonna need is a sponge, draw a little paw print on it, put a little bit of hot glue, and glue it to a piece of cardboard. And then put some double-sized tape on that bad boy, and step on it. And boom! It'll look like you're leaving little paw prints everywhere. It's like you're a wild animal! Plus, you'll know exactly where your kid goes, I guess. That's also um, the main point, I suppose. But uh, uh, anyway. Okay, guys, so here's our sponge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw a little paw. I even have room to do one on the other side. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and cut it out. I feel like I need to cut this sponge in half just because it's way too thick. This is actually a car sponge, believe it or not. There we go. That'll be easier. Ugh, now to carefully cut all these out. Okay, so now that we got these bad boys all done, we're gonna go ahead and grab them, put them to the side, grab ourselves a box, and just take it apart. Cut it in half. And now we're gonna glue our sponge paws on. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. Grab some double-sided tape. Stick that right on there. I feel like I left a lot of extra up here, so I'm actually gonna cut it. Yeah, these turned out pretty good. Let's go try them out. A boobity boo. Now I'm going to carefully put them on my shoes. Looks good. Okay, now I'm going to gently dunk them in this little tin of water. Okay, you guys ready to see some animal paw prints? Oh! Oh! Guys, it's working! Oh! I lost one! Come on! No, come on! Get over here! Maybe I'll try it without my shoes. Here we go. You ready? Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know how I feel about this one. Honestly, the paw print doesn't even come out. Oh, there's kind of one. You gotta do it really gently. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. You might need to use something else instead of uh, double-sided tape. But, I mean, if you can get it to stick to your feet, it's a fun little idea. Okay, so you go to put your little tyke to bed and uh, you try to remove their hair ties, but they just won't come off. Well, what you're gonna want to do is grab some lemon essential oils and just dab that stuff right on there. And it'll just break your rubber bands. Just remove them and you don't even have to wake them up. So I have this giant bag of rubber bands here, and I'm gonna try and put my hair into Liberty Spikes. Would they technically be Liberty Spikes if I use rubber bands? I don't know. I'm gonna make my hair look really funny though, and you guys are about to embark on this journey with me. Okay guys, what do you think? I personally think I kind of look like uh, Cynthia from Rugrats. And you know, this was fun in theory, but I'm really tired of this now. And I really don't want to yank these out because if I do, ah! Okay, that one wasn't too bad. I thought I was gonna lose a lot more hair than that. So anyway guys, the craft calls for lemon essential oils, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna use this lemon juice instead. Yeah, that ought to work. Okay guys, let's try it. I'm gonna go ahead and just dab a little bit on this cotton swab. Oh yeah, just get it all over there. But theoretically, it will just break a rubber band. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Is it breaking? Come on, break. Do I really need lemon essential oil? What's the difference between the oil and the juice? I don't understand. Yeah, that's definitely not breaking. Well guys, it looks like I'm gonna have to keep my hair like this for now. So I'm gonna have to say, with lemon juice, it absolutely doesn't work. Maybe if I actually had lemon essential oil. I'll try that next time. Can't believe my hair's gonna be like this forever now. Also, intern, what are you doing on my desk? Who's throwing the lemon? <laughs> Is giving you such a hard time. They're bothering you while you're driving and you're like, I can't do this anymore. So you grab some markers and you just stick it to your window. And boom, now they have the markers ready to draw all over your window in your car. <laughs> I don't see how this could go wrong at all. Okay guys, so here are our markers. And I don't have any of those suction cups on me. So I'm just gonna use some of this double-sided tape. Flip this bad boy over. And it's all set to be put on our window. Wow, guys! It's actually sticking! Now we can access our markers, just like this. Let's grab a blue. Yes. Now to find out whether you can actually write on your window or not. You ready? You can actually do it! And if I keep it in one spot, it's almost like I'm customizing my other adventure mobile. I can draw like, that's me, in the back of my car. Just poking my head up through the window. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works! Okay guys, is your shirt just uh, too small for you? Well, here's a solution. You're gonna wanna take another shirt and button it to that shirt. And then you just take the arms, wrap it around yourself, and you got yourself a new shirt! I love it, a two-sided shirt to match my two-sided hair. Guys, I'm just 
so sick of my black and white striped shirt. So instead of that, I'm gonna get a black and white fancy shirt. Here we go, just take them off the hangers. Whoa, ooh. unbutton these bad boys. And apparently we're just supposed to button them together. I hope they haven't even, <gasps> the buttons are on the same side. Oh, I guess one shirt's just gonna have to be inside out. That's fine. I need to do this on the table. Okay, so I guess I'll actually flip this one inside out. And now, the buttons will hopefully line up. Okay, so it turns out they actually went together pretty well. Okay, now let's try this bad boy on. This is gonna be interesting. So I guess I put my arm through one of them and then put my arm through another one of them. Oh wait, I'm wearing it backwards. I'm supposed to wear it the other way. Like. Stop. I don't know how I feel about this. Is it supposed to be open back like that? Where's my arm? Okay, I think I got it. So then I pull it around. Wow! Oh my gosh, it works! It kind of looks like a straight jacket, but you know, if this is the look you're going for, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. <laughs> look at that. Black and white, and then I got like black and white striped shirt under. This looks so ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, let's check out the next one. So for this one, we're gonna need some eggshells, crush those bad boys up, put them inside of a bag, get some flour, add some water, add some food coloring, <laughs> mix that bad boy up, just smush it all together, just really smush it. Cut off the tip of your bag and use it almost like a, a, a cream filling dispenser and uh, wait an hour. And now you got yourself a giant hunk of chalk. Wow, this giant chalk works way better than that little chalk. Okay guys, so first things first, I'm gonna need to separate a few eggs. Boobity boo. Six should do it. Okay, I went ahead and rinse these off a little bit. It didn't say to do that, but I just took the liberty of doing it anyway. Now we're gonna put all the eggshells inside of a plastic bag and just squish it up. I could think of to really make this nice and powdery, but it doesn't seem to really want to be breaking down. I think this should be good enough though. We're gonna go ahead and add some all-purpose flour and a little bit of hot water. Oh my gosh, the bag's leaking. I'm just gonna try my hardest to really mix this. Okay, I'm gonna have to use this. Oh, I forgot the food dye. I'm gonna try and make some bright blue chalk. Oh, that might be way too much food dye. Just close that up really good and mix it up in the bag. Oh my gosh, that is turning blue so quick. Oh, I should've wore gloves. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. I already know it. Well, that's some very blue chalk mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tip, grab a paper towel roll, and hopefully all of it should just kind of stay in the bottom and not leak out the sides. It feels like a thick enough mixture to where I think I should be okay. This smells very odd right now. Pushing that clay down a little bit. Now I'm gonna let this dry and sit overnight. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully my hands are not permanently dyed blue. One eternity later. Okay guys, it's been about 24 hours. It still feels a little bit wet, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and tear this apart without breaking it. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Uh, okay, it's not holding up very well. This looks disgusting. It's definitely not hard. It said in the video to only do eight hours. I let it do 24. Okay, I guess it's time for me to use it as chalk now. Um, here we go. Oh, God. Uh, uh. It's just falling apart in my hands. Guys, I'm not really feeling this chalk. I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Man, and I just got a lot of the blue dye off my hands. Ugh. Okay guys, so you're at the park and you got a freaking splinter. Oh! Well, what you're gonna wanna do is grab a syringe thing and just suck that thing right out. And boom, no more splinter. And I'm not talking about splinter from the Ninja Turtles. I'm talking about splinter as in piece of wood. Anyway, let's try this life hack. Okay guys, so I don't really want to just stick a piece of wood in my hands because uh, frankly, they've been through enough today. So instead, I'm gonna use some of this Canadian bacon and I'm just gonna pretend that this is human flesh. Then I'm gonna grab a toothpick and I'm just gonna really get splinters out of it. Just really rub it into our hand. Hopefully we get a nice and big one. There we go. That's a good size splinter. Just shove it right in there. Okay guys, so here's our splinter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take our syringe and simply put it to our skin and try and suck out the splinter. The splinter fell through. Oh no. Okay, I'll try it again. Firmly around the splinter and... I mean, it 
choke it out. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually kinda works. Okay guys, so you're out taking photos and it's just so sunny. You can't get your person to look into the camera and you're just getting aggravated with them and they're getting aggravated with you and you're like, oh, just freaking do it. And they're like, okay. What you're gonna wanna do is grab yourself a piece of paper and start making star-shaped holes in them. This is sure to truly compromise and now you have a very artistic uh, shadows on their face and they're not looking directly into the sun. Okay guys, so here's our piece of paper. I don't have a stamp, so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw some stars myself. Okay, now I just have to cut all these bad boys out. Just gonna go ahead and grab my X-Acto knife, a boobity boo, and now I'm going to carefully cut out all the stars. There we go, one down, a bunch more to go. Okay guys, it's all done. Now let's try this bad boy out. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be giving this photo a nice and suburban feel, this brick wall in the background. I guess I just have to hold this up above my face. Well, let's try it without it first. Oh gosh, I can't see. Uh, that's better. How'd those turn out? I feel like those didn't turn out very well. Now let's try it with this bad boy. Let me take a look at some of these photos really quick. I'm gonna look at some of the ones without the shade. Oh uh, yeah, that's not good. My eyes are closed in that one. Now let's check out some of the ones with the shade. Oh wow, that is artistic as heck. Oh, that's beautiful. Like something out of a movie. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. So you go to serve dinner, it's some fresh, delicious broccoli, and your person's like, ugh. That's gross. What can you do? What do you do? You go and you grab the sprinkles and you just <laughs> put the sprinkles all over the broccoli. Why, why, why? <laughs> why? Why are you like this? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh. Okay guys, so we have ourselves a bowl of freshly cooked frozen broccoli. Mmm, delicious. So I couldn't find any sprinkles, but I found this Funfetti frosting from a long time ago. It's actually about a year expired, so I'm just gonna take the sprinkles from the top of it and uh, just put it right on there. Actually, do sprinkles have an expiration date? According to African Beacon Journal, A. Colored sugar, sprinkles, and other similar cookie decorations have an indefinite shelf life as they are made of pure sugar for the most part. We're good! So I'm just gonna take a little piece and just dip it into our sprinkles. Ooh, look at that delicious little morsel. But how does it taste? I don't like this. I feel very redundant eating this. You take something super healthy like broccoli and now you're just covering it in copious amounts of sugar. Like, it tastes okay, I guess, but this isn't how I would choose to eat broccoli. I'm definitely gonna say that I don't think it really adds that much to it. But I mean, technically, yeah, you can add sprinkles to broccoli and it tastes better, I guess? I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so you're in the car and you're like, oh man, my kid really has to pee. All you're gonna want to do is grab a bucket and just put it in the back of your car. Oh my goodness. Now you have a place to use the bathroom. But won't your car smell like... I don't know how good of an idea this is, but uh, you know what? I guess I'm gonna do it for the sake of the craft. <laughs> okay guys, so instead of defecating in my car, I think we're actually going to... Where's the thumb? And that means I'm gonna need a bucket and the green screen. Just go on my bucket, grab my toilet paper. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that ought to do it. Oh. Okay guys, so here is my luggage. And now we gotta find ourselves some pillows. Oh yes. I'm ready to start my nest. And then we're gonna add a Batman blanket and just put this bad boy right over it. Oh, yes. I'll go anywhere, use anywhere, I'll sleep anywhere. Oh, this is so comfortable. And it has a handle for me to hold on to while I sleep. That's honestly my favorite feature. You ever just wake up and you just have nothing to grab? You're just like, ah, ah. 
Just for those dreams when you're really falling off a cliff, you know? But anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. You can have a functional, stylish bed anywhere you go. I mean, you'll have to carry two suitcases, but that's besides the point. You have a comfy bed, and I'm gonna have to say that this one works. So you mind your own business, and you look at your uh, cap, and you're like, oh no. It turns out you put your pen inside your shirt the whole time. Now you have a crazy stain there. You should've wore a pocket protector, TBH. But what you're gonna wanna do is get some masking tape, lay it out on your shirt, and just paint your shirt blue. <laughs> Duh. Peel away the masking tape, get yourself a fine ruler like this, paint on the edge, try to write down your shirt, and uh, now you have a paper shirt with a little ink blot. Never, who's gonna know? Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. I guess we have to try this one to find out if it actually works. Okay guys, so here's our plain white tee. Not to be confused with the band, plain white tees. Great band, I love your music. If you guys are watching this, senpai notice me. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and grab some tape, and then we're gonna make our line straight across. Now we're gonna get a bit of blue paint and just fill in the lines. Just gonna be really careful to just dab it on there. Now that it's dry, we're gonna take all the tape off. So satisfying. Okay, now we got some pretty neat lines. I messed up only a couple places, but that's fine. Now I'm gonna get some red paint and put it on this ruler. Just carefully dab it on there, just like this. Okay, now we're gonna carefully add the red line. And we slide. Oh, I feel like my table's not even. It didn't get any of the red on there. I almost feel like I should have just drew the red line myself because I feel like that would have been a lot more even, but that's okay. I'm definitely not really a fan of that method, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it all in with a paintbrush. Ugh, the line's so thick down here. This is looking pretty good. Let's try it on. Boobity boo. Oh man, I feel like college ruled paper. Could you guys see this being sold at Hot Topic? Dude, this is great. This is sick. Remember they were doing like the cup shirts? So you guys know what I'm talking about. You see this design, right? But yeah, I mean, it feels topical for school. You could always like write notes on it. This could be fun. Have your friends write all sorts of fun messages on you. You can even do it on the back and do the same thing. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this actually works. I'd say it's actually a pretty cool idea. on forehead. So, uh, you're gonna play blind hide-and-go-seek with your kid. Oh, I got you! I got you! What are you doing? Exactly! Oh, get back! Oh, get back! Get back! Oh. Are you watching 17 Best Parenting Life Hacks Survival Guide for Parents? Priceless Hacks for Parents? Yeah! By T-Studios? Yeah, how'd you know? It says it right there. It's on the screen. Oh. <laughs> Well, in that case, come on, let's do this. Okay, so anyway, where were we? You ready, intern? Yeah. You're playing blind hide-and-go-seek with your kid, and your kid just stumbles over a rock. Bro, she fell straight on her face. That must have hurt. So and then you rush to get them, and they're just, oh, this is when you know you messed up, okay? So we're gonna quickly analyze the situation. She's hurt, he's like, oh, you're so hurt. And then the mom's like, what the heck, what, what were you guys doing? Okay, so she goes and she just falls, she trips on this rock. Right on her face. Right on her <gasps> face. What? What's going on? <laughs> Oh no, what's going on? <laughs> and then the, the dad's like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, she's so injured. Ooh. Oh, how could you <laughs> neglect her? She's like, what? What are you saying? I neglected her? You were playing blind hide go see with her. The mom is just confused. She's like, what did I do? I was just reading my book. And she, they're heated. They're, as you can see, the fire above their heads. And they're just arguing while their kid's just crying. That looks horrible. This is not what to do, Michael. Okay, let's see the proper way to do this. You're like, oh my gosh, she's so injured. And you're just so caring. The woman's like, oh no, a place, you gotta help her. And, and he grabs the first aid kit. He's got the saline solution. Oh my gosh, the saline solution. Okay, so you perform basic first aid. You grab the antiseptic. Is this still basic first aid? This is still very basic first aid. How about the bandage? That's also basic first aid. The calling the hospital. That's just calling the hospital. And they're going to the hospital. Okay, I think I missed a life hack here. This is just, just seems like what to do if your kid gets hurt. And pretty basic knowledge. Michael, did you know that if you got hurt, you're supposed to call 911? Not if I like fell on the ground. I Hello, my intern fell. We were playing blind tag and he tripped on a rock. Oh, my elbow. My elbow, please take me to the hospital. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one probably works. I don't know if I wanna try it. Anyway, on to the next life hack. 
I don't know what these are actually called. Okay, so this is what you do if you get a splinter, okay? If you get a splinter, you're supposed to say, hello, I'm a scary clown man. <laughs> and you dress up in your favorite clown mask. Oh my God, go away from me. And then you're supposed to scare the heck out of your kid until you give them a splinter. Oh, look at that splinter. What are you gonna do? You're gonna cry over it? No. We are responsible people. We're not gonna cry over this. No. We got a life hack for you. You ready for it? Right, you just bleed push all, it. You bleed it all over. It. Bleed all over. You push the splinter in. If you thought you couldn't scare your kid anymore, just grab a needle. Life hack. Just kidding, guys. What you're gonna wanna do is go back in time. Oh, well, let's restart all this. You're gonna want a syringe, and then you're just gonna wanna suck that bad boy out. All Whoa. blood and all. Yeah! Make sure to get your favorite Hello Kitty bandage. Cause everyone carries a syringe when they go out. And give them plenty of kisses. Exactly, you gotta make sure if you're going out to the park with your kids, you bring a scary clown mask in the syringe for these occasions of someone getting a splinter. I mean, I guess that was kind of a life hack. Yeah, how about we play a game? Life hack or not life hack? I like it. I think I'm gonna have to give this point to uh, life hack. The same here, life hack, 100%. High school knowledge. Just like that. I forgot the W. Where? It's a W after not no ledge. Okay, here you go. Life hack or basic knowledge. So, okay, round two. Here we go. Scratches. This is what you're gonna do if you get scratches. She's just going ham. Hey, look at her. Who taught her how to ride a scooter? What's up, boy? I'm just at the park with my girl. And she falls over. Why did you fall over? <laughs> scratches. Oh, my God. Why did you fall over? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Come on, we're going home. Here's what you're actually gonna want to do. You're gonna want to teach them how to actually ride a freaking scooter. And then you let them trip on the rock and then fall over. And then you act more concerned. Oh, here, let me put some saline solution on it. A little bit of anti-set, wait! It feels like we just watched this. This is a classic. This is a good life hack. A bandage? A oh, bandage. I've never heard of a bandage before. Treat your wounds. And then you just walk them home. So what's your guess? I'm guessing that this one is basic knowledge. You know, I'd like to say this one's a life hack because how are you gonna remember to bring your first aid kit to the park with you every time? Now that's a life hack. Bring a first aid kit to avoid injury. Oh, I thought you said your kid. How are you gonna remember to bring your kid every time? <laughs> Robbie has forgotten me in the store a couple of times. That was one time! One time in turn! Okay, it's actually basic knowledge, but I'm trying to be easy on them. Next one. Step on a nail. Fun fact, guys. When I was little, uh, I I used to play with uh, some hammer and nails, um, and I would build all sorts of fun things. I like to say that's what prepared me to be the crafter I am today. You know, I was a dumb kid, and I left the nails out on my lawn, and my mom went to go step on the lawn, and she put her foot straight through a nail. And I felt so bad ever since, and I'm really sorry, mom. Um, and now I try my hardest not to leave nails around. Anyway, this is what you're supposed to do if you step on a nail. Are you ready for this life hack? I'm ready. So is there a way to avoid stepping on nails? No, there's no way. Oh! It hurts. Ooh. Oh, that's smart. That went all the way into her foot. Okay. Oh, life hack. You put the nails away. What? No, I would not have thought of putting the nails away. Oh, my God. Robbie makes us wear the shoes in the craft corner. Life hack. Wear shoes inside your house next time. So, once you cry over it a little bit, what you're going to want to do is grab the first aid kit. Classic. Uh, the classic life hack here. Uh, add some salt water. Wait, do you keep salt water in your... First aid kit? No, I think she brought that separately. Okay, I think this is a life hack though. Okay, dip it in some salt water. Rinsing the wound Rinsing in salt water. Rinsing the wound, but basically what, that's basically saline solution. Oh. That's sal <laughs> is it saline solution really just salt water? Yeah! Oh my God, I even I didn't know that. Here, let's all Google it really quick. What is saline solution? According to Wikipedia, saline is a mixture of sodium chloride and water and has a number of uses in medicine. You know, I'll give it to them because it's a life hack to just use salt and water instead of grabbing saline solution if you don't have any. That's a life hack. If you don't have saline solution, you just make your own. I, I guess. Anyway, so you get done rinsing it with your saline solution. With your sodium chloride and, H, and H2O. What the heck is she doing? I can't see the list. Antiseptic! Oh! 
Oh, they grabbed antiseptic oh. again. Put it on there with a bandage. Oh, a little bit of gauze. Gauze. And hold their face, give yeah. them support. Support. That's nice. Go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. <laughs> Jesus, they go to the hospital for everything. Every little thing. So what's it like having national health care the rest of the world? Just be able to go to the doctors whenever you want? That would be like $2,000 for us. I know, I gotta work a whole day before I could go to the hospital. <laughs> I'll make sure I can afford it. Oh, so anyway, what'd you call this one? Life no, hack. no, but I still They're all basic. Hack. I don't think any of these are gonna be life hacks. They're all basic knowledge but at this point. I literally didn't know what- literally watched the same thing three times. They literally hurt themselves and they use the same things each time. No, but I didn't know what saline solution Look. was or how to make a a replacement. <laughs> anyway, okay, you guys ready for this fun, interesting choking life hack? So you're at the park and your mom's just on the phone. Why is she always on the phone? Oh, look at all these grapes. I would never have the dog here. Two grapes can kill a dog. Okay, so you're at the park and you decide, you know, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of these grapes. So you chuck in the air and you catch it in your mouth, but you choke. Did you say Elmo? Why is, why is Elmo choking? And why is she angry? Why is the mom angry that her child's choking? Why is this the first initial response? I never understand this. Why are you gonna be so mad at your kid when they're choking on a grape? Just give them some attention. They're, they're quite literally dying. Why are you shoving your fingers in her mouth? She can't breathe. So here's what you're actually supposed to do. Um, when they're choking, you get off the phone and you pull all the stuff away from them you know, and you, uh, <laughs> did she put her arms around her neck? <gasps> oh, she put her own hands around her neck. <laughs> You're oh. thinking the mom just I thought like... the mom was trying to choke her out. <laughs> She's okay. choking and her mom's just gonna grab the grape in her throat and just push it out from her neck. I don't know, man. I just think it's like, oh, oh, wow. So yeah, grab them from their waist and you pull <laughs> upward and then it'll dislodge the grape. <laughs> wow, it, and then you saved your child. So again, I feel like this is just basic knowledge. Here. That's just um, basic CPR. Guys, T Studio invented CPR. Oh my gosh. <laughs> T Studio has truly saved so many people's lives, and I, I just want to give my thanks. Thank you so much for literally inventing CPR. It's. Stop! Stop! I was. Bobby! Look, I am calm. I am calm. Electric shock. This but is what you're supposed to do if your child is getting shocked electrically. So, you know, they're just playing around and then they see an electrical outlet. Now they're getting shocked. <laughs> so your parents just casually walk in there. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my electric god. shock. No! And then they oh, don't oh touch god. the patient. And now the dad is getting electric. Look how shocked his face is. <laughs> Dude, everyone is shocked right now. That's crazy. So, you know, uh, the dad is like, oh, I'm, I'm being so shocked. So the mom's like, oh my God, uh, I have to go save you. She's like, oh, maybe if I poke them out of the way, I'm gonna poke them with this, with this uh, metal pole. And then, uh, and, oh, this is gonna work so good. But little does she know that metal poles also conduct electricity. Oh. Oh. Getting shocked. Getting tonight. shocked. Let's go. So we're about to find out how not to get electrically shocked. This is very important, so make sure to pay attention. And also, make sure to hit that subscribe Woo! button. Turn on all notifications. All of them. All of them. Also, give this video a big old thumbs up. You can find it right down there. Uh, slap it. Slap that like button. I bet you can't do it with a metal pole. <laughs> I bet you can't do it in two seconds. Ready? One. Two, did you do it? Oh my gosh, is it too late? Did you did you hit the thumbs up? Okay, anyway, we're about to find out. Let's see what, the, how can we prevent this whole situation from happening? Oh my oh, gosh, they're she's getting shocked. Getting shocked, no, stop. Uh, turn off the flow of electricity. Because your breaker is gonna be right there in your living room. Okay, so why is the breaker in the living room? And also, why is she still getting electrically shocked? I don't understand. <laughs> and then you grab yourself a, a wooden stick instead of a metal stick. And just start poking them. Just poke them <laughs> until they stop getting shocked. No, you remove them. Okay, then you uh, lift them up and then you, so you're giving them CPR. Call an ambulance. And you call an ambulance. 
this feels like a, like, honestly, this kind of feels like a soap opera, bro. Yeah, you know, wait, here is a life hack though, because ambulances cost money in the United States. Call the fire department, they will help you. For free? For free. Whoa! No, you, yeah. The Aren't they all the same number though? No. If you call like a hospital to get an ambulance, that costs a lot of money. But if you call the fire department to come in an emergency, they will do that for free. Life hack! Mm -hmm. So you're not going to want them to uh, be like that. You're going to want to put them in the safe position, uh, shove their arms underneath their neck, and then put their arm like that. That's I don't a know. Recovery position? I don't know how, they, what does that mean? What's a, what's a child recovery position? Just get them a pillow. And then you're going to be like, okay, it's good enough. And then you're going to grab them right away after they're in their recovery position. She looks pretty okay to me. And she's just chilling. She's just tired. This is how you do it. I'm gonna call that basic knowledge. Yeah, I call that basic knowledge too. Basic knowledge. Poke them with a stick. So this is what you're gonna do if you ever get kidnapped. So you're out in public and just some yeah. random strangers like, oh my gosh, I I'm gonna kidnap you. When they grab you, you're gonna bash their head with the back of your head, break their nose. Yeah, get you, you deserve it, man. And just run off. But then where your mom's like, where'd you go? So you're cornered now by the devil man. You gotta run, you gotta run, you keep going. You just gotta keep running. You gotta keep, uh, fake them out. <laughs> Play basketball with them. You call their dad. Tell their dad your daughter just got kidnapped. And you, you fight, you do not. Stop Kick resisting. him in the shins! Just kick him in the shins! Oh, oh man. Oh, oh. Have you been kicked in the shins before, Ryan? Oh, all the time. Yeah? And then you just listen for them, oh, okay? Uh, you're just listening and you're like, oh! Th then you find him. I would probably call the cops. Not gonna <laughs> lie. I hope they do that. Will they do that? No? If I was the parents, I would call the cops, though. Like, there's I would a guy too. on the loose trying to kidnap people. Please, guys, call the cops. Like, 100%. Most of you guys probably have phones. So, yeah. Call the police. I would... Call the cops. Anyway, basic knowledge. So this is what you're gonna do for a sprained ankle. I've actually sprained my ankle before and I'm really interested to see this life hack. So you're walking down the stairs and you trip and you just sprain your ankle. Oh, oh no. no, I sprained my ankle. Uh, and the mom comes. Uh, Look how sprained your ankle I can't believe is. you sprained your ankle. Uh, why, get off me. Why she Why she Cause you're dumb. How do you sprain your ankle? What's wrong with you? Why do you get mad at your kids for getting hurt? They're kids. So this is what you're actually supposed to do. When your kid falls, don't yell at them and hit them. Instead, maybe uh, comfort them and be like, hey, here's an ice pack. Elevate their foot, which you're supposed to do. That way, you know, it, it uh, doesn't get swollen. Put a little ice on it. Mm -hmm. Get some of that icy se uh, antiseptic. <laughs> Maybe some saline solution. No, oh, you get the first aid kit. No. Oh. Is he gonna get the first aid no, kit? No, he's gonna get the bandage. Oh! The bandage! And we got the bandages. Let's go. Oh, this is basic knowledge. You know, it would be a life hack if maybe they- Wait, but now they're going to the hospital. Since they're going to the hospital, this- it feels like they've done the same thing like four times now. <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe kick, if they gave us life hacks, if you didn't have a first aid kit or you didn't have access to a hospital and things like that, that would actually help people. But what is this helping? Who is this helping, Robbie? Robbie, I don't get it. Who is this helping? Who? You guys see what I put up with? This is how to get your kids to do their chores. Or the intern to actually do his work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I need you to step out of the room so I can learn how to manipulate you. <laughs> <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> no, go back, bro. What was that face? Honestly, this is you. <gasps> is it? <laughs> Are you saying I have a big That's face? you. That's you. <laughs> Anyway, comment down below if you think my face is that round. So you're just getting super mad at your kid because- <gasps> What? <laughs> Look at their face! <laughs> no, that's you. That's literally you. <laughs> so you get mad at them and then their kid's like, Hey, I'm gonna mess everything up. <laughs> the More face. <laughs> what the face? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what even? <laughs> And you just get mad at them. You, I would get mad too if my kid was just like, no, I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, I mean, okay, mate, this is the only time we're getting mad makes sense. No, so this is what you're supposed to do, Michael. Help. 
No! no. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. So you're gonna grab some cardboard? <gasps> oh, You've my. done, now that, oh, I have done this one. You've done this to me. It works. If you guys wanna watch that video, you can click right here. No, it's over here. It's over there? It's over here. You can click over there. But yeah, I've totally done this one on the on the intern. I actually remember doing this life hack and it was quite a good one. And uh, let's step back and really just try and reminisce on this life hack. Here you go, intern. I made this for you. This is how you make the perfect fold every time. Bobby, that's impossible. So, boop, boop, and then you fold it like that, okay? That is the proper way to fold a shirt. If you want me to fold it that way, I can. Okay, I'll see you later. Oh, wow, intern. These look fantastic. Oh, okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up or something like this fire right down there. If you guys wanna watch even more Robbie and Intern videos, I actually have an entire playlist that you can watch right here. Okay guys, love you so much, I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ready. okay, bye. Ah! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my totally radical craft corner. And today, we have the intern coming over for a sleepover. Let's do this, 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 let's freaking do this. Let's do this, 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 let Robbie, I'm all ready for the sleepover. Oh, uh, intern? What the heck are you wearing? My comfy clothes. We're having a sleepover, right? Uh, yeah, we're having a, a sleep. I should have worn pajamas. Dang it. Anyway, come on, intern. I'll show you where you're staying for the night. That's the craft mystery. You're going to be staying inside of here. But, Robbie, there's monsters in here. What? There's no monsters in the yeah, craft mystery. There's monsters in here. I want to sleep here, man. Don't worry, intern. I have the perfect solution for you. I'll be right back. Okay, so you're just peacefully sleeping, and out of nowhere, there's a monster! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's so scary! Now you're just so scared of the closet, and you think there's monsters everywhere! Just all inside your closet! What are you supposed to do? You're just up screaming, and your mom's like, oh, turn on the lights! So little Billy, there's no monsters here! There's none! What you're gonna wanna do is grab a spray bottle, and perform some crazy mom magic! Get some googly eyes! Oh, you guys know I have a lot of those! And then put some basic water inside the spray bottle! And you're gonna write monster spray on this bottle. And now you have monster spray. That'll keep the monsters out. Take that, monsters. Get up here, monsters. <laughs> okay, guys, so here is our spray bottle. And then we're gonna need some googly eyes. Oh, yes, yeah, some Toby eyes ought to do. What? What do you mean? Oh, oh my god! My eyes! Oh, oh. oh, perfect. Thank you, Toby. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry, Toby. Your sacrifice was worth it. We got our googly eyes. Just stick them right on there. Guys, I think I'm gonna need some more eyes. What? Here we go. These ought to do it. Yeah, oh, you're about to find out. Oh. So now that I got all these googly eyes, I'm just gonna go and stick them all over this bottle. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we just have to write monster spray on the side. And then we have to fill this bad boy up. They recommended water, but I'm gonna use actual monster. Oh, yes. This is gonna repel the monsters very well. Well, you know, I'm gonna use monster to repel monster. This looks pretty good. Now let's go and try it out on the intern. Here you go, intern. I made you this monster spray. So what does it do? All you gotta do is spray the monsters and then they'll just go there. Okay, I'm going in. Oh, no! Intern, wait, wait, yeah. stop, 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 stop. These are my Halloween masks. What are you doing? I'm getting rid of the monster. These are literally, you don't remember when I made these? These are my Halloween masks. Guys, if you want to check out the video where I made the Halloween masks, you can check them out right here. But Andrew, those aren't even monsters, dude. They're just Halloween masks. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for them smelling kids. Anyway, there's no monsters in here. You're perfectly safe. I'll be back. See you later, okay? Good night. Okay, guys, so it's been about 20 minutes since I checked up on the intern, and I'm getting a little suspicious that he's getting himself in trouble, so I'm gonna go check up on him. Into the darkness we go. Oh, intern! Where are you, intern? I'm up here! Oh, intern! Oh, you're up here? Okay. Oh, what the heck? What are you doing? I'm telling everyone that the intern was here! What? Intern? No! I wanna make my mark on history, Robbie! Intern, you're a guest inside of this treehouse, okay? Yeah! You're a guest inside this treehouse! Robbie, get out of here. This doesn't concern you. Oh. <sighs> I still have no eyes.
And what the heck are these? Those are tally marks for every minute that I've spent in here. What? Intern! Oh my gosh, I can't. Stop! Why'd you. That's my only source of entertainment! You wanna write on something? Yeah! Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, you're just chilling out, and then your kid decides, hey, I'm gonna go and draw on this wall. But just in time, you catch it. Oh, oh what, what are you doing with this marker? So they go to draw on the carpet instead. That's not much better. You try to give them paper, but they just say no! They're like, the walls are just so much better! I feel you, I wanna draw on my walls all the time. Well, what you're gonna wanna do is grab a table, flip that bad boy over, get some saran wrap, and just saran wrap all around that bad boy. And now they have four walls to draw on! Look at that, they can just draw all over their walls! And then when you're done, you can just throw away the saran wrap. Just really add to the mountains of landfill that already exist. So here we are, in my living room, and here's my pizza table that I made from the biggest pizza in Las Vegas and about $500 worth of resin. Right here, because we're gonna flip it over! Gosh, this thing is very heavy. And the underside still looks just as good as the day I made it. Now we're gonna go ahead and wrap it? What if I wrapped it while I wrapped it? That's my pizza table for the intern. I'm gonna hope that he doesn't get burned. Doing crafts with the intern's no concern. Every time I go to the craft court, I'm gonna get burned. By the gun. Oh yes, this looks pretty good. He has four walls to draw. What else could he need? Oh, intern! Come out, intern! I have a surprise for you! You really have to be so loud. Come on, it's in the living room. I want to show you something. Oh, no. Intern, come on! I made you this little room for you to hang out in! Mommy, I'm not a kid. Intern, you don't understand. I made you this room for you to draw in. I should draw? Yeah, just sit in there, and then you just draw on the walls. Oh, it's that easy. Yeah. I'm going to draw a strawberry. Ooh, bro, is it working? Oh, it is working. Oh, my God. Look, I'm putting in the little seeds right now. This is so much fun, Robbie. Oh, my God. But this is going to keep the intro entertained for hours. Well, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one absolutely works. What are you doing? <laughs> One minute, 37 seconds later. When I was a young boy, my father... Hey, Robert, I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just down the hall. Took me into the city to see a marching band. To see a marching band! Man, it's been a really long time, actually. I sung the entire Black Parade song. Oh, intern! What took you so long? Don't ask questions, Robbie. Oh, boy, here we go. Oh, my gosh, what the heck did the intern... <gasps> intern! Uh, oh, my gosh, intern, what the heck, dude? What? You got toilet paper everywhere, man! He just got it all over my bathroom! So what? It's okay, guys. I think I have a life hack for this. Okay, guys, so you're in line for the bathroom, and your kid comes out, and they just have a little piece of toilet paper stuck on your foot. Not that big of a deal, but you're still like, what the heck? You go in, and there's toilet paper everywhere! Oh, my God! You're just, you're just having a conniption fit, and you're like, oh, I gotta teach this kid how to use toilet paper now. Oh, my God! What is she, six? Oh, you have an idea, though. What you're gonna want to do is pull it down to the appropriate length, and then you're gonna put an arrow when to stop. There you go. That's your allotted amount of toilet paper. Paper. I don't want to talk about the politics of how much toilet paper you're supposed to use, but uh, I feel like she's using kind of a lot. Okay, guys, now it's time to put a limit on the intern's toilet paper usage. Okay, guys, so here's my red piece of paper. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and draw my classic red arrow. Does this arrow look familiar? It should, because I use it in almost every single video. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my scissors and cut this bad boy out. Okay, now I have myself a perfectly good red arrow. I'm gonna grab some double-sided tape and just stick it right on the back. Okay, this is perfect. Intern, I need you to come with me to the bathroom right now. Okay. Okay, so intern, you obviously have a problem using way too much toilet paper. Why? Just look at all this toilet paper on the ground. I don't even know. Why is this toilet paper just hanging out of the toilet? I don't even know. Anyway, so I got you this red arrow, and this is gonna be your allotted amount of toilet paper. You understand? Yes, sir. So we're gonna go ahead and smack that right. Oh, oh man. Oh, uh, ooh. Okay, uh... Okay, intern, so that's how much you're allowed to use. See? You just pull the toilet paper down to that spot, and that's how much you're allowed to use. So look, intern, if I catch you using more than that amount of toilet paper, I'm taking away your toilet paper privileges. You understand? Did you just threaten me? Yeah, I did. I'm a smell. Stop this! Stop ah! oh, ah! oh, my God! Ah! So the intern's being
being a little bit crazy today. So I think it'd be a good idea if I made the craft corner a little more safe. So you come home and you're like, oh my gosh, there's so many sharp corners. Oh, you can't have that. She's about to hit her head. She can hit her head anywhere. She can just stun and fall and just hit her knee. Oh, you can, there's just so many possibilities getting hurt. So what is a dad to do? You grab yourself a tennis ball and just uh, cut it in half and stick it on every single corner. Every single corner. Anyway, you put them on every single corner. And now there's no way they can get hurt. This one is too good to be true. Uh, let's go try this. So luckily, I got a bunch of these Tobies. <laughs> what are you gonna do to me? Oh, you'll see. Oh yes, here's one. <laughs> oh shoot. Well, I guess I just gotta do this one now. Oh, there we go. I can't do all of Huggy Wuggy's teeth, but I can do some of them. Oh, this is just a normal tennis ball. Okay, guys, this ought to do it. I think I managed to put a Toby on all the sharp corners. So, oh, intern! Oh, hi, Robbie! Oh gosh, uh, uh, I made the crap corner nice and safe for you. That way you won't bump your head or anything on all the sharp edges. Oh my gosh, that's so nice of you. I was really going crazy for a second there. And I would have got so hurt if it wasn't for these tennis balls over here. Oh my god, everything is so safe now. Oh, and you're done. oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you almost tripped on my carpet right here. Oh my gosh, I did. No second intern, I think I know a life saving life hack for you. You. Give me one moment. So now that all the dangerous corners are covered, you just see something really dangerous. A rug that's been flipped over. Oh my gosh, that's so dangerous. So you just grab yourself some tape and you just tape your rug down. Boom. Oh, crisis averted. No one's ever gonna trip on that rug. So I'm just gonna need some of this tape. Then I'm gonna flip it back over and just put our tape right on the carpet. And now in turn, you'll never trip on the carpet again. Whoa, I was about to fall right on my face. Thank you so much. What would I do without you? Well, now that the craft corner is 100% safe and you're never gonna hurt yourself ever, I need you to uh, clean up some stuff for me. I'm starting with all these paint cans. Well, Rob, I'm not even on the clock today. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll make this nice and fun for you. Give me one moment. <laughs> this fun basketball hoop. Uh, Doesn't it look fantastic? I was wondering what you were gonna do with that. Well, lucky for us, this one just kinda slides right on and it just sticks right there. Now, we just put our container underneath. Like a can. Boom! One in the hole! Whoa, I love basketball! Let's do this! Oh, oh, oh! Who am I? Who am I? Guess, guess! Uh, Air Jordan! No, Michael Jordan! Michael! Oh my That's my God. name. I, I was so close. I'm sorry. Okay, let's keep playing basketball. Oh, yeah. You, missed, you seem to have It's just, uh, oh. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that the intern's actually really gullible, and this one completely works. What's up, everybody? Robbie and Intern here, back to you with yet another segment of the show. This one is going to be called Painting with Robbie and Intern. So, Intern, are you ready to do some painting? Yeah, I really like arts and crafts. This is why I work for you. Well, I'm really excited to start painting with you as well, but before we do that, we actually have to take the proper precautions. That way, we don't get our beautiful clothes covered in paint. Are you ready to see this? Yeah. Take it away, Robbie. So, your kid is just casually painting, and they spill all over the place. Oh, man. So, they just wipe it all over their clothes. And then they're like, you know what? I might as well paint the rest of my clothes. Honestly, I have moments like this all the time. Let me show you something really quick. This is my Canon EOS R6. It was, it was about uh, $3,000 brand new when I bought it. And then like a month after I got it, I thought it would look cooler if I just splashed a bunch of house paint on it. And now, uh, this is what it looks like. Some of the buttons stopped working for a little bit, but you know what? It looks sick. Anyway, totally get where this girl's coming from. But then the mom comes in, she's like, what did you do to your clothes? And she's mad. She's upset. She's like, why? And then she pulls a bag out of her shirt just magically. And the girl's like, what are you doing, mom? So she goes and she puts the bag right on her daughter. And now she's protected from the paint. Oh my goodness. Now she can paint all over herself and she won't ruin her clothes. What a concept. What a concept. So basically, we're just gonna put these trash bags on us. Woo! New clothes. Yeah, so the way they said to do it is just tear a hole for your head at the very top, tear yourself some armholes. Easy enough. And then you just slide it right on. Oh, yes. I'm getting it on. 
These trash bags smell fantastic. Dude, you look like Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, bro. <laughs> I think I'm already Super Saiyan Master now. What are you gonna be a painting master? Okay, in turn, we're gonna have 10 minutes to paint something absolutely mind blowing, absolutely amazing. So here's our painting supplies. We have a good selection of colors. We got uh, red and green, yellow and pink, and, and black, some purple, and pretty brushes. And that's all our colors. Yeah. Okay, bro, no cheating off me, okay? Okay. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to add paint to Oh, green. yes. I can feel the color. Stop, you're getting it on me. That's exactly why we have these protective clothes on, buddy. It didn't cover my pants. Stop. Stop, you're yelling at my face, Robbie. My arm is an unstoppable force, okay? I'm stealing some of your paint. Stop, you're cheating. I have to be one with the paint. It's ah! beautiful. I need some of this color as well. Here we go. Oh, no. Stop making such a mess. A little bit of this. You're getting it all over. A little bit of that. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Okay. Uh, mm. Stop! You're, gonna, you're cheating. I want to borrow some of your paint. Stop. I need some. I need Stop. some. Okay, guys. Time's up. Intern, are you ready to show me what you got? I don't know, Robbie. I'm a little nervous. Why are you being so nervous, man? Because you really went hard. Oh, I did. I, this is probably my best work ever. Anyway, are you ready to do the big reveal? Okay. One, two, and oh, no, 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 no. before we do that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this. You can find it right down there. And if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to let me know down in the comments down below. I'm going to be responding to the first 100 comments. Okay, you guys ready to see the big reveal? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, intern. That's beautiful, man. I drew you, but it didn't turn out as good as yours. Yours speaks mastery in, on, on several levels. Thank you, intern. I, I drew you right here, and this is me, and we're holding hands, and we're just out dancing and prancing around. I thought it was a perfect representation of our friendship. That's so sweet. No, I didn't draw myself. It's just of you. I truly hope that it feels like it captures your beauty, Robbie. Oh, intern, it's beautiful. Here. Are you sure? I'm here, you have my and I'll take yours. Oh, intern, I love this. I will keep it and I'll treasure it forever. Thank you so much for giving me yours. I'm honored. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. And uh, let's go on to the next craft. You broke it. <laughs> oh, how's it going, intern? Pretty good. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I'm just eating my McDonald's French fries. Are you sponsored? Can I have one? Oh, uh, no. These are my French fries. But I want some. No, they're just so fresh. Do you hear the crunch? Oh, God. oh, these are really stale. Here, have this beautiful apple instead. Oh, dude, I don't really like apples. They always get stuck in my teeth. Intern, that's not good. You need to eat healthy. You need to eat your apples. But I don't want to. Well, guys, I think I know the perfect trick to get the intern to eat his apples. Here, let me show you. Bobby, I'm right here. I can hear you. What you're going to do is cut up the apple to look like french fries. So in turn, it feels like they're actually eating McDonald's french fries. But in reality, they're actually eating apples. That was so delicious. But the, it doesn't look like the dad liked it very much, though. Honestly, what the heck is with this mustache? I feel like I could pull it off. I mean, uh, not wear it. I mean, literally, I feel like I could pull off his mustache. Just go... Okay, guys, so we get my little McDonald's fry package. Dump out all the fries. And then we get our apple. We're just gonna slice this bad boy up. And then carefully put our apples into the french fry holder. Wow, look at these absolutely beautiful McDonald's french fries. Let's go try this out on the intern. Okay, intern, I'm back, and I got you this gift. Apples in a... No, 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 Those aren't apples. Those are 100% real McDonald's french fries. They're delicious. <laughs> Robbie, I'm not done. These are apples in a french fry box. The skin is on it. Like, it doesn't not look like french fries. Just try it. It's, it's delicious. Wow, these taste like apples. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works because now the intern's actually eating his apples. Bro, it doesn't look like French fries. But you wow, gave it the best of the day. Because you told me to. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Bro. <laughs> Okay guys, so it feels like something's been bothering the intern lately and it doesn't seem like he feels like he can talk to me. And that's why I'm gonna pretend to be one of the most understanding people that he's ever met, Tori Dabransky. 
I just have to cut out her face very carefully. I'll keep the hat in, that way she seems more approachable. Ah, uh, yes. Perfect, just like ever, Tortobrans. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue it to some cardboard. A hoobity boo. And I gotta cut out the extra cardboard. I should have probably waited to cut out her face after I did the cardboard, but it's okay. Okay, here we go. Now we have a perfect Tori Dabransky face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some rubber bands. I'm gonna use these to keep the mask on. One here, and one on the other side. Add a little string. Okay, yeah, and this ought to do. Let's try it on really quick. Oh yes, a perfect face if I ever saw one. I definitely think this one will work. Let's go try it out on the intern. Oh gosh, I really wish I cut eye holes actually. Is that you, intern? Oh my god, Tori Dobransky, what oh. are you doing here? Oh hey, intern, how's it going? Oh, I just saw you were really sad and I wanted to see what was wrong because I'm Tori Dobransky and I'm really caring and stuff, I guess. Well, Robbie, I mean, Tori, what's really going on is Robbie's been treating me like a kid all day and it's so exhausting like not only that he's been stinky and he's been annoying and he's been like a giant turd i just can't handle it and it makes me sad well i'm glad you said all this stuff to me and her it really makes me happy to know all this and her, it was me the entire time you think i'm stinky what i thought it was tori and she just had a really bad cold uh, I, I did Mean it. That was mean, Mintern. I've been trying to hang out with you all day. You've been bullying me all day. I've been, I've been hanging out with you. I've been coming up with these fun games. Anyway, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say how this one works. The intern actually thought I was Tori Dabransky. Oh, hey, intern. How's it going there, buddy? Yo, it's going pretty good. What's up? I just feel really bad about how you feel like I treat you like a child. And I got you this cake to try and make up for it. Thank you so much, Robbie. Wait. Isn't this Tori's cake from her birthday party three weeks ago? Uh, yes it is, but that doesn't make it taste any less sweet, you know? You know, I appreciate the sentiment, and I think that's what matters. Yeah, no problem, buddy. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. what are you doing with those knives there, buddy? I was gonna cut me a slice of cake? No, uh, okay, get away from the knives. Why, uh, I'm not here. Kid. One second, uh, I have a solution to this. I'll be right back. It's your daughter's ninth birthday, and she's just so excited. Your mom goes away for one second, and she's like, ah! I want to cut the cake. No, you're not allowed to cut the cake. Don't do that. Instead, here's what you're gonna want to do. Grab some cardstock, fold that bad boy in half, fold it paper airplane like this, I guess. Then you fold it this way, this way. You do a bunch of folds, okay? And now uh, you make yourself a little knife handle. And now you got yourself a paper knife. There you go, a perfect knife for your uh, eight-year-old daughter to cut her own cake with. And the, the mom's so mad, she's like, hey, you can't let her, you can't let her cut the, the cake with that. Like, oh my God, you did so good. Thank you so much for being safe and practical and not putting our daughter in jeopardy like you've been doing all day. Man, this girl, we've been just all set. Like, I didn't even know it was her birthday today. And they're coming in with this. Honestly, these parents didn't just surprise the girl. These parents surprised us all. And I think this is something that we have to truly appreciate. Call your mom. Call your dad. Tell them you love them. Anyway, let's go do this craft. Okay guys, so here's our paper. First thing we're gonna wanna do is fold it hot dog, and then paper airplane, a little more paper airplane, and then we opposite fold it paper airplane, just like that. Fold it one more time for good measure, and then simply fold it over itself, just like this. Actually, I don't know if we're supposed to fold it over itself or not, but I did. This doesn't look correct to me, and it's not holding together. And then I guess we fold the handle over like this, and now we have ourselves a perfectly good knife. Let's go give it to the intern. Here you go, intern. I got you an intern friendly safe kitchen knife. This just looks like a piece of paper. Ah, uh, you're right, intern, but um, it's a very sharp kitchen knife. Go ahead and slice yourself a piece. All right. Wow, it's working so great, Robbie. Dude, come on. That's not how you, why are you jacking? Bro, I can't cut it. Wow. I literally can't. You just give me a piece of paper. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, doesn't work. Dude. Anyway. Dumb. 
Oh, hey, intern. It's getting pretty late. Are you ready to go to bed? No, I'm scared of the dark, Robbie. What do you mean you're scared of the dark? I mean, I'm scared of the dark. I mean, like, I, how do I have to explain? I'm scared of the freaking dark, Robbie. Well, I mean, considering you're gonna be sleeping in this dark craft mystery, I could see how that would be a bit of a problem. One second, I think I have the perfect craft for this. So we're about to learn how to make something really awesome, guys. First, you're gonna want a water bottle, preferably empty. Fill it with some fairy lights, and put double-sided tape all around it. And then you stick on a bunch of polyfill. That looks like a beautiful glowing cloud. Add some glow-in-the-dark stars. She's like, no, don't turn off the light. But don't worry, you have a night light now. Oh my gosh, how neat is that? It looks like I'm gonna need to find some stuffing. Okay guys, so here's our jug. And then we get some double-sided tape and just start putting it all around. I'm going overboard with the double-sided tape because I have no trust in it. And now I'm gonna grab some polyfill and just stick it right on there. Oh, wow, actually, it's sticking on pretty well. Just cover it completely in our polyfill. Maybe shove some inside the milk handle to really get it in there. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is put these lights in. Go ahead and put them right in there. There we go, and just like my YouTube career, this cloud is slowly falling apart. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Oh, wow, I can do multiple colors. I'm gonna do blue, because I feel like blue looks really nice. I'm gonna turn off all my lights just so you really see how good this looks. Wow, this is fantastic. I mean, besides the fact that all the polyfill keeps falling off. Now let's go give this to the intern. Oh, here you go, intern. I have the perfect solution. What's this piece of junk? I made you a glowing cloud, you see? It actually does look like a glowing cloud. I mean, maybe not this side. This side kind of looks ugly, but this is very pretty, Robbie. No problem. Now you can sleep in the dark in peace. Nice. You want to go to bed? Yeah, let's go put it in the Christmas tree. Yeah, come on, Robbie. Let's go to bed. This is a sleepover. Oh, uh, you dropped some of it. Oh, wow, intern. It really does look comfy in here. It is. Yeah. Yeah, come on, man. Let's Here, go I'm gonna turn off the light. Let's see how it looks without the light on. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, wow. Let's turn it over so we don't see the bottle. Well, oh, uh, more bottle. Uh, it's good enough. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna say that this one actually works. Well, you guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Also, some of this by right down there. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. And if you guys want to watch even more funny videos like this with the intern, I actually have an entire playlist that you can watch right here. Here. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. I'm Renetti. Okay, bye. Oh. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey. Robbie Epic Sauce here back to you with another video. And today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing Roblox versus Roblox in real life. Did you say Roblox? Yeah, I did. Do you want to play some Roblox versus Roblox in real life with me? Yeah. Oh, Robbie, we're in Roblox. Oh. I know. Look at it. We're in a magical oh. Roblox world. Oh. Okay, I think the first game we should play is Pink. Okay, that's the first one we're gonna play. I guess we're playing Piggy. Okay, so here I am. Once again, a whole nother. How do you run? Oh my god, is that Piggy? Don't run away from that. What is that? Is that a Piggy? That's a Piggy. Oh, jump over here. We can get away. Oh no, we can't get away. We're stuck. Oh, I died. Become a ghost? Where are you? Why am I so short? Dude, you've always been short. Wait, so were you Piggy the entire time? No, I'm not Piggy. I'm the Piggy the entire time. Your hat looks dumb. You look dumb. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no! no you've been yeeted! <laughs> Let's hope you last longer in real life. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna find out who is gonna become the Piggy for this round. You ready? Yeah, uh, just like the Roblox game where you just randomly become Piggy? Yeah. Whoa. We're gonna find out in three, two, one! I guess I'm gonna have to say that that's oh, works. oh gosh. Okay guys, so now we're gonna be playing a crazy obstacle course. This one's the craziest. It's the highest rated on Roblox. Oh my oh, god, just, just died already. already. Oh, I thought that was the floor. Robbie, why don't I have a shirt Get on? Get out of my way. No. I'm gonna win. I'm winning I'm you. Me the platypus? Me the platypus. I'm not 
not very epic gamer. Well, Robbie, you have like no oh, V bucks. You're so bad. You know, I think Bruno from Encanto doesn't talk about you. No, oh, come on. <laughs> That's how bad you not are. Not Encanto. You can't bring up Encanto. We don't talk about. Oh my God. How did I die? You might not make it. Some of those. It's like Squid Game. What? Yeah, some of those pads can no. kill you. Yeah, you'll just, just don't die. Talk on the pads. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I exploded. I think this. No, I keep dying. Come on, just make it to this red thing. You don't have to do I it can't again. Believe I have to be the epic gamer. Just walk. Just walk. It's not that hard. I don't know how to walk. <laughs> Robbie, it's not that hard. Just keep walking. Don't stop. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I did it. Good job. Same thing here, I guess. I'm walking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Oh. I was just gonna tell you to go without, go with me. Oh, wait, get out of my head. You have to go underneath. Oh, no. I think you're gonna I don't fall. like this. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do this obstacle course. Come on. It's like walking on the tightrope. Oh, I did it. Just, just do a little. Careful, Rob. Careful, Robbie. Robbie, careful. Shut careful, up. Careful, Robbie. Robbie, careful. Careful. Careful, Robbie. I'm being careful. Oh my god. <laughs> you died. Yeah. How much you want to bet you're gonna die? Oh. Oh, dogs. <laughs> oh, I mean, better than you. Uh, look at that epic gamer moment. Wee, Robbie, I made it wee, so far. Wee. Yeah, I, I just, I'm down to go play this in real life now. Okay, guys, so for this one, we're gonna have to go from the skateboards over to the bean bags. And then after we get on the bean bag, we jump onto the mattress and through the gingerbread house ball pit. Once we go through there, we have to go through these racks. They're very small. And then we have to come through this little window, and then we have to shoot ourselves a basket to open up this wall, wander through the mystery. Hallway. Ooh. And then we find our way to our very special guest who's gonna present us with 10,000 Robux! Okay, intern, are you ready to start, buddy? Yeah! Okay, we're gonna start here in three, two, one! Oh, don't go yet! I need you guys to hit that like button. We're gonna be getting 10,000 Robux, so make sure to hit that subscribe button because I upload every single Saturday. Okay, guys, we're gonna start now. You ready, intern? Yeah! Three, two, one! And <laughs> You're like a freaking ninja. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, now we have to go through the ball pit. Do you think you can handle this intern? This is such a tiny space. Do you want to go first or should I? I'll squeeze through it. I'll go, take go, this go, go, go. Oh, Get in there. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh my god. You're doing it intern. You're almost there. Okay. Robbie, you could do it. I believe in you. Okay, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump straight through. You ready? Yeah. Oh, 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 Robbie! <laughs> well, that was flawless. I did it. Okay, now let's go on to the, the next obstacle. Okay, so we have to make it through these crates. We'll try it as a team. I don't know what we can do, Michael. Oh, it's so it's a tight fit, bro. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, we're making it. We did it. We went through. Oh, Ben, you made it too. Good job, buddy. Now we have to go through this window. I'm tired of squeezing through places. Okay, it's an easy one. You just gotta get one foot. Just go. Huh? I think I can do it. Intern. Oh my god! Oh, I got you! Oh my god! I got you! Oh. 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 Teamwork! Oh. Teamwork! Oh. I'm leaving you, intern. No! You have to stay there. No, I'm not gonna stay there. Oh gosh! Oh god! Oh no! I'm sorry, intern. I didn't actually want to betray you. I thought you could do it yourself. You're a traitor, bro. No, I don't trust you hey, anymore. Hey, no, give me another. No, stop. No, I don't trust you anymore. I'm going to get through this and win that 10,000 Robux for me. Hey, I'm going to get those 10,000 Robux, okay? Okay, but before we do that, we have to make sure we, we do a, a slam dunk into this hoop. Grab some of these clothes. Okay, I'm going to get them for you, intern. <laughs> that wasn't a slam dunk. Oh, I got through the wall. I'm going through the mystery hallway! Cheating. Through the mystery hallway! Oh, you're about to slam down! Oh! Oh. I had to come back, and I had to witness your glory of the awesome slam dunk. Don't touch me! Okay, anyway, we're going through the mystery hallway! Going through the mystery hallway! Whoa! Oh, oh my gosh! It's Encanto from Bruno! Oh, 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 yes, it 
as I in cut up a bit. What? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh, Santa, what? I knew something fishy was going on. He smelled like eggnog and candy canes. Ah, oh, drat. And I would have run away with it too if it weren't for you kids and your meddling dog. Oh, Bench. <laughs> you did it again. Oh. Wait, then who gets the 10,000 robots? Oh, it's me. Uh, these are my robots. <laughs> I risked it. Okay, guys, so now we have to escape from Bruno, giant headed Bruno. Oh my god. Bruno! Where are you? Robbie, where are you? Uh, I lost you. Uh, Robbie, you I'm waiting it. for you. You deserve it. There you are. Roblox. Oh, oh, my oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, Bruno. You can't get me, Bruno. You can't get me, bro. You can't get me. Oh, I am so. Oh, they're looking at me. You can't get me. Look at him. Look at him. Bruno, get away from me. I'm trying not to talk about you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, Bruno, there you oh, are. We're going into the next world. Oh, Bruno, get out of my face, bro. Oh, that's how you kill Bruno. Okay, let's go get Bruno. Are you ready to get Bruno? I guess. Oh my gosh, okay guys, we're gonna find out who's gonna be Bruno and who's gonna be the one trying to get past Bruno. Ready, we're gonna spin for this one, spin. Stuff. It doesn't even look like Bruno at all! Guys, I couldn't find my cloak, so we're just using this Batman costume that I made out of an umbrella and an old sweatshirt. Okay, are you ready for me to try and get past you? See! Oh god. Okay. Okay, guys, so just like the Roblox game, I'm gonna have myself a gun. No. And I have to get past Bruno here. We couldn't find a flamethrower, so he's just gonna be as he is. This one was kind of dumb. Okay, guys, now we're playing some Poppy's Playtime, uh, aka not Pop Poppy's Playtime. Uh, we couldn't afford that uh, in this episode. Not in the budget. Maybe, it, maybe next time we'll try so it. So I'm gonna go for the 18 seconds. Wait, Michael, where are you? I'm here. I'm How here do I get you. out of it? How no, do I get, don't get out of it? Poppy, don't get out of it. Press the leave button. That's all I need to no, do. No, don't leave. Let's we play the game people? together. They can't join us because it's only two people. Oh, I want to leave. Robbie, don't leave. Please don't leave. Okay, I have okay. no friends. How do we play this? 15 years ago, a tragic accident broke out at Floppy. Everybody disappeared without a trace, leaving behind only a single clue. Just one clue? A flower. One oh. flower. Since then, the factory was abandoned and left to rot. Oh my god. Until today. Today. Wow. FPS. Uh, Roblox. POV Roblox. I've always wondered what it looks like when you jump. Wow. And then it says we can go through here. So go let's where? Go. Where'd you go? Where'd you Over go? Over here, Robbie. Oh, we need a hand. We need to get a hand. No, no, give me another hand, not that. Okay, but we have to find a hand? We need to find a hand, yeah. Like a, like a grappling hand. Okay, so I think we, uh, here's a code. Five. Oh, I found the door. This door opened. Wow. Oh, a key. I got a key. Oh. I got a key to the gift shop. Come oh. on. Oh, take me to the key to the castle, Michael. Let's go. Where's the gift shop? Oh, over here, over here. Where are you leading? We, we just went in there. No, yeah, but I have the key now. Okay, fine. Okay. So we need to go to a vent. Yeah. Wait, I need to vent? Need to oh, my life is so hard, and this chair is just also so hard, and this game is so hard. Among Us. The vent's open. I broke it. Oh, my God. You got into the vent. Yes, I'm venting. Oh, my God. I'm you so are sus. among us, aren't you? You are so <laughs> oh, I oh. I fell through. You're Where is this? 4219, do you see this? It says new security code. Can you remember that? Yes. I'm going to take a photo of it. Okay. Yes, I put in the code, Robbie. Put in what the was code. It? What was it? Okay, okay four, two, one, six, nine. 69? No. Robbie, this isn't time to play. <gasps> the arm. No, it's mine. What is this? Your arm. We got the arm in the vent. You got it. What am I supposed to do? Remember the handprint? Please. Come here. Let's go back. Whee! I can grab onto you. No, don't grab onto me. Get over here. Grab onto that. Hey, no, so Robbie. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. Oh, 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 you're opening it. Unlocking. Unlocking. It opened. Oh, floppy. Hey, hey, high five. Floppy high five. High five. High five. 
Wait, you get one too? Yeah, I thought I was special. No, Robbie, you're not special. Oh. I see. So I have a hand and you have a hand. I think I think that that's all we need. I think we won the game. We beat the game. <laughs> we just need to get a hand. I remade that joke. I remade that joke. You stole my joke and you didn't think it was funny. You can't do the joke and then say it's not funny and then do it. Oggy Wuggy! Oggy Wuggy! Can we just play this in real life already? I think we should just play it in real life. Oh my gosh! Okay, we're gonna be playing some real life floppies playtime. And uh, how do we summon Huggy Wuggy exactly? I heard on Roblox that if you say Huggy Wuggy three times, three of them? just three times, he will come out of your closet. Really? Okay, let's do it. Huggy Wuggy! Huggy Wuggy! <laughs> We win. How do we win? He's really slow, so why don't we just go back in the craft corner and just lock him out? Oh, okay, that's us. Ah! Oh. Well, guys, I got something I have to say that this game actually works. Ah! Okay, guys, now we're playing. The floor is lava. The floor we is have to lava. Get off of the floor and pretend that's lava. Uh, I'm on top of a tower. Right now, you're so jealous of me. Which tower are you on top of? Oh, I don't want to tell you, but there's Whoa. lava coming in. I have this whole thing to myself. Okay, I'm gonna come and see you. Oh my god. Do, 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 do. Oh, Robbie, you can swim in the lava. Really? Yeah, to go swim in the lava. It's because I have pink hair? No, try it. Try swimming in the lava. Watch, you get a gift. You get I feel the... like I'm winning. Oh, I got transported. Robbie, get to the top. How do I climb? Robbie needs to hide somewhere to hide. Robbie, climb up somewhere. Get on top of something. Okay. Oh my gosh, the lava just rises and rises. Oh my god, it just keeps going up and up and up. Yes, yeah, so you gotta get super high. Oh, we won. Victory Screech. Victory Screech. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we understand how to play this game. Let's play some Floors Lava in real life. Let's go. Woo. All right, guys, so now we're gonna be playing the Floors Lava. The goal is to get back to the craft corner without touching the floor. Are you ready to do this? In I don't want to die. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, the intern also has a camera, and we're gonna be racing. You ready? I'm ready, Robbie. I am so ready. Three, two, one. one. Okay, go, 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 go. Hey, hey, which way are you gonna go? Which way? I'm gonna go, go through here. I'm gonna go forward. Okay, go. I only move forward. Do it. Ooh. Okay, jump on this mattress, <laughs> sucker. I'm gonna take this way. Okay, and I'm on this chair. I gotta hop to the other one. <laughs> then hop onto the booster cooler. Oh gosh. <sighs> Cool. And then I'm gonna simply push off the wall. Oh gosh! Now the chest lined up right in front of me, so I'm gonna have to get through this. Okay, okay, guys, I got my one wheel. I'm a master one wheeler, guys. I have to jump down to these chests. We're on my one wheel. We got this. Oh, oh, guys, I'm doing it. I'm one wheeling. Oh, but I have an obstacle. Oh, Ben, she doesn't like it. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh, hippity, hippity hop. Oh, to the to the kitchen counter right here. Okay, there we go. Now there's a stool right there. Okay, guys, we're good. I didn't touch the floor. Oh, the crack corner's right there. It's just one step away. Intern, where are you, buddy? I'm here. I'm in the kitchen. Are you okay? The intern's way over there, guys. There's no way I could lose this one. Oh, I got on the stool, guys. I'm so scared right now. Okay, okay. Gotta get on this other counter. I see it. Oh no. Another stool. I hate these things. I'm only one step away. I'm just gonna savor this moment. Oh, you know, that stool. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna go slow. I remember five minutes ago when I devised this plan. Okay, almost there. One more counter. I made sure to put my one wheel there the entire time. So the intern had no idea. I wanna get out of the kitchen. I hate these stools. I hate them so much. They're so scary. Some people may say it was cheating, but I say it was just a clever tactic to win. Now, there's a little chest I gotta get on. Oh, but it's a little bit of a drop. Ah! Oh, this is scary. This is so scary. This is far. Yeah, you can see, guys, the key to winning is to have that winning mindset. And when you win for yourself, you win for everyone. Okay, I'm going to jump onto the chest. The farthest jump of this game. And... Oh, I did it. Oh, I was so scared. 
the intern's coming close. You gotta get on the couch. Now this is the easy part. This is a living room. Look, guys. Whoa! Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Oh shoot, there's a chair. There's a chair with wheels. Even better. Oh, the intern's coming close. So if I get on this chair, maybe I could like swim in the lava. There's no way he's gonna be able to get all the way over here. I could row this chair in the lava. Oh, he's getting close. Intern! Bobby! I've been wasting so much time. This is so hard. Oh my gosh, the intern might actually have a chance to beat me. Guys, this was a bad idea. Intern! I'm gonna beat you, intern! Okay, so my feet are touching the floor. They're on the chair. Here we go. And now, I'm just gonna push myself. One small step for man. I'm gonna abandon the bat. One large step for the craft king. Intern, are you ready for me to win? I'm no. about to win you, intern. Ready? In the craft corner's the safe zone. In three, two, one! How'd you get there that fast? Crab King! Wait a second, I have an idea. You lost! So the game's over? Yeah, the game's over. I won. And it's time for me to get my 10 million Roblox, guys! This is dumb. Like, how was I supposed to get to that store? Robbie, you're a cheater. Okay, let's play the next game. Okay, guys, so now we're playing some hide and go seek. We never played hide and go seek before. This seems like a really fun game. I can't believe Roblox invented this game. Whoa, Robbie, where are you? Should we hide together? No. No? Okay. Never hide together. A giant bicycle! Come on, let's go to the giant bike. Let's hide there together. Oh my god, a giant I get so, oh dude, I bet it's so bright. Can you turn this on? I can't. I don't know how to turn, use a flashlight. Oh, back here, back here. Go, 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 go. Robbie, come on, get up here. Oh, I'm gonna hide in this hole. Come on, run, 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 run. Robbie, you're, you're you guys, Oh my god, I got a Roblox. A Robux. They're called Robux. I got Robux. Run, it's hiding behind that TV. There's a guy who's it. I have to be away from that guy. Yeah, Ted, back here, I want to be out in the open. Plug. He'll never know. Hide in plain sight. You're a genius. I like walking like this. Dude, you have to learn how to walk like this. Okay, wherever you are, get into the wall. Oh, no, move. Dude, I think we're good. We're never going to get caught. <gasps> oh, we can get on the bike. You can get on the bike. Oh, my God. You're going to teach me how to ride a bike? Yeah, come on. Oh, oh he got stuck in the, in the pedals. How do I get out of here? Oh, my God. Rest in peace. Rip, rip, rip. Robbie, rest in peace. Robbie 2022. Oh, oh, I can climb on top of you. Oh, dude, I'm never getting caught. You know, just like that. Transport me. Transport you? How am I supposed to transport you? This bike's too big. Ah! I could ride my ah, I fell too. Oh, it's the guy who's in. Wait, is he coming? Yes. Oh, my there God. He is, there he is. There he is. Do you think he'll catch us? Robbie, we're like the, the, the two people in Titanic. Oh! He's so short. He's down there. I think he's gonna come up and get us. No, he's really bad at this. Four, three, three two, two, one! You yeah! won! Okay, I think I get the point of this. Let's go play some real hide and go seek. Okay, guys, now it's time to play a fun game of hide and go seek. Have you ever played this game before? Yeah, when I was very little. I did. Okay, well, it's very simple. I'm gonna go hide. You're gonna see, and I'll see you later. Into All right, play. I'm bringing this. You got your own camera. I'll see yep. you later. Y'all right. make sure to count, okay? You got to count to 20. 20? Okay, I'll, I'll see you in a second. 20. If I remember how. One, three. Time for me to hide. <laughs> two, five. You'll never find me upstairs. Uh, six, eight, <laughs> 11. 15. Where did I even go? 21. A classic spot. Oh, yes. I did it. Ready or not. Here I go. Here we go. Oh, God. I'm coming, Robbie. I'm going to find you. Shh, guys. I can't believe the intern's coming. Come on, Ben. Help me find Robbie. I hear him coming. No, Ben just does not want to help me. Robbie, where are you? Robbie, are you in here? Hello? I hope the intern doesn't come through that door. I don't think he's in the craft mystery. Guys, I'm so scared. Robbie, I'm coming. Is Robbie up here? Robbie, up here? Robbie. I really don't know where Robbie is right now. Where could, where could he be? Could Robbie be behind this bear right here? I see a camera. I oh, see you. No, no. Tag. Oh my God. I got you. Oh. I found you. Oh, the bench found me too. Well, I guess it's time for me to find you. Ah! Intern, I can't believe you found me, but you cheated because you have the bench on your side. No, it did, the bench did not help. You went the complete opposite direction. What bench? But bench is the best hide and go seek finder. You were on my team the entire time, Ben. You help oh. me win! But I want to hide now. It's my turn. Okay. And you can't use the bench. What? I'm using the bench. Okay, go hide. I'm gonna catch a 20. I'll see you in a second. You have to 20! Oh. One, oh. one! Two! Three! I'll come up here. No, actually, even better. Five! Six! Nineteen! Twenty! Ready or not, here I come, intern. 
Where is he, man? Where can he be? What are, what are your senses telling you, huh? Pointing to the crack mystery. Oh, wow, Bench. You're saying he's in here? What's in there, boy? What? There's nothing in here, Bench. You're saying there is? Gotta be. Up here? Was it up here the entire time? I can't even hear anything. Hello? It's so dark in here. One second, guys. Let me turn on a light. Bench, there's nothing in here, boy. Wait, what? There is? Oh my god, it's the intern! That cheating, you were using the bed! Ben, thanks for helping me find him, buddy! You did so good! You're the best hide and go seek finder ever, buddy! We found you! That's unfair! Ben, we found you! I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you, and kid, and your dog. Oh, okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Or something like this, but right down there. If you guys want to watch me play hide and go seek with the bench, I need as many comments as possible, so let me know down in the comments down below. And if you guys want to see me do even more Roblox, hit that subscribe button. I upload videos every single Saturday and sometimes even more often. Thank you guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. How are Okay, bye. Oh! Watch more videos with me and the intern. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're playing another fun and exciting episode of Cake or Fake! As always guys, feel free to play along and let me know your score down in the comments down below. I wanna know how many of you guys beat me. Okay, let's start this Cake or Fake. First item, a camera. I'm guessing that this one is in fact a cake. Oh, I've never seen a camera get cut that easily. And it is in fact a cake. That's a freaking cake! So that's one point for me. Round two! This nice collection of peeps. I'm guessing that these are in fact a fake. AKA these are real peeps? Well, we're about to find out. Oh, those cut really easily. And they were on fire. What? Wait, were they a cake? I'm so confused. I don't know if they were a cake or not. It burnt right through. Was a was the knife on fire? I'm guessing that this one is in fact a fake. So I'm gonna give myself a point for that one. Cause I don't see any cake inside of these bad boys. Okay, now we have this beautiful chicken dinner. We got some potatoes and we got an apple. I don't think I quite understand the whole apple part, but I'm gonna guess that this one is in fact a cake. And the answer is... And the answer is, it is in fact a cake! Woo! That's another point for me. And now we have this cute little rabbit in a hiding hole. That honestly looks like it, it's too texturized to be cake. So I'm guessing that it is in fact a fake. Let's see. Will it cut? Oh! It doesn't cut! That's not a cake. Look at the cute little bunny, aw. Okay, this McDonald's, just kidding. Okay guys, this Starbucks mocha frappuccino, I can only assume. I'm guessing that this one is in fact a cake. It looks too perfect. Oh, is it Starbucks or McDonald's or Dunkin'? Okay, it's definitely, either way, it's definitely a cake. That's what it is. This pristine, beautiful strawberry. It looks like a very nice strawberry. It's a little dark in color. I'm guessing this one's a fake. This is a real strawberry. What? It was a cake the entire time? I feel so deceived. This hand holding a pristine apple. I'm guessing this is actually a fake hand, so this whole thing is a cake. Wow. Cut off the middle finger. Never gonna be able to flip me off again. Take that, hand cake. That's a very impressive cake. Okay, next one, guys. We got a squishy and some cotton candy, it seems to be. I'm guessing that this is 100% fake. This is all fake things. These, none of this is, none of this is cake. <gasps> Whoa, it's cutting straight through. Oh my God, did he get the knife hot? Oh, I didn't know that this was a satisfying 1,000 degree knife challenge. I wish I would have known that, but it looks like I was right. That was in fact a fake. Okay guys, next one, we got this Easter egg, this white chocolate Easter egg, it looks delicious. But we also got some of that cotton candy on there, which leads me to believe that this is in fact a fake. Let's see, it is in fact, that's a fake. He really went crazy with this one. Fun fact, guys, I actually had my buddy Eddie Torres put this one together for me, and he really went crazy on the hot knife challenge here. I'm guessing that this one is, in fact, a fake, though. It's a chocolate, it's a peanut butter covered chocolate. What? Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. I want some of this. Do I have any candy in my craft closet? Two hours 
hours later. I don't think I have any. I think I took it all out because I kept eating it. <laughs> these fancy sunglasses. I'm guessing that these are in fact fakes. What's it gonna be? Are they fakes? Oh? Oh, th that knife is not cutting through any of them, so they are in fact a fake. Okay, this beautiful bean chili dip? I don't know what it's supposed to be. I've never seen anything like this. Honestly, I'm guessing that this one is probably a fake. Is it a fake? We'll never know. Oh, we got the beautiful chili that he's just putting on top of it, but he's gonna cut into it and it's gonna be a freaking cake, isn't it? It's a cake. That whole thing is actually a cake. Oh my gosh, how did I not get this one? Uh, oh my goodness, it was a cake the entire time. Time, guys look at that beautiful bean cake is coffee cake basically a bean cake okay this bottle of hand lotion I guess I don't really know what this is I'm guessing that it is a fake could this be fake hand lotion and it's in fact fake hand lotion that's another point for me try as hard as you can you can't cut through that lotion boy okay guys this ABC turkey I didn't know that ABC family channel makes turkeys that's weird I'm guessing that this is a in fact a fake I don't see why a television channel would make turkeys, okay? Oh, that went through way too easily. Oh, wow. Oh, 100%. I'm thinking this is a fake so far. Unless that's a very thawed turkey. Oh my, I, I want a refund on this turkey. Oh, I was correct, it is in fact a cake. Up next guys, this beautiful mocha frappuccino with a beautiful design on it. I'm guessing that this is in fact a cake, but I feel like I've also seen this one before. And I was correct, it was a cake the entire time. Johnson & Johnson, a bedtime lotion. <laughs> guys, you don't eat cake before bedtime, so I'm guessing that this is a fake, okay? Why would you eat cake before before bedtime and this is just insinuating that you're gonna put the cake all over your body. I don't think that's the correct thing to do and I was correct, it is in fact a fake. Okay guys, this is a brand new segment called Steak or Cake. I'm guessing that this one is in fact a cake. Let's see, oh and the answer is, it is in fact a beautiful pristine steak cake. So I was correct, good for me. On the back. Now we got this fancy Avenius cologne. I'm guessing that this one is in fact a fake. This is not real cologne, okay? Oh my gosh, I think it's actually a cologne box. This giant bag of coffee beans. I'm guessing that these are not real beans. Give us the real beans, please. I want real beans. Oh, it's just slicing through that bag. Guys, this is a cake if I ever saw one, okay? So now we have four, count them guys. One, two, three, four gummies. We got four gummies. And last time I checked, gummies, <laughs> they're not cakes. So I'm guessing that these are a fake. Oh, we got the cotton candy out here. Even more, cotton candy. Oh, and I was correct. They are all just gummies, I guess. I don't know what kind of gummies those are, but they look interesting. Look at this cute little teddy bear. It's a little too cute if you ask me. And that's why I'm gonna have to say that this one is probably a cake. Let's do a little surgery on Teddy, shall we? Oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> it is a cake. Look at the details of this beautiful Teddy cake. Okay guys, the soap that clearly says cake on it. I'm gonna make a hard guess and say that this one is in fact a, a cake. I think it's, oh, I was correct. This crushed Coke Zero can. I'm guessing that this one is in fact a cake. Whoa, just slice through that can. Mmm, that is a pristine looking cake. I wanna know how they made these. Tell me your methods, guys. I need to know. Think it over. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but we got some of the, the classic cotton candy that seems to be at every single fake for some reason. So I'm guessing that this one's also a fake. You can't get me, Eddie Torres. You shouldn't have put cotton candy in every single one, bud. Oh! It's slowly going through the hot knife challenge. <laughs> and that does not look like a cake to me, guys. Think it over. I thought it over and I was correct. That is definitely not a cake. Look, guys, a pair of pears. Two pears. Unlike the original Disney Channel show, A uh, Pair of Kings, we got a pair of pears here. I'm guessing that one's a cake and one's a fake. You guys are trying to trick me, okay? But this first one is definitely a cake. Wow. And the second one is actually... A fake. I was correct. Good job, me. Some sandals. They're 100% 
real sandals, made in China probably, and it appears that they are in fact real sandals. A green apple. What's your guys' favorite color of apple? I really like the green ones, and I love them so much, I know that this is actually a fake. Or sorry, it's a cake. This is not a real apple, guys. I know the difference between a real apple and a fake apple. That is 100% a fake apple, okay? Look at that cake. You got a little frosting in there. Mmm, it looks delicious. I would eat that apple. <laughs> this alligator head mask. I'm guessing that this one's also a fake. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, it was actually a fake. What, this can? This looks like a good can, guys. I'm guessing that this can is a cake? Oh my, look at how smoothly it just cuts through that delicious can. I would eat this can. Uh, call me a billy goat. <laughs> this winter hat. I'm guessing that this one's also a fake. Boom! It's a real hat for real boys just like me. A bell pepper in the exact same placement as the hat. I'm guessing that this one is also, in fact, a fake. That's a real bell pepper, not filled with real cake. Oh, that's a real bell pepper, guys. There's no cake to be found in this one. A glass of water. I'm guessing that this one's a fake because you would have to be get you would have to get really really uh, detailed to get that water to match the wall in the background. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and other stories. Okay, so since there's other stories, I'm guessing that this makes this a cake because there's layers on layers and layers of stories, aka there's layers and layers of cake. That just leads me to believe that this is in fact a cake. And I was correct! This chocolate bunny with the classic... <laughs> uh, with the classic cotton candy underneath. I'm guessing this one is in fact a fake, guys. It is, in fact, a real chocolate bunny. And I shouldn't have watched this on an empty stomach. And now I just want to eat a bunch of candy. It turns out I was correct. Now we have a piece of uh, cinnamon bun cake, I think? I guess it's technically a cake, guys. In its totality, this cake is in fact a cake. Yeah, okay, I think I got this one right, maybe? I don't know. No wrong answers. An Xbox game controller. I'm guessing that this one's also a fake. Oh, no cuts in this game controller. 100% that's a fake. Okay guys, now we have this half-woven scarf, I guess? I don't really know. I don't really know what they're making, but I'm guessing it's actually a fake. Do they really take their time and weave a cake? That's impressive. Oh my, how did they weave that? Okay guys, unicorn. This unicorn appears to be a fake. I'm guessing that this is not, in fact, a real cake unicorn, but in fact, a real stuffed animal unicorn. It's a fake, guys. I was correct. That unicorn's getting knocked over. A classic Game Boy. Guys, I grew up playing Game Boy as a kid and I can tell that this is not a real Game Boy. Boom, it was a cake the whole time. A bunch of these uh, fun plastic toys. Any one of you guys could be a cake and I wouldn't even know it. But I'm guessing you're all fakes, guys. Every single one of you. And there's no way to cut through any of them, so I was correct. Ugh, boots. These are boots, these are Ugg boots. And I know boots well enough to know that these are not real boots, these are cake boots, guys. Look at that, slice right through it. I mean, Uggs, you, you pretty much can. It's sheepskin, very easy to slice through that. Boom, boom. But it turns out I was correct. It is in fact an Ugg cake. Now we have goldfish stuffed animal. You're trying to lead me to believe that this is actually a cake, but I know better than that. And this is actually a fake. Come on, hey, Torres, is this a fake? <gasps> wow, you cut right through. Oh, okay. You had me going there for a moment there, bud. That sliced right through that, oh my goodness. Now we have a Amazon recycle like a box. These cakes are getting very advanced. I'm guessing that this one is in fact a fake. Boom, it is in fact a fake. These chicken wings. I think that these chicken wings, they have potential. They are actually cake chicken wings. Dang, I really want chicken wings now. I think I'm gonna order some chicken wings after this, but I was correct. Oh, even the ranch was cake? What? 
Since when is ranch cake? We have a giant Lego. I'm guessing that these are in fact fakes. Cut through that Lego. Oh, you can't because it's a fake. Some beautiful seasonal fruit. I'm guessing that this is a cake, but only because blueberries and blackberries are not in season at the same time. So that's what led me to believe that this is in fact a cake. Okay, this giant strawberry. I've never seen a strawberry this big, so that leads me to believe that this is actually a cake. Wow, beautiful. Now we have this roll of yarn. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I'm guessing it's a, it's a real roll of yarn though. It's not a cake at all. It just won't cut. Doink, 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 doink. Yup, no cake. Now we have this candle. It looks like a very convincing candle actually, but I'm guessing that it's a cake. It's just a little birthday candle at the top, and I was correct. Now we have a Ray-Ban sunglasses case. I have quite a few pairs of Ray-Bans, and I'm guessing that these are the real deal. I almost bought a fake set on eBay one time, and I didn't get scammed. I was like, hey, these are fake, okay? And I was correct. This lacy hard drive. There's no way you're gonna cut this lacy hard drive in half. Those things are indestructible. And I was correct. It was, in fact, a fake. Now we have the Big Mac. I'm guessing, honestly, that looks so good. And like I said, I should have freaking eaten before this. I'm guessing that this is actually a cake. Was I correct? Was it a cake? Was it a cake the entire time? What? A McDonald's double Big Mac cake? I'm gonna go to McDonald's and ask them right now if they have these. Now we have some broccoli. That broccoli doesn't look correct to me. I'm guessing it's a cake. Stabby stab that little piece of broccoli. Ooh. Slice it in half. Yeah, the florets are just falling off. And I was correct. Okay, now we have these classic Chuck Taylors with the hearts. Oh my gosh, beautiful. I think they might be drawn on. But uh, they look like real Chucks to me, properly worn in. I'm guessing that they are fakes. And they are in fact fakes. I mean, they're real chucks, but they're fake cakes. Does that make sense to you? Okay, so now we got some Ready Whip Original. Guys, I've eaten probably 20 cans of this stuff in the past week, so I think I know myself some Ready Whip. And this is not real Ready Whip. You put it on cake. It does not make it a cake, but wait, what if it's a whipped cream cake? Whoa, what if it's a cream pie? Then I guess it would be a cake. But in this case, it's 100% a cake. A very pretty cake. It kind of looks like a candy cane. Ooh, a pillow. Oh my gosh, I hope he stabs this pillow. Please be a fake pillow and he just stabs it and it's just all this stuff. No, oh, it's a tiny pillow? That pillow looks way, oh, it looks so much bigger. I was expecting it to be huge. Okay, I was correct though. <laughs> it was in fact a fake. Now we have these beautiful desert succulents in a nice encapsulated pottery thing. So I'm guessing that this one is 100% a cake. Those succulents looked too beautiful, too perfect. <laughs> and they were in fact all frosting. Now we have another squishy mallow and the classic cotton candy. And the cotton candy leads me to believe that this is a fake. This isn't even a real cake. Was I correct? Was this a real cake? It was in fact a fake. Wait, it's squish. Oh, it's cutting. Oh, it's just a, it's a fake. It was a fake the entire time. Fire. I don't understand. Is this like the fire emoji? This cake is literal fire. I'm guessing that's a cake. <laughs> that's really cool though. I've never seen a fire emoji like that. A fire emoji cake? Amazing. Now we have a little hot dog. I'm guessing that this is in fact a cake because I've never seen a wiener like that one before. <gasps> what? It was actually a squishy toy? It was a squishy toy? Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Oh, it wasn't even as, wow. They actually got me, Eddie, you got me. Good job, you actually got one. Okay guys, and this is the very last one. We have a Pantene bottle. I'm guessing that this one is a cake. Ooh. Oh, it's in fact a cake. Look at that beautiful cake. Look at that uh, shampoo cake. I bet if I put that in my hair, it would not make my hair softer. I would just get very upset. And 
And this is my final score! Down in the comments down below, let me know if you guys beat my score. If you guys want to watch even more Caker Fakes, I've done like five or six of them at this point, and I have an entire playlist that you can watch right here. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ready? Okay, bye! Ah! And you're probably like, Robbie, why are you filling with gummy bears? And there's a good reason for that. We're gonna be blow drying this bad boy and melting all the gummy bears to make one giant gummy bear mass. And then we're gonna have a giant gummy bear pop it. Oh my goodness, this is the ultimate gummy bear plan. Okay guys, so here's our poppet. I don't have a bear shaped one, so I guess the heart's gonna have to do. And now we're just gonna load this bad boy up with gummy bears. If I wanted to get really fancy with it, I would probably sort these a little bit. But considering I don't know if this actually even works, I'm not gonna waste my time with that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now we break out our hair dryer, and we're just gonna go to town. Six and a half hours later. This honestly smells kind of disgusting. It smells kind of like burnt hair coming from this, and I don't know, this just smells really gross. But anyway, just a side note. <laughs> Okay, so that was about 10 minutes, and every once in a while I would kind of push it down, and this is extremely hot, and it's really, really melted and very gooey. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it cool down for a little bit, and we'll see how it turns out when it solidifies. One eternity later. And there we go! It's nice and solidified. Now let's see if we can actually get this thing out of here. Just carefully remove it. Oh, it's actually coming out. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. Oh my gosh. Guys, it actually works. Look at that. A puppet made out of gummy bears. Boop, boop, boop. Well, guys, I'm going to have to say that this one actually works. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Whoa. Whoa. This did not hold together very well, but it definitely still tastes like a gummy bear. Okay guys, this one looks like a lot of fun, so it looks like today we're gonna be playing with some moon sand. Or, I guess this brand's called Kinetic Sand. There's a lot of packaging in this. Did they really have to double bag it? Anyway, is moon sand supposed to be like a giant block like this? I don't know, that doesn't sound right to me. Maybe I just have to really break it up. It kind of smells like vinegar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten out this moon sand a little bit. And then I guess I just shove it into the poppet. For some reason, this feels very dry. Like, is it supposed to be this dry? I have very little experience with moon sand, you see. This is why they call me the craft king and not the moon sand king. Gonna push the sand into all the crevices. Okay, I'll give it its own spot. You guys ready for the big reveal? Three, two, one! But before I do that, I need everyone to hit the also make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to leave a comment because I'm gonna be responding to the first 100 subscribers who comment on this video. Anyway, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Now carefully just pull it out. Is it gonna let me do it? Did I ruin it? Guys, it appears to not really be working. I think I have to pop them out as I do it. So that's a little annoying. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I see you, moon sand. I mean, it looks like it, it kind of worked. Let's see, will it pop? Oh, I just broke it. Okay, try another one. Ah! Ah! Boop, 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 boop. It's definitely not as satisfying as popping the real thing. But other than that, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. I mean, it'll keep you kind of entertained if you only have one pop in. And moon sand, I guess. Okay, guys, here's a little fun and exciting experiment that we can all do together. Grab yourself some baking soda, put a little bit of food coloring, and then you squirt a little bit of vinegar in each one of them. And look, now you have a bunch of colorful little volcanoes. How fun! What a great little experiment! Okay, guys, so here's our little muffin tray. Here's our baking soda. And let's see if I have enough baking soda to actually fill all these. 
Amazing, I actually do. A very pleasant surprise. Well, don't need this anymore. And now we just get some food coloring. And just start dabbing it in there. Red, red, red. Green, green, green. Yellow, yellow, yellow. And my personal favorite, blue, blue, blue. Which I didn't give myself a lot to work with here, but that's fine. And then I guess I mix it up a little bit. I'm not really sure. We're not very specific with this part. Okay, are you guys ready to see some chemical reactions? We go ahead and grab our vinegar and just put it right on there. Go ahead and do it with this boy first. Whoa! It's so colorful! <gasps> oh no, some leaks into this one! Okay, let's do this green. That's a pretty blue green! It looks like the earth! That one didn't have any color. That's a little sad. Here's the yellow. Oh, wow. That yellow turned out really nice. What if I mix it up? Will that help the color? Oh, that's a nice orange. What about you? Another orange. <gasps> Whoa, look at this one. Whoa, that's where I got all the colors. That's cool. I definitely recommend mixing colors. I'm gonna do that for the last few. I'm just gonna mix all the colors into one. Okay, you guys ready? Whoa, that's fun. Whoa, purple. It's exploding. Look at the color. This one's rainbow. Oh, this one's so, whoa! It just turned into purple. Well guys, this was a fun little experiment. It was a little bit messy, but I'm gonna have to say that it totally works. Okay guys, so you're brushing your teeth and you notice that your kid's brushing their teeth too. And they're done way before you. They, they were done like so fast. Like you were still brushing your teeth when they came so in. So here's how to make yourself a fun little egg timer. You're gonna need two bottles. Poke a little hole in like a, a plastic thing. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna call it a washer. Put some glue on one side. Put some glitter in one of the bottles. Add a little bit more glue. Stick those bad boys together. And now you have yourself a little hourglass and you have the perfect amount of time to brush your teeth okay guys so here are our little bottles you have to get six of them because they're sold as a set unfortunately no way around them you can always make other timers i suppose so for this i think i'm actually gonna ignore part of the craft and instead of getting a little piece of plastic or whatever they use and uh drill a hole in it i'm just gonna get the two caps like this and hot glue them together i just feel like this is gonna be so much stronger i'm also gonna hot glue these guys together because i no longer need these to even open these are nice and stuck together now. So I'm gonna go ahead and break out my drill and I'm gonna start with a tiny hole. Okay, and now we have a perfect little hole. Since we got that done, it's time to fill one of these little bottles with sand. This was very expensive sand. This was $6 sand. I don't understand why this bag of sand was so expensive. I can't spill a single little droplet of sand. Otherwise, I'm gonna feel guilty. So I have to do this really careful and hopefully I can get the sand just really... Whatever, it's fine. Oh, I see. This was a fake bag the entire time. So I will very carefully fill this bag with my very expensive sand. Or it's not called sand, it's called stone granules. <laughs> Whatever, dude. It's sand, you can't lie to me. Okay, looks good. So now we're gonna put that cat back on. Boobity boop. And boobity boop. Sweet, we got ourselves a sand timer. Let's see how well this bad boy works. Here we go. <gasps> it's actually working! Oh! Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Wow! I think I'm gonna try and time this bad boy and see how long our timer actually works. Ideally, this would take exactly one minute. Okay, we're gonna start it in three, two, one. Woo! There we go. Okay, I'll see you guys in hopefully one minute. Guys, I'm actually really impressed. This lasted just over a minute. That's fantastic! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this actually works. We're gonna grab ourselves a pop it. Put some cocoa, cocoa, cocoa puffs in there. Then add a little bit of ice cream. Oh, just make sure it overflows everywhere. And then we're gonna shove that bad boy back in the freezer and then let it freeze. Dump it all out. Oh, wow. Then we cover it in a little bit of chocolate. Mm. Delicious. Okay, guys, so here is our pop it. And the first step is to fill it with some cereal. Just one little cereal for each will do fun. Oh, I could do a rainbow at the bottom. Oh, that would be fun. I'm gonna do that. Okay, there we go. This looks pretty cute, actually. I like that. So now we're just gonna put our cereal off to the side and get some ice cream. It looks like they kind of put theirs into a bag and then sort of smushed it out, almost like an icing dispenser. There we go, now I'm gonna smush this bad boy. Oh no! I ruined my pop -it. I should have done this afterward. Okay, this looks a lot softer. So now, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the little tip off. Boobity boo. Now we simply squeeze it onto our poppet. Oh, wow. That's so smooth. Honestly, this ice cream looks so delicious now. Like, why don't I do this to my ice cream before I normally eat it? 
I could do a little sauce serve ice cream cone. Oh my gosh, I'm doing that after this. Just buy store made ice cream and squish it. That's how that works, right? Okay, now spread it around. I think I put way too much ice cream on, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy in the freezer for a little bit, and we'll see how it turns out. Six and a half hours later. Okay, it's been a few hours, and it looks like it smoothed out a little bit. That's kind of cool. Now let's see if we can get it out of this thing. Here we go. I'm just gonna pop some of them out. Come on, you can do it. Pop it. It doesn't seem to be wanting to come out. Okay, so this is definitely not working. It looks delicious, but I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Dang, that's really unfortunate. I'm gonna go grab a spoon! Honestly, this is pretty good. The cereal is a little bit soggy, but you know, it doesn't taste bad. Well, on to the next one. So here's how to have unlimited fun. Uh, all you gotta do is freeze some water inside of a little Tupperware thing. And then just go hand with some watercolor. Look at all the pretty colors, and as it melts away, you can just keep applying the paint. And it'll just keep melting the colors away, and you keep keep drawing on it forever. So first things first, we need to make some ice. Baby boo. I'll be right back with some ice. Three days later. Okay guys, and here's our ice. I'm sorry if you guys can't see it. I put it on a white background. That way we can experience all the colors. I'm gonna bring in my little easel guy. Now I'm gonna use food coloring. I'm only using food coloring because I don't have any watercolors. I was ill prepared for this craft and I thoroughly apologize guys. But let's start off with maybe some blue. Yeah, let's try some blue. Oh wow, look at that. I can paint on the ice and it'll just melt away. I can just paint whatever I want. Will the water make it just <gasps> What? Look at that. The water makes the ice change back to normal. How amazing. Let's try a little bit of red. Ooh, look at all the colors. I don't really see the total point of this. I guess it's kind of fun. I'm gonna take a little napkin and clear our canvas. Oh wow, look at that. Nice and clean canvas. Grab a little bit of yellow. Oh, that did not stay yellow. I should have cleaned off my brush a little better. Back to red, a little bit of green. Oh, that just turned into brown. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, actually kind of works. I mean, it's a fun little way to make some colorful art and really experience the colors of ice. Anyway, yeah, this one works. So here's how to make a purse so that your kid doesn't keep stealing yours. Grab yourself a poppet. Grab yourself another poppet, identical. Glue them together with your glue gun. And then put a zipper on. And now you have yourself a fun poppet purse. Introducing the poppet purse. Buy our poppet purse. For a limited time, you can buy this poppet purse. For three easy payments of $19.99, this poppet purse can be yours. And all you gotta do is call this number. Okay, guys, so here's our poppet. Unfortunately, I couldn't get two of them, so I don't know if I can actually do this crap. Just kidding, I have two right here. I blatantly lied to you, I'm sorry. Here's our zipper, and now we just have to carefully hot glue it on. I really hope I don't burn myself, but you know what they say. It's not a Robbie video unless you burn yourself. So I'm gonna be really careful here and really try not to burn myself because I burned myself way too many times with this thing. You know what, there's just no stopping it sometimes. Just carefully dab it on there. I'm just gonna take this one little piece at a time. That's what you gotta do in life, you know? You can't go full send right away. You gotta go medium send and then you go full send. This is a lesson on sending it by Robbie Epic Sauce. I'm already starting to have doubts about the structural integrity of hot glue on silicone, especially considering that poppets really don't like to stick to things. I'm just gonna full send it and do two parts at a time. Boom! <laughs> And then I think I'm gonna finish it off by gluing it to itself. Really hoping I'm doing this right. Maybe fill in some of the cracks of this hot glue. Wow, this is looking pretty fancy. I'm gonna let it cool down, that way I don't ah, do that. Okay, I'll see you guys in a sec. One eternity later. Okay, now that it seems to be all cooled down, let's try this bad boy out. Oh. It seems to be having trouble unzip- Oh, I just broke the zipper. That's not good. Kinda sad, actually. Let's see, can we keep going? Keep trying. Uh, I think the hot glue got stuck in the zipper. Oh, I can just pull it apart like this. Oh, yes, there we go. Uh, Come on, got this. You got this. Okay. And it completely fell apart. Dang it, I was so excited to put my tiny things in there. I'm gonna give you guys a tiny things haul really quick. I have this tiny bag of Cheetos, a little bit of Sodi Pop, and a little bit of Lay's. We got Frito Lay's, Wavy Lay's, Classic Lay's. And this has been my tiny things tour. I hope you guys enjoy. It's a shame that I couldn't use this bag to hold all the tiny things. Unfortunately, this one doesn't work. Okay, imagine this. It's a nice hot summer day and you're eating a popsicle, but it's getting everywhere. And your mom's like, hey, you can't be doing that, okay? You gotta be more careful. So she grabs some bread, puts it at the bottom of your popsicle. Now it's just absorbing. 
absorbing all the melted popsicle and you don't have to worry about it getting on your clothes anymore. And when you're done, you can even eat the, the popsicle soaked bread. That sounds kind of gross. I might end up trying it. Anyway, let's see if this actually works. Okay guys, so here's my popsicle. I wrote on it for craft, so no one will touch it. But I kind of left it in the freezer forever. Now it's a little ruined, but you know, that's fine. This was for a craft two houses ago. I don't know if this is still good. It might be. Let me grab our bread and just stick it right through there. Oh yes, perfect. Now I just need to get a hair dryer and I'm gonna melt this bad boy. So we already have some melted and it looks like it's not going through the bread yet. I'm actually really impressed so far. So we've melted it a lot and it's not even going through. I am actually very impressed and I kind of want to see what the hype is all about. So I'm just going to go ahead and oh, pull it off of the stick oh, and make myself a nice ice cream sandwich. Luckily, this one kind of tastes like jelly. So I guess I'm going to have to say that this one actually works. Mm. This is delicious. So here's how to make a fun charm, a lucky charm, if you will. So you just grab some plastic and just start drawing your design on it. You can even have a design in back of it to help you. And then you color it in, throw it in the oven, and boom, you have yourself a fun little lucky charm. Okay guys, so here's our piece of plastic. This is actually a little bin from a spring mix that I bought for my turtle Koopa. I'm just gonna cut some of this out, save this for later. And for the sake of making this a little easier to see, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a white background. And now we're gonna make our rainbow. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now we just have to draw in our colors. Boop, 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 boop. Then we gotta fill in the white of the clouds. And just to top it off, I'm gonna redo the outline. Okay, and it's all finished. Carefully take this off. Then we're gonna cut it out into the cloud rainbow shape. Okay, now before we put this in the oven, we have to go and poke a little hole. And there we go, the tiniest of holes. Get some parchment paper, put it on a tray, and into the oven it goes. So if I'm gonna craft and tell me what temperature to bake it in or how long to put it in. So I used my good friend Google. And Google said to put it in at 325 for about one minute. So in theory, it should almost be done. Oh, it tacoed into itself. I don't think it was supposed to do that. It says that it'll correct itself, but I don't trust it. I'll just leave it alone. Okay guys, I'll show you the results in about one minute, okay? But before we see the final results, guys, I need you guys to hit that like button. One like equals one potato life saved, so make sure to uh, click that like button and we'll save all the potatoes in the world. Let's see how it looks. And it looks like it is in fact, Still tacoing. I'm gonna try and pull it out. Maybe I can fix it. Can I fix this? Oh, oh, I don't know if I can fix this. I'll go ahead and leave it in for a little bit longer. Okay, and here are the final results, guys. It definitely did not work as well as I would have planned. I actually left it in for about five minutes and it never flattened out. It just kind of tacoed like this. I tried to straighten it out and it just kind of kept curving. So I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Well, on to the next one. Hey guys, remember that plastic charm that we made a few minutes ago that I absolutely loved? Well, today you can make one with a little handprint too. All you gotta do is get some acrylic paint, put it right on there, put a, put a little hole, and shove this bad boy in the oven too. And now you have a perfect little hand of a charm. You know what? I thought this one was cute, so I'm gonna try it with Bench. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Uh, fun fact, I actually record these before I do the actual craft. And <laughs> if we know that this one doesn't work, I'm actually gonna skip this Which one. Which is kind of a bummer, because I was really looking forward Making to- Making a little paw print charm with my dog, Bench. It's okay, he's really tired right now. I don't think he'd want to be in a video anyway. Guys, are you tired of your kid just drawing all over all the paper? And you just have so many of their drawings all the place. You're not, so, what are you supposed to do? Keep them all? Do you keep all your kids' drawings? No. What you're gonna wanna do is grab yourself a clear baking dish, put your coloring book paper inside of it, flip it over, and now they can draw on it all they want, and then when you're done, you just wipe it off. And then they can keep coloring in the same thing over and over. So, I don't actually have a coloring book on hand, so I'm gonna have to make my own special drawing. Let's see, what can I draw here? Let's do a Toby. Oh yes, the true essence of Toby. And maybe a drill? Let's see, what else can we draw? Oh my god! An axe! The perfect model. That's perfect. Well, we don't need this anymore. So now we grab ourselves a clear baking sheet and simply tape it inside. Okay, now we're gonna flip this bad boy over. And now we have ourselves a reusable drawing surface. Let's get to it. So we're gonna go ahead and draw Toby Green, a deep dark mouth that seems to go on forever. A never ending void, if you will. Is my mouth actually that scary? Oh! Toby, close that mouth. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. 
Let's color in this axe. Oh yes, a red axe with a black handle. And we can't forget about the Mixatron. Well guys, this turned out really good. I mean, I kind of like how this works, but does it erase? We're just gonna grab a napkin and just... Oh, it definitely does not erase. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of water. Oh, and there we go. Good as new. Now I can draw all over again. Just really disregard all my previous work. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Guys, is your sidewalk chalk just not good? Well, here's how to easily improve it. You just dunk it in water. Let it soak up a little bit, and now it should go right on there. Look how silky smooth that chalk is just going on. That looks like some very fresh chalk. Because it's definitely filled in a lot better. So it's pretty cold and windy outside, so I'm gonna do this one fast. So first we're gonna try our basic chalk. This chalk has not been soaked in water. Here we go. Move it, move. And that's my name, guys! Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna try these chalks that I've been letting soak in water for a few hours. Oh my gosh, you can hear them screaming. Can you hear that? They're like, no, we're drowning! Huh. These guys are dead now. Let's see if it worked any better. Oh, oh, oh. I scraped my finger because I broke it. Wow. Oh, wow, that looks so cool. It changes color. <gasps> okay. I mean, it definitely fills it in a little bit more. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. So you're trying to tie your sweatpants and you just can't get it. You just can't figure out that nut. How do you figure out nut? So you just uh, go ahead and make one of these bad boys. You do a knot and a knot, and then you put the two knots together. Is a regular knot too hard for you? What if you make two knots instead? Look at this beautiful knot that undoes itself. Pretty cool. What's up everybody, Robbie Epixos here, back to you with a brand new pair of sweatpants. So we're gonna make this real easy. Instead of, you know, just, how do you even tie it? I don't even, how do you do this? I don't even know how I would tie, the, how is this, how is that possible? We're just gonna go ahead and tie a little knot on this one. Boobity boop. And then we'll tie a little knot on this one. A boobity boop. Insert this guy into this guy. And then this guy going into this guy. And boom! We have ourselves adjustable sweatpants. Ready for this? Ready for this? Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and in one of my last videos, I played hide and go seek with my dog Benjamin. Red Rover. I should do a whole dedicated video to me playing hide and go seek with him. And pretty much everyone said yes. So introducing today's special guest, Tori Dabransky and my dog son, Benjamin. Look at go. He's so big. <laughs> ben, you're such a big guy. Such a big mm. dude. I remember when you were a little puppy. A little man. Oh, he was so cute. Okay, are you guys ready to play some hide and go seek? Yeah, I'm ready. Tori and me actually trained Benjamin to do this a little while ago. Uh, we were just, you know, bored one day and we were like, Ben, you wanna play hide and go seek? And he absolutely loved it. So now he knows how to do that. Okay guys, so the rules are simple. Tori, Debranski, and me each have our own camera. Ben also has his own camera. Tori, Debranski, and me are gonna be hiding and Ben has to try and find us. If he finds us, he gets a very special snack. Okay, Tori, are you ready for round one? I'm ready. Let's how go. many rounds are we doing? Let's do four rounds. The rules are simple, Tori Debransk. We have to make sure that the bench can actually access us. Like, we can't just hide in the closet and then uh, close, close, the door. And then yeah. close the door. He has to be able to get to us. Okay, ready? Stay, bench. Stay. 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 So I'm gonna be sh hiding in the shower because I think, I don't think he would look in the shower because he's a little dog and he's never taken a shower before in his life. Stay, 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 stay. 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 Oh, he's on the move. Okay, run over, run over! Oh, you got me, baby! Good job! Now go find your mom. Bench, go find your mom. Go find your mom. Where's your mom? Go find her. Oh, what? I didn't even see you in there. 
Did he find you? Yeah. What, he did? Yeah, he looked straight at me. No, he what? got me after you, though. Okay, guys, I guess Tori Dabrowski won this round. I'm the winner. Okay, round two, guys. Okay, Bench, sit, stay. So I'm gonna hide in the gingerbread house now? Okay, Bench, you stay. Stay, 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 stay. So maybe this isn't the best stay decision. Then. Stay. Red Rover. Red Rover. Red Rover. Saturday. Also, I'm going to be responding to the first 100 comments on this video, so make sure to drop a comment. This time, Thomas is joining, and he has to find us too. Stay. Stay. Sit. S leave it. Now leave it. Stay. I'm going to hide in the pantry, but I'm going to hide right here. Stay. 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 Roll over. Red Rover. Red Rover. Go find your dad. Where's your dad? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, 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 no. Oh, it's gonna get me. Oh, no. Oh, no. You'll never get me, bitch. You'll never get me. You'll never get me loud. Oh. oh, no. He got me. Good boy. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, guys, last round. Let's do this. Back for now. 
Snack for later when you find us. Ben, stay. Half now, half later when stay. you find. Sit. Now sit, stay. 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 Stay, stay. stay Ben. It's time for me to go hide. Oh yes, I'm gonna hide in here. A closet. I'm gonna hide in this closet. I'll leave the door cracked so he can just nudge it open with his little nose. Ben, did you find me? Ben, did you find me, Ben? Woo! That was so fast. I think that was a record. Okay, Ben, now go find your mom. You're on a mission. It's your mission to go find your mom now. Go! Where'd she go? Come on, we gotta find her. She, uh, oh, Team Force Ben, go! Where's your mom? Where's your mom? Where's your mom? Where could your mom have gone? She's definitely not in here, Bench. Bench, come on. We, we gotta find her. Where could your mom have gone? Here, uh, here, smell me. I smell like your mom. We need to find one of your mom's things. Bench, come here. Here, smell the shoe. See where your mom went. Yeah, you got it? You got her scent on it? Okay, go find him, boy. Go find your mom. Alpha Team Force, Bench, go. Where is she, Ben? Bench, where is she? Thomas, do you know where she went? Ben, do you know where she went? Where'd she go? Is she over, you, you smell her? Oh, oh, you smell her! Wow, you did it! You did, Benjamin! Wow, good job! You did it, you did it. You're so smart! Good job! The trick is, if you find the Thomas Dabransky, the Tory Dabransky is not very far behind. He did it! Good job! Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this. What? No? What? Looks <laughs> something just like this. And then you can find it right down here. Make sure to drop a comment down below because I'm gonna be responding to the first 100 comments. A lot of comments. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're ending. Okay, bye. Ah! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Ross. This is my craft corner. And today I got my good buddy Johnny Gilbert and Hair Jordan here. I'm gonna be kind of honest, guys. They're kind of children. So today I'm gonna be trying some parenting hacks on them. So you overslept and you're just in a rush because you didn't hear your alarm clock and you're like, hey, we gotta go. We gotta go. Go, go, go. They're like, I don't know where to go. And you're just struggling to put their clothes on. You're putting them on backwards. You're drinking all sorts of energy drinks and coffee. You're brushing your teeth. You're in a huge rush, right? Right. You give them their backpack, and now their hair is all messed up. What do you do? Uh, you grab a little barrette. Maybe two barrettes? Yeah, two barrettes ought to fix it. It doesn't fix it. So what you're gonna want to do is grab the vacuum and a hair tie and just suck up her hair. Her hair looks significantly better now. I don't know what the problem is. And then just slide the hair tie right on there. I feel like this is an extra step for sure. But but you know what? For the sake of Tea Studio, we're gonna try this one. This isn't even Tea Studio! This is Gotcha! I thought this was Tea Studio the entire time, but this is actually Gotcha. Okay, I just gotta grab my vacuum. Okay, so here's my vacuum. Here are my hair ties. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all on. That way I have multiple cartridges. Just up. Just put them. All right on there. That looks good. Now let's go try this one out on the boys. Wait, where's the rest of the vacuum? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Hi. Dude, I noticed that your guys' hair is kind of messy, and I think that you would both look so much better with a ponytail. Uh, no. I've heard this before, it's... What are you doing? Ah, uh, ah, uh, Robbie, Robbie! No, it's supposed to look messy. Stop! 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 Hit him! Hit him with the board! Okay. Hit him with the board! Stupid! I want to move out already. I think so. we should still hit him with the board. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Ultimately, when I went to go do it, the rubber band would go on your guys' hair, yeah. and then it would just get sucked into the well, vacuum. Okay, guys, so your dad's birthday's coming up, and you're like, I gotta get him something. Stat. Now, what are you gonna do? Well, here's an easy gift idea. You grab yourself a two-liter bottle, put hot glue on the top, cut it in half. Now you have yourself two uh, two-liter bottles just glued together. Take that bad boy gold. And now you have yourself a best dad ever trophy. You're welcome. Okay, guys, so here are our Coca-Cola bottles, and the first one. We're we're gonna want to cut right about here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we'll want to cut this one about right here. 
Now I don't really have any foam for the side handle, so I'm just gonna take the wrapper off of one and sort of cut like a little handle. There we go. I only really need a little strip like this. Then we get our trusty hot glue gun and hot glue them together. Oh, this might be a little harder than I thought. I'm gonna use a little strip of it to maybe help it hold itself together. Just wrap it right around the hot glue. Oh, that definitely made it a lot more secure. Oh, it's so hot, it's just melting all the plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit, and then hopefully it'll be nice and secure. Okay, so this one's stuck together uh, quite nicely, actually. Very secure. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this wrapper. And then we're gonna attach the handle. Just gonna put it like this, staple it right on there. There we go, we have our little handle. And we're gonna dab a little glue on this bad boy and just stick it right on. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and tape it on then. Hopefully that'll make it stick. Oh yes, perfect. I, I kinda wish it wasn't clear so you guys could see but, it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it now. A oh, boobity boo. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this nice gold metallic finish Rust-Oleum. Oh my gosh, it's working, yes! So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this. This gold spray paint really quick. This turned out fantastic! So now I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry. One eternity later. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some clear tape and just sort of put it over this bad boy. Guys, do you know how hard it is to be a world-class crafter like me? It's so difficult. It's a full-time job, really. And there we go, my new trophy. Well, guys, I'd like to thank the Academy. Well, uh, now that I think about it, I didn't really go to school for crafting. Uh, I've always been a lone wolf. I just learned on my own, and I'm a gorilla crafter, okay? The first time I ever made a five-minute crafts video, I didn't expect this to happen, but... Now I'm just a professional craft channel. And I'd like to really appreciate this award. And uh, uh, th thank everyone for watching and supporting. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Just gonna add this one to uh, one of my few achievements in life. There we go. So your kid is sick in bed and they just won't take their medicine, okay? And you're just like, come on, just take your medicine already. But they want Coca-Cola instead. You tell them, no, you can't have that. You need to take your medicine. So what you're gonna do is uh, just blatantly lie to them. You're gonna put the straw through the tap, but it's really going straight into their medicine. Oh my God, this woman's just giving her kids so much coffee. Cough syrup? Tell you a little secret. Don't tell anyone that I'm giving my kid copious amounts of cough syrup. Oh, T Studio, you are a holler and hooting boy. Okay. Need a little bit of this. A little bit of that. Okay, guys, so I have to give Johnny his daily rock star because he's my little rock star. And you know, he just won't drink his medicine, his rock star. So I'm gonna make him think that he's drinking this ice cold, refreshing Coca Cola. I really hope this doesn't backfire because I've actually pranked him with Coca Cola before. Uh, uh, refreshing Coca Cola for helping me uh, oh, clean? That would be amazing. That sounds so good right now. Robbie? Robbie? Robbie! You've been pranked! How did you do this? Sauces. I'm just gonna tape them together. There we go. Now I'll take this cap off. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Undo this rock star. Looks good. Go ahead and stick our little straw in. And boom. Hey Johnny, here's your ice cold refreshing Coca-Cola. Let's see if this one will actually work. Oh Johnny Gilbert! Johnny, Johnny! Yes, Papa. How's it going there, Johnny? Oh, it's good, you know, just sleeping in my new home. I was wondering if you would like a nice ice cold refreshing Coca-Cola. Oh, I'm sure. Where do I drink from? The straw? From the straw, yes. <laughs> Ew! Johnny, I need you to drink ah. your rock star. You need to drink your rock star because you're my I little rock star. Ah. Okay, okay, I'll leave you alone. Then. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, it doesn't work. So for this one, you're gonna want a can and cut it up like this. Put some tin foil all over it, and then throw your charcoal into it. Light that bad boy on fire. Find a grate for another barbecue, I guess. And now you can cook hot dogs. Wow. What a life hack. So if you have the grate to a barbecue, but you don't have the whole rest of the barbecue, you can make yourself one. Okay guys, so here is our coffee can. Now we're gonna have to cut giant slits in this. Maybe these scissors will work? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Plus I think I might have just damaged my scissors. Oh man. Well, it's a good thing I got these giant tin snips. I'm not sure exactly why you guys would have a set of these, but I do and it makes it very convenient. There we go. Okay, cut it a little bit more. Then we get our tin foil and we just put it right on it. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's go try this bad boy outside. But before we do that, I need to grab a grate to cook the hot dogs on. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have one except for in this little barbecue that I already have. Okay. Well, I guess this little grate inside of it will be just perfect. Well, don't need this dumb barbecue anymore. 
All I need is this little perfect barbecue. I'm gonna add some charcoal, a little bit of lighter fluid. Boom, boom, boom. Time to light this puppy on fire. Here we go. And there we go, a perfect little barbecue. Then we wait for our coals to stop burning, and then we put on our little hot dogs. A few inches later. Okay oh, guys, it looks like our coals are just not burning down. These coals are gonna be burning forever. So we're just gonna go ahead and add our hot dogs. I think I only really need to cook one. What ought to do? Am I cooking this? By the time we're done, we're gonna have a perfectly cooked little wiener. Oh yes, look at that, cooked to perfection. But how does it taste? That's pretty good. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this actually works. I think it works way better than actually having a real barbecue or even this fancy fire pit. Cause who needs any of that stuff? Just take apart your barbecue, make it into a smaller barbecue, and there you go. It works. Are you tired of coming home to finding your kid about to eat candy? Uh, cover your hair off the floor? Wow, Dad, I can't believe you didn't even check that. Your mom's so mad. Well, here's the solution. You take a Kinder Egg, and then you take the capsule inside of it. So you're gonna wanna put your lollipop inside the capsule so that the candy will stay nice and clean. I don't know where you get one of these yellow capsule things. I see them in so many crap videos and I've seen them in like so many thumbnails, but I never know where the heck to get them. Are they like a European thing or something? Like where do you get them? Like I tried Googling it and I couldn't even figure out what that thing was called. Like they said capsule, but anyway, you're gonna wanna put the candy inside of a capsule. And seeing as I don't have one of those capsules, I guess I'm gonna have to improvise. Oh, Toby! <gasps> I need you to hold something for me. Oh, uh, like what? Like this lollipop. What do you mean? How am I supposed to fit that? <laughs> you can't even take the wrapper? Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Can I eat the lollipop? No, that's mine. Oh, man. So you're sitting there drinking your 12 cans of Coca-Cola, and someone's like, I gotta cut you off. And uh, this is what they do with that Coca-Cola, okay? They fill it with gelatin, and then they get a syringe, and they just suck up all the Coca-Cola, and put it into a pop. -in. One by one, just fill all those bad boys up. Put them in the freezer, I'm assuming. And then you have yourself a bunch of pop it gummy treats. I don't know if this is really gonna help her Coca-Cola addiction. Though. Okay guys, so here's our nice, ice cold, refreshing Coca-Cola. And here's our gelatin. I made sure to get unflavored gelatin, that way we can really taste the Coca-Cola in this. So a normal person would probably mix this into a bowl, but I'm gonna use this mustard dispenser. That way I can just kind of squeeze them into each individual poppet. Ah, it's blood! Add some gelatin. And there we go. Now we're gonna mix it up. Mix, mix, mix. Ooh. Now I'm gonna go ahead and individually fill every single one of these with gelatin. Wow. Look how good these look. Otherwise, I would've just kinda poured them all in there. Okay, now I'm going to carefully put these in the fridge, and then we'll see how they turn out. One eternity later. Okay guys, it's been about three days, and let's see if these guys are properly solidified. I'm gonna get a plate. Here we go. Can I just plop them on there? Oh, one came out! It's a perfect little jelly. Oh, can I actually just pop them out? Here we go. <gasps> that's so funny. Oh, that's so cute. Boop. Honestly, this is the best part of the hack. So these are looking pretty cute. Um, I like the little gummy snacks, but how do they taste? That tastes so weird. I mean, they taste weird, but I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. So for this life hack, we're gonna need a table. Just kidding, two tables, three tables, four tables? That's a lot of tables. Then we're gonna get a bungee cord or a rope or something, and we're just gonna attach all the tables together. And we get a tur turbulent? Turbulent? So we're gonna get ourselves a tarpaulin, and we're just gonna put that tarpaulin all over it, and then we're gonna fill it with water. And boom, we have ourselves a little hot tub! Fancy is this. I am so excited to try out this little hot tub. Hey guys, so my backyard is pretty fantastic. I have some grass, I have flowers, I got this weird canopy thing above me, I have a barbecue, I even have tires. But you know what the one thing that my backyard doesn't have? My backyard is severely lacking a pool. So I think it's time for me to do my roommates a solid and make them a pool. So first I'm gonna need some tables. The tables look good. Now I need to tie this bad boy together. There we go, that ought to do it. Put on our tarp. And now we just add water. Actually, before I completely fill it up with water, I think I'm gonna duct tape this tarp down. That way it doesn't collapse in on itself. Oh yes, here we go. Yeah, that ought to do it. And now I'm gonna leave this to fill up. I'm just hoping that this doesn't end horribly. 
Let's see how my hot tub's doing. Oh, wow. It's actually filling up. I think it still needs a little bit more water, though. Okay, guys, it's nice and dark. We got the mood set. And the water. Admittedly, it's a little bit cold, but that's okay. Let's go show the new pool to the boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. Johnny, you gotta do the dance. I don't want to do it. Someone got a chair. If he doesn't do it, I'm not gonna smack him anymore. Are you guys happy? Look at the arms. That's a good dance. Okay, are you guys ready to see the most amazing thing ever? Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Okay, come on, let's go. I made you guys a hot tub. Isn't it fantastic? Right. I made it out of tables and a tarp. There's a hose in the water. Hose is hot. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's not exactly a hot tub. It's a it's a pretty cool tub. Um, so you guys want to take a little dip? Okay, uh, I'll do it. Here, uh, you get in first, Pog Champ. Why is he Pog Champ? Okay, I can feel it's not warm. It's not warm. It's not warm. This is not prank. Oh, you prank? Oh God, it's really cool. <gasps> Isn't it fantastic? Oh, it's you so know, cool. I don't even care. <laughs> This okay. sucks. Oh, that is cool. This sucks. Oh, you have to get oh, in. Come on. Oh, oh, this is crazy. Oh, this is kind of nice. I'm squatting. Ah! 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 My socks got wet, bro. My socks got wet. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the best idea for all of us to go in completely closed. Okay, uh, I can't feel my feet. So it's a hot tub minus a hot tub. This one kind of works. No, no. How does this work? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, anyway, enjoy the hot tub, guys. This is really cold. It's too cold for me. I don't know how to leave. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and somehow I woke up and I was just tied up like this. I don't know how the heck I got here, but luckily I have one free hand. I can grab this camera and I can walk around, thankfully. Okay. Oh my god! Guys, I'm on a roof! I don't know how the heck I got up here. Oh my god, my friends! My friends? Johnny, go for me! I can't. I'm recording. You guys are gonna have to untie yourselves. Yeah, just filming over helping. Oh, Tori Jabransky just got free. You're gonna untie me? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, guys, I'm free. Tori Jabransky free. Oh, so what's the last thing you, you remember? I really don't know. We were just all hanging out at our house. Then we woke up on a roof. I wasn't even here. I was in California. You're still tied up. Yeah, no one cares about. I went to bed and I just woke up. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck? What's this? Yes. Yes. Wait, you have one too. got a key to it. Hey guys, there's doors over here. Oh my gosh, Tori, you found a camera? I found a camera. You found my other camera? It's like they want us to document this. There's two keys, and there's two doors, and there's like five of us. So maybe we should split up a little bit. How about Tori Dabransky? Yeah? You're the smartest out of all of us, okay? okay? I think that you should take your own room. By myself? What? Yeah. Yes. Kidding. Oh, okay. You can oh, take, you can I take these She's... two guys. I'll we'll take the intern. And then we'll both report back here when we're done. Okay, Tori Dabransky. Okay. Let's do uh, this. Right? Let's go. Oh, wait, Robbie, there's something. Guys, there's a puzzle piece. Oh my god. Guys, look, it says find my friends. Is that like some sort of dating app or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's a puzzle piece. Maybe we have to find all the puzzle pieces. Oh, here, wait. you carry all the puzzle pieces here, George. All of them? I believe in you, my boy. Okay. Now we're going to go for realsies. Uh, where's the key? Let's hope we got the right keys here. Uh, I don't even know if this will work. Okay, let's go. Whoa, intern, where the heck are we? Well, we can climb through the window. He said we wanted to meet him again. Oh, they can we go back out? Oh no, it's locked. Oh uh, no, we're locked in. I like drafty in here, let me close this. Friends. Wait, oh my god, did you hear that? Come from the closet? What the heck? I'm really scared to open that closet. Let's go, uh, <laughs> tell them we need help. <gasps> no, we need back up. Oh look, there's an intercom. We're dying here. Hello? Hello? But what if something's in the closet that's gonna hurt us? Okay, you go first and find out what it is. Robbie! Because you're the intern! Robbie! I'm so young! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, it's like yelling. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why are they yelling? Dude, we gotta get out there and help. Them. Wait, wait, come down. Come down. Mm -hmm. What are you? Mm -hmm. One second. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe under the bed. No, there's nothing under here, dude. I could have told you that, but look. Maybe there's something inside the bed, guys. I'll let you know. Hey, thanks, Johnny. Let's know. How the heck did you get in here, Santa? This is not one of your pigs, Robbie. I got, I was tied up on the balcony. I just woke up in this closet. I don't know. I was in the North Pole. Well, since it's time to come out the closet, come on, buddy. Don't you touch me. I don't trust you two. What? How can we regain your trust, Santa? When I was uncomfortable as a little boy, I used to always find comfort in the Little Red Riding Hood story. Oh. Maybe if you guys put on a performance, I could trust you again. That is absolutely ridiculous. Do you want to play? 
<laughs> Are you kidding me? Does anybody have a fork they can stick in this outlet? These are blank papers. You moved the blankets, now you're just making a mess. Stop putting it back together, okay? <laughs> They'll never know we were here. <laughs> Storybook over here. Are you kidding me? Peter and the Wolf. I don't even remember the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Is there anything in here? What books do we have? We have the Brothers Grimm. Ooh, wait, that's a Little Red Riding Hood book. Wait, what other books do we have here? What is this? I don't know. I've never heard of this. Oh my god. Maybe there's something Dang. in these books. Look at the damn. Brothers Ivan and Wait, Dude, this one has a lockbox in it. What the heck was this about, Santa? I don't know. I told you I was up in here. Santa, what the heck? Uh, Look faster. Ah! Faster. This isn't a help. What is this? The secret book of parodies. That's not even the right book. That's not the brother's grip. Oh, oh, oh my god. What the heck? Wow, way to go, Johnny. I didn't look very good. Oh, this is the wrong key, guys. So <laughs> try that door. It actually doesn't work. Who's yelling out there? Now we have to find the book? Where is it? <laughs> Brothers Grimm is? I, I heard a lot of rustling around, but I, I couldn't tell you for sure where it was. Wait, what's up here? I found a book! Guys, I found the Brothers Grimm, and it was bookmarked to Little Red Riding Hood! What part is it? It says, the better to hear you with, dear, he Ooh, said. Ooh, that's my favorite part. There's wigs over there. Pack it out for me. Well, whatever. If that's what Santa wants, that's what Santa wants. There's a red beanie right here. Oh, you're wearing red beanie, Little Red Riding Hood! Am I pretty? Let's not talk about that. Aww. Um, uh, uh, and then, uh, uh, I can be a wolf. Here, read it out for us and we'll act it out. You got it? Good morning, she said, but there was no answer. Good morning, Robbie. Then she got on the bed and cried out, Oh, grandmother, what great ears you've got. Oh, Robbie, what great ears you've got. The better to hear you with, my dear. What great big eyes you have. The, the better to see you with, my dear. Here, what great big hands you've got. The better to grab you with. What do you say, Santa? Do you trust us again? Did that fulfill your trust? Yes, oh. I think I can trust you again, Robbie. Now help me out of these ropes. You're free. Get up here, champ. Oh, you did it, Santa. You're free. I have one more thing that it seems the kidnappers left in my pocket. Oh, what the heck? Oh, weird. There's nothing. Just tissues. I'm gonna go put on more ears. I'm a pig, a cow. I'm the entire Chinese New Year. Maybe on the fan. I don't know if you can turn these off. I think I need to touch it. Yeah, I think. So. <laughs> So we found this book. We just need to figure out what the heck this thing's about, bro. Maybe I need another hat. Do you have any idea, Santa? Are you okay? Santa, is this your room? Wait, wait, what is this? Oh, I don't know. Four? Wait, there's codes. There's Four? codes. Oh my god. Oh wait, the combination book. What are the numbers? What are the Look at four, nine, six. <gasps> A key. It's a key! It's the key to escape! There's no keyholes! Oh my god, oh, maybe it's one of these guys. Guys, there's no keyhole in this one either. Why is one of these blades different? I think this oh, is the fan, the fan. This is for the fan. Whoa! Holy cow, guys. There's a puzzle piece up here. Could this be part of the clue? That's going in my puzzle pocket. This isn't working at all. Is there anything behind you, like pillows? No. Maybe oh, it's underneath? It's over. Where are you moving this? Here's so I can look up there. Okay, let's see if it goes to here. It worked. Wait. Oh. Oh. For you? Yeah, try it. Is it gonna go through? No. Guys, the key's not working for this room. Let's see, this is the only thing we actually haven't looked into. Oh, shoot. Open it? It up, open it up. What? Oh, Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. There is a button. This whole time. It didn't take as much time at all. Oh, my God. There's the key. We got it. I'm getting out of this room. Oh, no. They sound like they're having fun in there. Maybe we should oh try that. Door. What is going on in here? Oh, it's a dance party. Woo! Dude, this whole thing is filled with balloons. Look at this. Oh, the bloody handprint. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, 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 what did you do? I just woke up here too. Did you think someone got stabbed in here? Oh, Everyone get the balloons out. Oh, oh, Better. That says father. For sure. Who taught you how to read? Wait. That's a inner? What's inner? You taught me how to spell intern that way. Dyslexic. Looks like you needed a father figure intern. How about that? that 
code thing. The heck is this that? thing. That was in my pocket when I woke up. There's definitely a bomb in it. Oh, you guys put father in this. Father. Here we go. Santa. Dude, I don't want that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do, do this. Do the okay, let's get out. All right, okay, guys, I got it. Oh, shit. Ready? Oh, we're escaping. Let's go. Hey, dude, we're out. Guys, watch the door out. That's not right. Oh, this is really messed up. Is there another way to get out? Are these windows locked? Guys, the window's locked. We have to cut open the painting. Probably, I've seen it in movies. Wait, there's another door, guys. This one opens. Whoa. There's no way down. Oh my gosh, that's probably 40 feet. Yeah, I say Santa first, and he just could just break our fall. This one's for the team, Santa. Okay, so I guess we can't go out this way, guys. Are there any other doors, guys? Wait, there's one over here, but it's locked. Wait, what's in here? Dogly. Oh, there's locked. Santa, you want to help me move this? Johnny, I found you a TV. You can have this. This is really want it. kind of sucks. Wait, guys, look, there's a trap door. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, did you guys find any puzzle pieces in your room? My kid, I have one puzzle piece. Oh, good, because this one does not go with this one. Okay. Cool thing. Do you think this will help us get out? No. Uh, this is going to be a really messed up message, I can tell already. Maybe we need more puzzle pieces. Yeah, I think pieces. we need more. Let's keep looking. I gave up. Wait, what's even in here? Looks like a kitchen. Wait, John, was there anything behind this? No, I looked. <gasps> oh, no. Try this key on this room up here. <gasps> oh, oh my, my gosh, it works! Guys, oh my gosh, we have access to this room now. What are you doing? I'm looking for numbers. A number? Oh shoot! For that lock. We have to look for numbers, guys. <gasps> guys, there's oh my gosh, there's a mini fridge in here. Anything to drink? And there's a shower. Does anyone need to go to the bathroom? Try to twist this off. I think there might be a clue in it. <gasps> oh whoa, it twists off! Oh my god, I think there might be a clue in here. Nope, that was useless. This looks good. Whoa! Is that filled? Monsters? That's a weird monster. There's something inside this. I think there's a key in here. Wait, so it opens? I don't know. We shook the heck out of it. Oh, oh. oh my god. There's something inside of it. Oh no. Is that a key? No. We'll try this door. It opened. Oh. Another bedroom. Oh, who lives here? It looks like some old person or all. Like, oh. It does look like a Yeah, bedroom. it doesn't smell like old people in here. Oh, jump on the bed. Andrew, please Wait. stop jumping on the bed. I know your parents taught you better than that. Yeah, you're oh. right. yeah, Christmas gift. Santa's watching. Whatever. Santa, you're really harsh on him sometimes. Well, I think he deserves and knows better. He's just a little intern. Uh, hey, Chris, you see anything? No. Wait, I think. Whoa! Well, everything's falling there apart. Maybe you were right. He shouldn't be touching it. Okay. We kill some. What's this? The Da Vinci Code. Oh. Is there anything in the Da Vinci Code? Guys, 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 hear me out. Leonardo Da Vinci, Leonardo DiCaprio. That's all I got. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is what? Like oh, wait, I found one of these in our room. Oh, really? Yeah, so we have to find... Um, wait, did you unlock we it? We did. They just oh, hit okay. the number somewhere in the room. Are there any numbers in here? Did we already look into these? What's that? Is there anything behind there? Nope. Oh, okay, okay. so there's just a clock that with no battery in there? Yeah. Wait, it's 4.30? Oh. That says 4.30, but that says 2.20. Wait, is it 4.30 or 2.20? Try them. I'll check my watch. It's actually... 3.21, so none of the above. <laughs> Okay, so there's puzzle pieces. Three, six, you keep that's for the other one. I bet that's Five, for the other one. Five, one, three, six. Oh, let's go for the trap door. Let's go for the trap door. Exciting. We're actually doing it, Tori DeBrant. So we're gonna escape. It opened, but it didn't unlock. It just says happy birthday. Now it's unlocked. Good, good job, Rob. Wait, it had happy birthday on it? Not my birthday. It's not my birthday. It just says happy birthday. Oh, it's my birthday. I just remember. Happy oh birthday? God. Yeah, I just remember. Birthday to I just wanted oh, money from we you We got guys. you a card and everything. Lying puts you on the naughty list. I'm Dude. just trying to take advantage of a situation. Right, I'm going in. Okay, guys, I'm going to go next. What the heck is this place? Oh, my gosh. We're in a kitchen. What's going on, man? Right, next. Okay. Ah! I did it, Jordan Lansky. You, you get in here. Let me help you. Oh. It's not that hard, guys. You just climb through it, you know. Get in here, John. I don't need it yet. I do this a lot. There's another door? It's locked. Oh, shoot. Guys, there's more doors down here. This one's locked, too. Oh, there's another door. That goes outside. We have to run the gauntlet after this. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Whoa, what? Dude, what even is this out here? Nope. nope we're locked in. Wow, it's literally screwed shut. We're trapped. Okay. Anything in the kitchen? Oh, it's the cake. Oh my god, there is a cake right here. We're just gonna eat this person's food. Do you have any forks and knives? Oh, wow! We got forks, plates, and knives! Here we go! Ooh, epic, dude! Freaking epic! epic. epic. Guys, I'm gonna cut everyone a slice of cake. 
I'm good. I'll take one for the team. It looks really good. What, you're not Bro, gonna eat this? Oh my god, look what I found, a key! Wait, there's a key in there? There's a metal in this cake. Can we still eat the cake, though? I could've killed someone. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> Watch it off, and then we'll make our skit. Just washing the key. Uh, oh my gosh, does it go to this one? Oh, oh my gosh. Well, Thank God, problem. that monster made me have to go pee. <laughs> Hello? Well, there's... Well, the, okay. Guys, are we ever gonna escape this place? I like how you guys both have the red jumpsuit. Thank, Thank you. you. <gasps> Alright. <laughs> maybe there's a clue in here. Oh. Whoa! Guys, maybe we all have to take a shower. Yeah! I like taking a shower with my friends. Or maybe we all have to use the toilet. Is it in the toilet? Guys, we're in the shower. Come on, everyone. Everyone get in the shower. Three boys, one boy. I thought there would have been like a pressure plate. Yeah, like maybe you have to push on the tiles and something like moves. Whoa, what's that? I don't know. Nail clippers? Yeah. I don't like that. Oh my gosh. We have to clip our nails and put them together and try to see what it spells out. Did you guys check in here? Yeah, I didn't want to touch the trash can that has bathroom trash in it, but I looked at all the other stuff. You touched everything? It could be in anything. I think it's under the side. Is it, okay, you check that. Okay. Uh, you check these little towels. Um, they're not um, in here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what do we... I think it's... Wait, since when did shaving cream make that sound? Open it! Do you need to shave? No, I don't... Ah, oh, you've been pranked! You've been pranked! <laughs> you've been pranked. Open it. Open it. Okay, Santa, it's up to you. Better be. Ooh, nice. Whoa. Wait! Whoa. Oh no. I don't want to go in there. Did you guys see a basement anywhere? Uh -huh. Guys, we have to look for a basement. Check every panel. It's a really in. weird place for an outlet right there, dude. It, it, that, that's not up to code for sure. <laughs> it's not turning, guys. Where the heck could the basement be? What the heck? Oh no. There's a light. Okay, guys, I'll go first. Never mind. I'll yeah. go down if it's carpet. That's, that's different. Okay, it's carpeted, so it's fine. We're good. Yeah, I guess we're gonna say that this one works. Cool. Let's go see what's down this magical, scary basement. But before I do that, I need everyone to give this video a big old thumbs up, a little something like this, and you can find it right down there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications, and then we're gonna possibly escape this place, and we're all gonna get tagged out. Okay, it's time to go into the deep, dark, scary basement. Get over here. Okay. Wait, guys, get get down here. Come on, little motivation. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Oh my god. I got you. I got you. Okay, good okay. catch. Don't worry, it's just a normal basement. Is this a? Is this a trap? Wait, 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 guys, I think Santa just locked yeah. us. Whoa, Santa! Oh, it's a oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. What? Santa, Santa. you really got us, Santa. <laughs> I learned from the best prankster on the planet. This is a really weird place. It looks like there's actually a trap door right here. But this one's also locked. Whoa! There's another wall. The lights. Robbie, Johnny found some more puzzle pieces. Whoa! Johnny found more puzzle pieces! Whoa. I think it's a snake. We have a lot of puzzle pieces. I wonder if we have enough. Is this a security camera? Hello? Is anyone there? We still got these boxes! Okay, I'm stuck in the box. I need help. I think this is a clue. We found even more balls. What's with this? What a strange room. What could it mean? Uh, oh, insane. Okay, let's go check out the bathroom. I don't see anything. This is a really crazy bathroom. Is there anything under there? There's a plunger. Oh, there's some toilet paper. Where could the key be? It's up there. There's nothing. Why do you need a shelf up on here? Put your lamp. Is there something behind this mirror? Who the heck is this guy? Is oh, wait, that's me. No, 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 let's check, let's check, let's check. No. Is there any keys behind here? Do you think we should check in the toilet? The toilet top. Oh! oh. This right here? I see something right there. What's oh, this? that is it. Oh, that's gross. It was in the toilet water. Don't worry, it never actually, it hasn't actually touched the toilet yet. That's all fresh. You could drink from that. That's yellow. just the natural drink. water. Anyway, we have the key to the trap door now. Drink yellow water. The trap door, like us all. The trap door. <gasps> oh my gosh, it opened it! Uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> what is that? 
Uh, I want to go God. first. Is that a slide? No. Wait, I, wait, I think we should send the intern first. We should send the intern. Jab down. Let's, oh, let's go. Let's send intern. him. Let's get take him. Take one for the team. I'll take it. I'll do take it. Take it for the team. I'll do it. I told my mom I loved her. Okay. Go for it. All right. Whoa! 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 Oh my god. Wait, someone. Guys, it's dark. Is there is there like a light switch over there? Yeah, there's like 10 light switches. Oh, it works. Okay, we got it. Whoa. Let's turn all of them on. Did you guys hear that? Whoa. That sounds crazy. Can you get back up? I'll see if I can. Okay. Wait, why oh, it's too slippery. You can't get back up. What? Guys. Once we go down, there's no getting back up. So should Whoa. we just proceed? What's underneath a basement? I don't know. I played enough Minecraft to know this. Under a basement would be bedrock. Good luck, Chris. Good luck on your epic tricks. Okay, who's next? Tora Bransky? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. Okay, go. Bye, Tora okay. So I guess it'll be me, and then you go after me, and then Santa. Yep. Yeah. I'll go left. Okay. I'm gonna go down this magical slide now. Here we go. You ready? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Pushing me down. I don't think he's a good guy. Santa's been pretty sus. Yeah. Santa, where are you? Come down, Santa. Yeah, you sussy baka. Get over yeah. here. One it's moment, Robbie. I'll be right there. I don't trust him. Whoa! You were the last one. What happened to Santa? You're mad because he puts you on the naughty list every year. You said that earlier. Did you kill him? You said that he pushed you? Yeah, he pushed me, so why would I do this? Did you push him back in retaliation? Maybe there's someone else up there, dude. I don't know. I don't know this place, man. What if the person who trapped us got to him? Guys, so we can't go back up that slide. Is there any other way to get out? Oh my god. Behind the teddy bear. Everyone look behind the bear. Johnny found a secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. No, I don't think that got me any further. Hold me, teddy bear. I'm scared. Guys, let's just take a nap on this giant teddy bear. Sound good? Yeah. Uh, not the time for a nap. No, yeah, I think I'm Santa good. Santa just died. I think we should. Yeah. The guy who killed Santa comes down the slide and kills us. Oh my God! Oh, get off! Use the teddy bear. Oh, you can lock up. Yeah. Oh, get the teddy bear. Let's shove it in. Shove it into the slide. Everyone get it in there. We have no way out now. We'll block our only way. Do you guys see any way to get out? Guys, as Drake and Josh once said, I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Is there something behind Wait, oh my gosh. Is there something behind it? Wait. No! There is. No way, Chris. Let me give you a hand. We're already below the basement, and this goes lower. Look down. Oh, you can't look. It's dark. Whoa. There's another room. Who's going into this one? I don't want to be last because of what happened to Santa, so I'll go first. Yeah. Get the answer in there. It's really tiny in here. I want to go uh, Johnny last. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I should go. Wait, oh, there's another door in here. Uh, it's unlocked, actually. Oh! This is an entire room! Johnny, get out here! Here, I'll save the day. Dude, what the? What? Look up? Uh, okay. I'm looking up. I don't understand. Look at all of me! Sorry, what, what are you looking for? I'm just looking in the drawers to see if there's any. Chris found the words! Wait, you found words? Yeah, someone read it! Cut me. We're supposed to cut this rope. Uh, okay. Is there anything to use down here? Uh, oh! To this. We need six letters to unlock this. Look up. Look up. I think the code is look up. I think the code is look up as I well. Think that's on the wall. I think you're right. This is difficult. So it's not working? So it's not look up? Well, hang on, hang on. Stop touching everything. Every time I turn one letter, the other ones move with it. Dang, I don't think that's the combination. All right. Can you be this monster again? Chris, how'd you open that last one? Ah, let's let Johnny. Ah! Oh! oh my god, it's a shock. It's a prank can. I don't think you I just kidding. This isn't that kind of video. This one feels legit. You're a professional emo kid. You know what a real monster feels and sounds like and tastes yeah, like. This one sounds like a real monster. I had to guess. Uh, it's a rope. Let's move on to the box for now. We have to find a way to cut this rope, I think. Oh Purple pieces! Oh, nice. Oh my Over gosh! Brabransky, do you have any idea? I mean, we need some. What, what are the things? We haven't checked the furnace yet. Maybe there's something oh in my. there. Wait, this furnace? It's kind of scary, though. This 
this is, a, this is a crazy looking furnace. What if we open it and it just starts a fire? What if it's something crazy? What if it's, what if it's, what? Oh. Wait, that's Axes. what they are cutting. Cut it with that. Oh my god. Now we're talking. Just puzzle pieces. Pockets are getting full. Are you ready to cut it? I'm ready. Let me just stand right underneath the door and stand back. All right, here we go. Oh, oh. almost. Oh. Up. I guess it just has to be above us. Oh, look up in here. Hello. Hello. Is there anything in here? Wait, it's the slide. We can go down the slide again. Woo! Oh, there's a bear stuck in here. Okay, I'm back. Did we find anything, guys? We gotta look up. We gotta look up. Oh, oh. Wait. Oh, there's an E. Whoa. Means they all have a letter. What the heck? Hey, Let's drop all the fans. You don't know want to stop these. We're using their heads to stop the fans in the first room. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> or you use your head. Oh, stop it, all I right. promise. Wait, Wait guys, be careful. Stop the fan, Johnny. Stop the fan. Oh. Whoa, did you oh, There's an X. Wow, you guys really know how to use your head. Yeah. Okay, so there's only one, two, three, so four delicious. of them with letters. What's this one? C. That's a C? Yeah. There's one in the slide room. All right. I'm going in. The intern for the win. Oh, oh the fan! Stop the fan! Here, I'm gonna stop the fan. Wait, guys, Tori's in here. We can't put on the light. It's a little too dark. There's an E. Yes, well, no. C E A. We have to write it down. I got it. We'll use charcoal. Come here. Oh, that's probably why they left us so much. Okay, okay. What, what are the letters, guys? E. E. And then there's a P. P. And there's another E. E. Is it East Space? It's like Internet Space. E no. C. Oh, we're on the C. E Pack. Wait, there's an S. Epic. Epic sauce. Epic sauce. Like me. Epic sauce. No, you're right. Try P. Wait, there's no. There's no I. Hey, they spelled it wrong. There is no I in peace. No, an Epic sauce. <laughs> oh. There's no epic I. Epic sauce is also way too many letters. Oh. Oops. Chris, what do you think it could be? Have none of us played. Word. Maybe we put the letters in the wrong order. Johnny, what could it be? You're the genius here. You're right. Uh, I'm lost. Yeah, be honest. Me too. I'm lost too. <laughs> We really need to escape the house. Yeah, I have no idea. Escape. How the heck are we gonna get? Wait, escape? Escape. My big brain. I Wait, is told that you. It? Is that actually it? Guys, how do you spell escape? Um, I don't know. E S K. Dude, it's totally escape. Escape. Oh my god. Oh my god, it worked. Whoa. Good job to the voice in Johnny's head. Thank you. It's oh my god. gosh. I'm so glad that you figured it out. Does it work for that door? Maybe it goes into here. It's not for this one, guys. Oh, man. Oh. Is the door upstairs? Yeah, guys, maybe we can get out the front door. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's a front door. We have to go through the trap door. Here, you take it. I, I ain't even waiting on that. Let's go. I'm going to unlock this door. Come on, you guys. You better hurry up. I'm here. I'm here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Robbie's having trouble getting in through. He's getting old. Oh. Say it, bro. All right, well. That was useless. We did our best. Do I have any luck? No. No. What? It's not the front door? No. There's one more door back here. Wait, my first cake. Wait. Was this cake a lie? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's go. Johnny looks like he's ready to escape. Here, here. Try, try, try. Johnny, try this. Make it through there. Let's do this. You got this. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's opening. Let's try. Woo. Whoa. Guys, there's like a crazy hallway out here. So now we're in this weird, creepy wooden hallway. Yeah, I do not like this. This is so weird, dude. Uh, this is locked, but there is a doggy door. Who's the smallest? I think that's you, and No, no, bro. Yeah, bro. Johnny's like, get in there. Oh, okay. No, I think Johnny's way smaller than me. I got. Let's see. Okay, we'll, we'll compare. We'll compare. We'll compare. Yeah, yeah. you're shorter in turn. So uh, you have to go in. No, so I'm. I'm a. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Oh, look at him. Get in there, intern. You just have to unlock the door. Oh, that's it? Maybe. Can you just fit through? Can you get through there? Uh, you can do it. What's I in there? I unlocked the door. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you. You did it. Okay, you guys ready to see what's in here? Go, go. Oh, my God. Okay. Wait one second. Let me. 
Whoa, we're in a warehouse. Yeah, what? What the heck? Uh, I am not liking this. Why is there like screws and like saws and stuff? The mastermind probably worked here. Probably some weird old guy because of the house and these tools. I feel like it was someone who's really crafty, someone who's really good at making things. Wait, what'd you find, Chris? We're locked in here too. This is a sick game. We need four numbers. Four? Four. Count them. Wait, did you hear that? Oh, There's someone behind you. Yeah. Hello? I don't think this is safe, guys. Hello? The numbers Wait, Chris, you have those puzzles? There's like a puzzle thing here. Oh my gosh, we have to put this puzzle together. All right, let's do it. And then I also found this, if anybody's hungry. Wait, you found a mini Nutella? I found tiny Nutella. Where'd you find a tiny Nutella? In the first room, I've been saving it. Okay, everyone, let's try and put this puzzle together. I'm doing it. Chris is doing it all by himself. With or without you. Are you guys gonna be able to solve it? Uh, We're getting there. Adrian, do you think there's anything we can do to help? You know, I'm the only one here with a degree, so why don't you let me help you? <laughs> the puzzle's is almost fully together. Okay. I don't think we have enough puzzles. I don't think they're correct. I think that's incorrect. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely not supposed to be there. Did we miss some pieces? If we have to go back in that house. Oh, oh, I found the center ones. They all go together like this. Guys, I think we have to find more puzzle pieces. No! Did you guys see any when we were walking through? Yeah, I, I saw one earlier when, we, when I had to go through the little hole beside the slide. Yeah, why didn't you pick them up? I, I, don't, I don't know. I thought. Okay, so I think we have to go back through. Dude, you need to show me where there's puzzle pieces. Oh, yeah, yeah, Let's okay, go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go find more pieces. Let's go. I can't believe you didn't tell us where there's pieces. Oh, I was so scared. Oh, I don't want to go down this again. All right, where are they? Where's the puzzle here? I was, I was getting out this door, and I found a couple of uh, some, some puzzle pieces right here. Perfect. Oh, this might be enough. Three. Is there more? I think we need to find some more. Can we get some over here? We didn't really check this area too well. Let's check all the books. Do we check all these? this puzzle and we're gonna escape out of here we're gonna get out there this looks like uh this piece oh nice nice there we go all right we're still missing a couple i think this is good enough this looks definitely a one a something a nine and a four this is either a four or nine though right let's try 1994. 1994 let's do, it. let's do it wait that's my birth year all right guys i have 1994 ready okay so you got it unlocked all right i'll just about there we go 1994. Whoa! it works it works it's time for all of us to open this garage and escape. We all get out as a team. You got it? The yeah. power of a team. Woo! Okay, ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Ah! Whoa! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Who is that? What the? Santa. Oh, my gosh, Santa. You're alive. Why are they hugging him? Because it's Santa. We thought he was dead. We saw your skeleton in the Santa suit. That wasn't me. That was just some guy I picked up. Uh, wait, Santa, how the heck did you get out there? Because I was behind this whole thing. You were behind the entire thing? Why did you do this? Well, a couple decades ago, I met a woman and fell in love. How do you have my, this old Christmas photo of me, Santa? This is me and you back in the day. Oh my gosh, that's you and Santa, intern. This is weird. The father on the wall, the way I've never knew my dad. I... The matching jumpsuits? No. Welcome no. home, son. Oh my gosh, the intern is Santa's son. I'm happy. Intern and half Christmas. Yes, son. Half Christmas. <laughs> so Santa was the intern's dad the entire time. Come on, Dad, give me a hug. I missed you. Just kidding, intern. You've been great. I told Santa to put this whole thing together so we could all see my new house. That's not funny, dude. That's a stop good clapping. One, dude. That was a good. No, stop one. clapping, bro. You all been praying. <laughs> So you tied us up? I did. I just wanted to put together a fun and wholesome way for everyone to see my new house. And I forced everyone to see every single nook and cranny. With a lot of rope. With a lot of rope. You're welcome, everyone. I'm glad everyone figured it out. I couldn't have done it without you, Santa. You're really a great buddy of mine. Thank you for <laughs> forgiving me for that one time I pranked you really bad. You're both psycho. Anyway, you guys like my new house. I had a doctor's appointment. This kind of screwed that all up. I'm going home, bro. Man. Jesus. Well, I got presents to go make. Wait, guys, you guys, you didn't like my. Wait, Tori, we'll do it again next to you. Wait, you guys didn't like my. That was awesome. What? Yeah, let's go. Live without me. Guys, live without me. How's that look? There you go.
Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and I've been making YouTube videos officially uh, on YouTube for about 12 years now, as of February, since I was 15 years old. <laughs> since then, it was my life mission to become a YouTuber. I'm, I'm almost 30 now. I'm 28. <laughs> I've absolutely loved it. There's been a lot of fun parts. There's been a lot of, you know, more difficult parts. But honestly, I can't imagine myself doing anything else besides this. But for the past four and a half years, I have been going non-stop. Pretty much consistently every single week, I've, I've posted a, at least one YouTube video. At least. Most of the time, I post more. <laughs> and honestly, I haven't really taken very many breaks. You know, every once in a while, I'll get like a couple weeks worth of videos ready and I'll work my butt off for that couple of weeks and then I'll take like two or three days off. I'm just really tired, guys. <laughs> I just bought a house. This house, this is my new workshop. I don't know if you guys got, if you, you go watch my try to escape challenge. It's basically a house tour of my entire house if you guys want to watch it. But yeah, guys, this is, this is the new craft corner. And as you can see, it needs a little bit of work. So for the past two and a half weeks, I have been moving. Um, and before that, I was getting videos ready. And before that, I was spending even more time video getting videos ready. And I'm just so exhausted at this point. <laughs> this is my garage. As you can see, everything is just in piles. This is all stuff from the craft corner. Stuff from my garage. More stuff from my garage. We even moved the craft mystery. We have all the different pieces of the craft mystery in here. And honestly, guys, I thought that... I thought I'd have enough time to put everything together in the amount of time I gave myself with videos. I thought I had enough videos ready for you guys. And I still technically do. I still have videos from my old house that still need to be edited. But I just haven't even had time to review them after my my editors edited one of them. And recently, I got in a car accident. A car accident! Someone backed up on my car at two in the morning. Two in the morning! I was in a drive-thru! Are you joking? He just, de he just decided to back up onto me, and now my car's gone. It's destroyed. I have no car. My SUV is completely destroyed now. I can't use that to move. <laughs> so I had to go and rent a U-Haul, which, you know, honestly, way better. But still, like, now I'm out of my SUV, so I don't, I have to worry about that now. I started building a shed for all the extra wood that I got with this house, that came with this house. And <sighs> this is how far I've gotten. I haven't even put the floor together yet. <laughs> so basically what I'm saying, guys, is I think I need to take a little break. Hey buddy, how's it going? Hey little guy. I still haven't taken apart everything from the try to escape challenge. I still have hidden doors just in my house. This is my living room right now. Look at this. All my clothes. It just keeps going guys. This is my, this is my bed. I haven't even set up my bed yet. Here's a bean bag. Here's all my, here's even more of my stuff. But yeah, overall guys, I just, I just need a minute to kind of collect myself and put all my things away. I think I just need a little break. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest, I just need a little break. I feel like since I've bought the house, like even buying the house was a process. Finding the house was a process. I found the house. I f this is the house. This is where I'm going to live hopefully for the next 10 years or more forever, hopefully. And I feel like I didn't give myself any time to like sit and enjoy it. I, I, I I haven't like really sat and like really like said, hey, this is my house now, you know. I went straight, as soon as I got the house, we started working on the try to escape challenge and I put together an entire escape room in my house the day after I bought it. The day after I, it was in my name, that I started putting this together. I spent so much money and time on that video and it, I, it did okay. I don't, it didn't do great. I don't but know. I just know, I just need, I just need some time to kind of like figure out what I'm doing. Um, there's a lot of life stuff going on with me too. Uh, everything's compounding. I just need a break. I know it's going to be really hard for me because I don't take breaks at all. I just go straight into things and I don't let myself enjoy things. I just, 
if I have a mission, my goal is to accomplish it, okay? And it feels like I just, I just haven't given myself enough time to accomplish things and do a good job at them. I, th I think I'm gonna take like a week or two off and um, I don't know if I'm still gonna be uploading videos or not. I might, I don't know. I don't know, but I need to get everything here situated and then I'm gonna be back better than ever. Uh, the craft corner is gonna be back better than ever and it's gonna be awesome. Oh. But yeah, guys, overall, I think I already said what I, what's happening. I'm just gonna take a break for a little bit. Sometimes you just need to spend more time on something to make it really good, but I just don't give myself time, so. <sighs> yeah, I'm just giving myself a little time here. Anyway, guys, uh, today's Easter. I hope you guys, if you celebrate Easter, you have a great Easter. If not, uh, have a great Sunday. You know, Sunday's supposed to be, regardless of anything, a, a day of rest. Um, <laughs> go watch a bunch of my videos or something and comment, uh, happy this is Sunday, Robbie. I don't know. <laughs> We're still gonna be posting over on the Robbie Clips channel. Um, I might start posting on the Robbie Vlogs channel soon, so make sure to subscribe to that channel. I got a bunch of little projects. I got a bunch of projects that I'm working on, and I'm really excited to show you guys. But, like I said, I just need a little bit of time. I'll be back. I don't know when, but this is me kind of signing off for now for the first time in, in, in a long time. Um, so, yeah, this is me telling you guys I'm just, I'm taking a break. So, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys again, hopefully really soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward ending. It's not actually the end, okay? Okay, bye! Ah!